like eight like tea that's been aged for 18 years for dirt cheap and like it's good it is so tasty i had some yesterday and i'm having more today like this would usually cost you you know the amount i got over a hundred dollars um this was 45 wow oh you got the, you got a steal yeah oh my gosh I, I think i think it's because oftentimes people uh so people will buy aged tea like this specifically as like an investment because it's a pretty safe investment you can you buy it and you hold on to it and you age it and then someone else buys it off of you it, it's almost like um it appreciates yeah it, it appreciates in value the longer it's around well it's like and, whiskey yeah, it, it, it would... it's like you know how there are some tea. wines. It's like there are some wines. I don't understand. What, people, what are like, they aging? They're aging the the leaves, the or they're aging the they're aging the leaves. So yeah, they're what, not what, making tea and then aging it. Right. Well, there are some teas that are aged. Um, they're made to be aged. Uh, there are some white teas. For example, I have a white tea that's made to be aged. Um, wow. But I just I just love it. What so do you do? You ever it. notice little 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 chunks of um. Uh, what you monk call shit. it? Uh, of like monk shit in the in the tea? Monk. Yeah, you ever know? You ever notice that? Um, most good suppliers will always pick out the chunks of shit. Like if you right, find right, if you right, find right, like right. a corn kernel in there, that means that you've got like a bad batch. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Usually they comb through it pretty carefully. Wow. Good. Okay. Damn. Um. I should probably. Yeah. That's well. That's why it's that's why it's so expensive because that's a very painstaking uh, process you know it's a very um yeah you, you could call the the process a pain in the ass it's very yeah it's it's uh it's tedious you know a lot of little little shit chunks yeah yeah it's... um oh shit we're live whoops hey guys wow hey right, guys hey rhinoceritis what's up thanks for the give sub guys again uh we're back with on real estate gosh when was the last time we did this it's been a while like a, a long while if you don't know what this is we're just gonna look at real estate listings i have my freak jizz master sorry jazz mister and <laughs> and uh fred this is of course fred k fred Nudsen's most of Hi. you are aware of who this is he's got his lauren the owl um vtuber models so we're gonna use these things because we paid a lot of money for them so they're getting used well, right. they, the I feel like a lot of the artists that I work with like ask for so little and I have to like jab them and be like, no, more. <laughs> like <laughs> I have to kick their asses. Guys, yeah, so right. uh we got some real estate listings. We're gonna look at them. Um again, if you are um subbing or resubbing, if you're planning on supporting the stream in any way financially tonight, I'm gonna wait till the end of the stream to thank you and call you out because I don't wanna um talk over Fred. we're gonna have a lot of um tangents to get to and unrelated oh, yeah. bullshit that has nothing to do with the houses <laughs> that we're looking at for hours oh, at a time you, you should so have seen my like that is my stream that is how my stream works nowadays right so that i mean that that's so what that means is there isn't going to be a lot of time to um call out your, your your stuff guys so just i will do that at at the end um but know in advance that I do really, really, really appreciate it, guys. Okay. Um, so I had some real estate listings from like I don't know, fucking a year ago. Like seriously, when was the last time we did this? It, it's um, been a long time. Like uh, between my life kind of going crazy and this video kicking my ass, and then also us doing um, all tomorrows. Mm -hmm. Just haven't done it for a while. Yeah, we had. Well, I think a part of it was we wanted to we wanted to work through all tomorrows because we had been talking about yeah. that for like years. Yeah, seriously. You know? um, but these real estate listings are submissions from you guys that have been sitting in a in a, in a word pad on my desktop for about a freaking year. Um, and we're gonna look at them now. I mean, if you if you sent these, I mean, thank you. Uh, we'll 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 start with this one. It's from um, oh, uh, Nevada. Are you gonna share your screen with me. Oh, son of so a bitch. <laughs> All right, so I forgot to do something. Just give me a sec. Uh, it's okay. He he actually can't see the... Jesus, holy shit. Can't see shit, Captain. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, no good. Guys, how's the volume of the algo music that I hate? Which I hate, by the way. I, I've decided that I that I hate this. Um, what, I've decided I hate the algo music. I'm using this weird program that I found out about at San Diego uh, TwitchCon. 
what that, is um, it? You're calling it algo music, like because algorithm? it's algo. It it's yeah, it's AI generated music. It's it's um, yes. It's I mean, it's, <laughs> it's AI generated music, and it sounds like it. But here's the beauty of it: you never ever ever have to worry about a DMCA or anything like that. I mean, I guess that doesn't mean that it's gonna be good. No, no. It it in fact it certainly means the opposite. <laughs> I miss the chill Nintendo music. Do you remember the non-stop bitching about that? About how people were so tired of the Nintendo music? Literally, I use Walking Dog for all of my streams and people are still like, oh, this track is rad. I really like Walking Dog. I'm going to tell you it's actually so why. I'm going to tell you why I stopped using Walking Dog. Hmm. Because you turned me on to Walking Dog and I love their music. Here's yeah, the like problem. Yeah, like legit great music. Oh, you, you like it too much and you're like, I just want to listen to this now. It's 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 not yeah. only that, it's worse than that. The audience is ignoring me and listening to the music. <laughs> the music is so good that it's distracting from what I'm fucking saying and doing. And people are just like now ignoring me for the for the music. <laughs> um, three I guys. To do this you. Well, Give me a second. My heater kind of blows and it makes the apart if I have it too high, it makes the apartment too hot and then it lets it get too cold and then it gets hot again. It's terrible. Give All right, we don't second. want a crispy owl. Go, go ahead. Nah, turn it down. I turn it down. I don't want to soak in my owl juices. Turn it down. It's all good. Oh, what's happening to Lauren? Uh, Lauren? Sure Lauren? Fine. <laughs> Lauren? Oh no, he's dead. He's dead. No, he died. No. Uh, anyway, uh, somebody Google deep fried owl. How much do you think owl tastes like chicken? Probably very similar. I can't believe I fucking died. Owl taste test. Let's, um, I, I mourned you for like four seconds before deciding we were going to Google an owl recipe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you gotta get out the meat before it goes bad. Owl doesn't last long. Wait a minute, you sound like you actually know about this. I don't. I'm talking out of my cloaca. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, that's what we're here to do. This house, uh, this listing, again, one of you sent it in. It's from um, Nevada, uh, a, a town called Goldfield, Nevada. I think that um, I think that Nevadans complain if you call it Nevada. I think they want you to call it Nevada. Well, I don't give a fuck what they want. This is America. I know that's also America, but too they bad. don't matter. I mean, that's they're the, Nevadans. They, <laughs> how many people live in that state? Like ten. I right. mean, yeah, you you just get like all three Nevadans knocking on your door tomorrow. So, first impressions. What do you what do you think? Um, I'm actually like I'm potentially on board for this. I I think that the exterior decoration makes it look like they plopped a house down in the middle of a gravel parking lot but well it's nice and isolated yeah that that's just what i figure is it's probably isolated what do you think of the uh, architecture there though i mean we're looking at a like a I, some kind of medieval fortress type deal like what it you know what it smacks of was it smack of it smacks of a millionaire's daughter deciding that she wants to design her own house and she decides she likes circles because they're nice and gentle, but bricks <laughs> are pretty, right? Like Some it, poor it architect got feeling. tortured by, by this woman, right? Yeah, yeah, like it's, the architect was given the money and told to do the project. And he was like, yeah, fucking all right, whatever. Like not that much complaint. And just kind of said yes. Like they got a yes man for an architect. Uh, chat saying it looks like a, like a park building. It's it's a it's a super like municipal building energy as well. Yeah. Oh fuck no! You know what this looks like? A sewage treatment plant. You ever see a sewage treatment plant? Ooh. Oh, you're right. Mm, or something like that. Maybe this is converted then. They could they could be? I mean, it is out in the middle of nowhere, so like nobody will smell the shit. I mean, like yeah, it so looks like, like it. Uh, mm. Zakael is pointing out in chat. Uh, this is 550k for 8,000 square feet. Whoa! I don't know if that's good or not. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Yalba something. The Hutt's palace. It, 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 oh yeah, yeah. It, it's got. 
I mean, it, 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 it's bizarre because you know why I think some of you are saying municipal? I mean, in New York City, they use a lot of green paint on stuff. Like, especially, like, like city stuff, yeah. like parks, department, bus, st bus stations, like the Metropolitan, like, Transit Authority paints everything green. And not only that, but those rails look very utilitarian as well. Like, all the green railings and shit. Like, look at that balcony and how yeah. not inviting that is. Right? Yeah, like, this no. is... It's odd. I mean, I don't, I don't hate it. Like, like you said, like, I'm still potentially on board with it. What's up with the, um... The stairs too. It's got some funny shit happening with the yeah, stairs. Yeah, the entryway in the front. is kind like, of funny. Like my my first thought is, all right, fire breaks out. What do you do? Right. Like, are there any other entrances or exits? It. I don't. I don't know. We're, we're gonna find out, I guess. But like, what, it's look at, whatever it was look made at this for. Plaque in the oh, front. Oh yeah, that that also gives it municipal building vibes. Like, like, what like, happened here? <laughs> like, D David Klongenheimer donated twenty thousand dollars to the erection of this building. Klongenheimer. I don't. John know. Jacob Klongenheimer Schmidt. It's very. It's just strange. Like I don't it know how is, this. There's. There's definitely a story behind this. This. This building. You know, like a, like an interesting one. Yeah. Let's see if we can figure it out. They definitely had something against. Yeah. Corners. Oh, check this out. Oh, is that the view? Yeah, it's beautiful, gotta be the, be like, beautiful the view right? right? I mean, like, I know Nevada can be beautiful, but I, I'm not really feeling like this is very scenic. Like, personally, this just looks like gravel piles. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. like, all right, we're done pulling iron out of the ground. You can have it now. We're done strip mining yeah, this right. bitch. Here you yeah. go. Uh, it, it really does have that energy like it, it's it's just a, the this place is not I'm not seeing a lot of I know it's the desert but like the, the shrubbery seems to be like isolated to like the immediate vicinity of the house also it's like the, it's like the valley and nope except uglier oh I still haven't seen that I want to so fucking good dude you like oh, it I, I, it. I, I oh, hearing I good things it. about it I didn't like his previous movie the, the what was it us us that I, I thought that that sucked honestly I liked Us, I think, and I, I liked it for its own reasons, but I think after sort of letting both movies percolate, I like Nope more. Yeah, percolated? Yeah, it, I let it I let it steep in my brain for a while, and it Look, like, I, I think uh, um, Nope worked its way into my brain folds in a way that, cool. like, in a way that Us did not. Board Lizzie said, yep, Nope! Yep, Nope. Yep, Nope! Yep, nope. The uh, Mega 5K went to Vegas last week. What's up, Mega? And they went off-roading. That shit, that shit sand got everywhere. The, the, in, in a place like this. Yeah, I don't I don't know what the fuck this is. Again, not scenic. Like, this is like, I don't know, just dirt. Like, you just live in a dirt, dirt land. Right. Also, you're so isolated. I mean, like, okay, so it, it, it sold. Somebody bought this. 500, so that's like half a million dollars to be near no civilization whatsoever. This is where you go when you're going to, like, make cocaine or store it. Meth. Jesse. Jesse. Um. Th this, I f yeah, I feel like this is, well, we'll, we'll look at the interior. This, but oh, you, oh, you think, you think we're going to get to this, 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 that's cute. This building does not look like the one we were just looking at, though. This looks like three separate, entirely different buildings, does it not? Yeah, no, it. Is it like on where's the, the where's property? the round I don't know where's the round building, like where is it? Like because it wait what the fuck is that a monument? You're right. Oh, it is. To this what? looks DEA raid resistant. Ah, oh, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it, chat, don't say it, don't say it, don't say Waco, God damn it, <laughs> dude. That's some kind of monument. Dude, maybe this... Uh, yeah, maybe maybe they're onto something with the cult energy. Like the cult vibes. Oh, you might be right. Dude, these oh, aren't balconies. These are fucking sniper towers. And look at the top of the building, too. There's a fucking sniper nest at the top. Yeah, what... This is what not What is this practical. place? What do you... Yeah. How do you live here? There is another entrance, by the way. There is, yeah. This is like... A barn. What? No, this is no. Th yeah, you're completely right. right. Those are like 
gunner positions. Uh, fucking chat beat me to it. Penis window. Oh, we yeah. all, uh, we uh, all saw it. How no, sad is that? It. We all saw the penis window. Holy shit. Um, There's a weather vane up top makes me think like farm. Like used to be a farm. A, p a part of me is like into this though, for honestly. Like a part of me doesn't hit. It's a wheelchair ramp? Wheelchair ramp. Uh, yeah, good luck getting over that Dude. first lip. What the what fuck? What a nightmare. Is, I need to know what this is. This is the other side of like, remember the first picture? It showed us the stairwell. This was the other side of the stairwell. So one, it has a ramp of stairs going up and then it has the wheelchair ramp. Mike, on the other side. You you know what this ramp makes the the ramp makes what me feel fuck? like something. Can you go back to the ramp? Yeah. Sorry. It, you know how in games you see like something is bumpy because it because it has a normal map. Yeah. Y yeah, you know what normals are, right? No. Um it, it basically is like <laughs> it, it's when it's when something is flat but you want it to look like it has texture, you'll give it a normal map. Um it looks like video game normal mapping uh this, this doesn't look real well, it, it it all the, the whole vibe of it sort of feels like a fucking fps map dude a little bit like a little oh, you know. you're right yeah the, the the little spots up top it's like you can peek yeah. around a corner you open the door it's a yeah it's a it's a fucking it's like a call of duty map it's a render yeah <laughs> The, it does like the ramp just the shape of it gives cult vibes and obviously the monument doesn't help yeah this is some um, environmental storytelling here i want you to notice that there's graffiti all over it it looks like if you look real close it looks like people like came and wrote on it is you it seeing graffiti that? think so it might be part of it like names written on it like you know here you have your name written on the obelisk like here's all of the people who died when the the DEA rated. The DEA rated. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you, you we're on the same wavelength. <laughs> this is starting to feel like kind of threatening. Like if, okay, that's all right. So I mean, maybe we're finally going inside the house, or like at least onto the porch. Looks like they got yeah. some patio furniture up there. That's nice. Well, that's inviting. Don't you think that's, guys? What's HL? Hard luck. Liquor. Hard luck. What is this? Hard could be luck. Google. Uh, this could be Googleable. This, this, lo this looks like the entrance to Count Cocula's house. <laughs> it's Count Cocula. It, it's, Just the Count Chocula, but instead of chocolate, it's cocaine. I, I was like so, Dracula, but yeah, instead of drinking blood, he <laughs> snorts cocaine. Should, survives on cocaine. Count Cocula. Dude, it's it's so. It, it, it's it's so like get the fuck away energy like we don't want any energy like holy shit it says hard on the door rim it says hard hard luck, hard luck. luck. and this symbol is hl right you see that welcome to the hard luck ranch Dude, like a leprechaun lives in here why well, is it saying that because of the green i guess hobbit hobbit the hobbit house a coked Just out the hobbit. fantasy vibes. A coked, very coked out Bilbo. And here's a path down to... Alright, so one, again, on the left is probably the wheelchair ramp, and on the right is the stairs. And this mm. is what's at the... This is so fucking threatening now. Did they really want to sell this? Because this comes across more like a threat than like a sales pitch. I would come here if it you, you was know, like a that, museum. Yeah, like... <laughs> what? Like, you this know, feels th these, like a museum. These pictures feel like don't come here like they were taken to keep you away from this place like they're a warning like that's yeah, that's what now what i'm feeling about this place right it's like how can we make this feel like a david lynch set <laughs> yeah so it's got that liminal space energy i was already kind uh, of thinking toward the beginning is this a movie set oh there's a I, there's a there's a theory like I, I wasn't completely sure about it but then you show me that angle and i'm like this might be a movie set Hideo Kojima character Hard luck He's an Irish sniper with one arm and three legs You can see the DEA coming from miles away There they are right there Free DEA visit comes with the I, house I'd like to point out in the I, purchase. I, I unmuted the stream and my voice sounds really good It's not peaking at all No you sound great 
I don't. What? What do you do? Nothing. Change nothing. You must have changed Motherfucker. something. Motherfucker! How do you? I haven't know? done shit. I didn't. I didn't do shit. I, sound, I, I, I didn't do nothing. shit. I didn't do What's shit. What's happening? Apparently, the anyway. people who bought this have cult, made it yeah. into an Airbnb. What? That's what someone in chat is saying. How do you convince anyone to stay here for any length of time? I'd be terrified. Are you kidding me? You want to go? Yeah, yeah <laughs> like, go? The, like it's an Airbnb so they can pin drug charges on you. Spanking dudes found the website for it. Uh, post it in the chat, please. What the? Uh, is that is a to, mortar launcher? This is to, for when the DEA show up, dude. Little little cannon. Yeah. Little little cannon. <laughs> They're ready. Uh, hold on a sec. Thanks for posting. Hard luck mine, castle and mine. All right, dude. Oh, here we fuck. Okay, here well, we go. Here's the rabbit hole. Here, how about I? I, I want to see. I, I want to see. I want to finish looking at the Zillow listing. You wanna, I okay. want us to I like make the our theories. Okay. And then we try to figure out what it is. There's there, there's actually quite a bit of pictures left, but okay. Like um, I know that you know it, it's a mine. Hard luck mine. What if these? Oh shit! What if there was a cave in? What if there was a cave in and those are the names of miners who died? They had hard luck, dude. Hard luck. Motherfucker. Dude, you know what? Stick with that prediction. I stick with that, that prediction that, I, because that, I think... That is what I am sticking with for now. Unless we I, find something else very convincing. I mean, you know, one of the first things you said when we started looking at this listing was that it looks like they strip mined the area. Yeah. Right? Um, so, I mean, like, maybe I, you were right. It looks like a mine because that's what it is, Fred. You know, I think you nailed it. Like, are are we buying all, are we buying all of this? Like, what's, what is this? What's going on down here? Yeah, the, why, why are there a bunch Why of... are you showing me this? Do they come with the property? Do, they, do these <laughs> construction vehicles come with the property? This is like the third picture, by the way, that had construction vehicles in it. <laughs> so, like, Move I mean, you better coping? be selling me these. For you to be putting all these, these pictures of these things, dude. Yeah, look! Again. What and the there's fuck? like just shacks down here. Tractor's not included. Shit? That flag's been through some shit, huh? Tattered American flag. Old glory. Oh my god. Old, old glory. Very old glory. Geriatric glory. 24 hour video surveillance. <laughs> And is nope. that a doggy door? It's pet friendly, only, pet friendly stay. Not only are you going to be staying in this place, but we're going to be watching you do it. Oh my God. What if this is an experiment look, to try to figure out what kind of motherfucker would actually stay in a place like this? Isn't that what every Air, uh, Airbnb is? 24 <laughs> hour video surveillance where you can... Oh, I mean, I, not really. Yeah. You could... um ring this bell i suppose like i would come out here every morning and like you know dong dong just to be an asshole oh no i'm having flashbacks to nope again does that happen in nope don't spoil it for I, me. no spoil dude no spoilers but please fucking watch it it's so good yeah they you go and i mean like again this is not different from any other airbnb but you go there and there's little cameras set up everywhere there's one in the bathroom like watching your asshole like as you poop is one in the shower. More accurate to the, the Airbnb experience than you would think. Yeah. Like, people find some shit. Okay, you guys, if you want, I'm going to give you all a tip. If you notice that there is a, um, a CO2 detector or a smoke detector directly above the bed, that shit's probably a camera. Oh, yeah, they're trying to watch you fuck. Yeah. Yeah, it is a voyeurism thing. Or I would, you they're know, trying I... to get blackmail. I would, I would, you know, if I saw that, they're trying to get compromat. If I saw that shit, I would defecate all over the the house and then leave. Like I would make them watch as I fuck, like just shat on every surface. <laughs> and then may maybe like picked some up and like chucked it at the walls before leaving like a fucking gorilla. Or, 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 okay. Hear me out. Yeah, I would. <laughs> Hear me out. You get a big like playlist of like horrific furry porn like uh -huh. just 
just like reprehensible, horrifying. Oh, but that would be get so hard to find. Get get that. Yeah, where would you where would you find that? You leave that on like an iPad, and you put it on like on the bed, <laughs> and it's like they're going to have to comb through. And every time they skip through looking for you, it's a new horrifying piece of furry porn. Good fuck them. <laughs> Like you got, uh, you, you get all of like you get some vor in there, inflation. Get the feet, all the hits, all the classics, or yeah, finger family videos. Oh, yes. the, did you see the fecal finger That'd family? Be better, yeah, I, I saw SpongeBob shit all over. That's the, dude. Like, Poppy's that's not out. even the tip of the iceberg, bro. The tip. The, of the their shipper. entire their entire scat themed fucking channels, like like fuck for children, like baby's first scat kink. Have I given you my theory as to where most video platforms are going? I talked to you. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't know. Maybe, but I, I don't have, remember. I have so a theory. Ahead. I've talked about this on my stream, but I think that the the marketing of these algorithms as AI is doing a lot of harm, specifically in the sense that the higher ups of these companies are rather than using them as a supplemental tool, they are relying on them entirely to perform the entire process from beginning to end. But that than... but th th those videos aren't aren't they're not created by AI. Exactly. I'm not saying that yeah, those yeah. videos are created by them. I am saying that the algorithm, like th I'm talking about the algorithms that moderate these. Oh, you, oh, 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 excuse me. I'm sorry. You're talking about like YouTube's okay. algorithm, for yeah, example. YouTube's yeah, YouTube's algorithm, TikTok's al algorithm, Twitter's yeah. algorithm. Um, they are being, oh. rather than being used as a supplemental tool, they are being used, uh, like they are being modified so that they take care of every part of the process from beginning to end. Let me and tell as, you, Fred, the TikTok these... algorithm is having no problem detecting um, when I get angry. And I've been, like, banned off TikTok for, like, being angry. TikTok fucking <sighs> sucks mad. so hard, dude. Too mad for TikTok. When, when, TikTok, when... I think, is actually... Um, TikTok is running into that problem faster than the others. But I'm, like, I'll, I'll explain. Well, they <laughs> refuse to hire human beings. And when they do right. hire human beings, they're hiring them in foreign countries where, where, where like, uh, just not... And I'm, okay, the U.S. where I where I am located, and these people aren't able to tell when something's a joke or sarcasm or irony. They're not able to understand context. So when they see a man yelling, they immediately apply a ban to the effect that like it even is a human being, which I think there are some human beings, some. but it's no, mo there, it's there mostly are. it's mostly AI. Yeah, no, they, mostly. there absolutely are some human beings that are doing some of this, and sometimes when they say, "Oh yeah, the AI is doing it," they mean it's actually Al from like Taiwan, right? Man, a, a dude from Taiwan named Al. Tell you what, not an AI. That that will truly be the death of Twitch when Twitch go when Twitch no longer is, is trying to have human moderators and decision makers. Well, here in, here's in the like, point that I'm making. Yeah, like and yeah, I I believe that that is the beginning of the end. Like we are in yeah. the beginning of the end because. Yeah. As these companies come to rely on these algorithms more yeah. and more, you have fewer people working in it. Yeah. And so you just get rid of those people, right? That's the point. You're getting rid of the peoples and the algorithm yeah. takes over. The problem is that the algorithm also is self-correcting and will change over time. However, uh, it will select for things that are good in the short term for the platform, but it will not select for things that are good for the long term health of the platform. So even if the short term, uh, the, the the short term view counts and um, analytics are really good, the platforms will begin to bleed people and they will not be the company will not be able to do anything about the algorithm because they fired everyone that knew how it worked <laughs> because they just figured they could let it do its own thing and hey it's working pretty well so far yeah that well, I mean, and, I, and I think that that is happening to youtube it's like TikTok is well beyond that point and it it means that it's also going to select for weirder and weirder content that people might be like what the fuck is this and now, I'm the convinced... algorithm likes it but then those people leave the platform because they get nothing but those videos recommended I'm, I'm convinced YouTube doesn't have any people working at it anymore like I They're don't think there's any as many as they can I don't think there's like any human beings back there 
I don't think there's any fucking because, dude. Do you know that that fe- that fecal family, like the the fucking shit, like the scat kink. Oh, I mean, like, dude, it w- it was like if if two girls, one cup was a, ki- a children's cartoon. Yeah, and I'm not that, exaggerating I that. Believe, I'm, I I'm not. You. I'm not exaggerating that. You're you're, te- you're telling me that video got 20k views in one day. Okay, like some people are saying it's botted, but like either way, what the well, actual fuck? It doesn't matter. It, and the p- part of the point I'm making is that it doesn't matter if it's botted or not. The algorithm is going to like it either way. Right. The algorithm loves it. Did, did you? It's is this something you watched humans. on stream? No, no. <laughs> no, I did not watch this one on stream. You know what I did do was, and this is what we, we might do in a future Finger Family stream, mm-hmm. a segment where I block out the screen and only show you basically me reacting to it. <laughs> I'm only, I'm going to watch it. You're not going to be able to see it. You're just going to see my face. Mm-hmm. And audio. You're going to get audio from the video. That is that actually yeah live mic reaction yeah <laughs> like live slug yeah. reaction gotta take your anyway. glasses off i will take my glasses off anyway yeah so yeah doom so, so, sorry for despair, my dooming it's doom my it, it's just this is how i f- i suspect that these platforms are going to go their their platforms uh their algorithms are going to choose for stuff that's good in the short term but not but are not good for the long-term health um, yeah, see, it seems it seems obvious. I mean, it's always incentivizing profit, no matter what. Even if, yeah, like you said, profit, in the long growth. in the long term, um, it's going to lead to negative growth in the long term if that if that keeps up. So it's interesting, yeah, because the algorithm isn't capable of realizing that, like you said, because it's yeah. not a person. Yeah, it's not selecting necessarily for things that a normal human would notice. Right, right, right. So anyway, real estate listing. Um, this place sucks, but I would live here in a bind. Um, very similar pictures. I think there's just a few left. I kind of want to get to the lore on this place. Hard yeah, luck same. mine castle. Uh, we got those flags. There's a naked woman statue. That's okay. Do you, do you think that Smash. there's a critical mass of American flags at which, like, at, at which point, like, someone you will always be able to get someone to visit the place if like you like there's a contingent of americans that just go feral when they see enough american (laughs) flags and they're like usa 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 and they just go there and they're they're in a, a fugue state because they're surrounded by american flags the more flags the better um, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I think it helps. I mean, there's a lot of irony around, like, on, honestly, the term patriotism has become so useless now. It doesn't even like, 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 I don't even think that, like, what do you even do with that word anymore? Like that literally, it, it doesn't mean anything anymore. We it's cannot perfect, have that conversation. We cannot have that no, conversation. We, we cannot. But as, as someone, you know, got an English major, those sorts of words that mean nothing are very powerful. Still, even even though it if it ever meant anything, it definitely doesn't mean shit now. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's a rhetorical tactic. But it's like people hear it and they're like, "Fuck yeah, we're patriots." Well, can you define to me what that even is? And probably at this point, how do you do that without being a fucking hypocrite? You can't. It's insane. Mm-hmm. It's just fucking. Yeah, I don't. It, I don't know. It, it's it's so susceptible to uh, an, the no true Scotsman fallacy. I always. would not. Um, I don't know what that is, but I feel like that's. Um, a, a no yeah. true Scotsman. The, it's a logical fallacy where um, a person says, "Oh yeah, every uh, here's the example." I think is like every Scotsman has like puts butter on their pancakes, and then someone says, "Oh, I'm I'm a Scotsman, and I don't put butter on my pancakes. Right. I just okay. use syrup." Then the person replies, "Well, then you're not a true Scotsman." Right. Right. And just use that for literally anything. Right. Mm-hmm. A logical yeah, so, fallacy where a standard is applied to a specific thing, and if you don't adhere to it, you're not a true Scotsman. Then, then you're, yeah, exactly. Uh huh. So then it's I mean, a way to say you see it with like um, uh, r- Rhino Republican in name only. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Who are, who's, people who support Trump call the rest and uh, call the rest of the party who yeah. don't rhinos. Right. Uh, Disgusting. So well, they just it's intellectually dishonest to a a fucking appalling degree 
it, it's it's an interesting yeah. logical fallacy. Yeah. Um, you see it. It's I I I have a lot of fun sort of <laughs> noticing and like trying to find them in very rhetoric. very disrespectful. We have to stop this conversation because people are going to start saying yeah. they're going to start crying doom and they're going to start shitting yeah, and cry, yeah. shitting and crying. I'm not trying to be political. This is um, literally just a thing. I find interesting. H hard luck mine castle, right? Uh oh, here's the mine. You oh I get this too fantastic. Here it is, and you get the mine, and you get to go. You, you get to go see where uh, you know what happened to those guys in person. I guess. <laughs> I mean, this they is this isn't still, terrifying. They say you can still hear their wailing from the rock. <laughs> it echoes forever. Man, as far as holes in the ground go, this is pretty inviting, though, right? You know, Pretty Mike, homie. I, I really did not need to see the footage from the doctor. <laughs> so you got, you know, you got, you got, you got to cozy it up. You put some some posters up, maybe an incense burner or like little, you know, lazy boy in here. Maybe some RGB gamer lights on the ceiling. Make it a little <laughs> man cave, like a literal cave, a man literal cave, cave, like an actual cave. Right. Mike, I could work with this. Could work with this. I hear man cave and I think of the moment where I peaked. It was on our, it was on a stream together and we were looking at Blue Lick Road. Uh -huh. The funniest I have ever been is when the man cave had like the TV and then another TV covered <laughs> like covered <laughs> I up behind it. I remember that. I was like, oh it's a man <laughs> cave, you can watch a football game and then half of another football game. You were like the first half or the second half. And I replied top half. <laughs> That is literally the funniest was, thing I have ever said. That was an excellent, uh, that was some excellent, like, banter moment right there. <laughs> the top half, uh, so good. Um, yeah, we'll this, I mean, I, I don't need, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't need, I don't need a cave. I'm good. Thank you. I'm not, I'm good on, I'm good on, you know, fuck terrifying holes in the ground with, like, little the beady eyes at the end of them. That's okay. It is spooky season. I don't need that responsibility. Mm, yeah, I mean, what, what if there's a cryptid down there and you got to feed it and like it's the last of its race, but you know you had to have a conflicted relationship with it because um, one day you had sex with it. Why am I saying this? Let's move on. <laughs> Hard luck mine castle tours, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. So it is a museum, Fred. It is. All right. Essentially, it is okay. a museum. I was right with the vibe of it. So they um, sold it, Fred. Yes. What if? Okay. You can mine Bitcoin down here. You just want to play more Going Under, don't you? I actually I, I haven't played it. I would highly uh, recommend it. I know, I'm going to get to it eventually. Um, here's a bathroom. We finally have an interior shot of the fucking house. I just want to fuck with Fred. You know, he's 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 the... Um, I'm what the was crypto it? guy. The, what, was, what was it? Know? <laughs> what was it? The thing that was... Uh, FUD! Fud Nudson, Fud Fud Nudson, yeah. Go ahead. You don't what happened? Miss out on mining some sick coin. That's what we call Bitcoin around here. Now pick up. Now get this pickaxe and get fucking digging. You, you FOMO sexual. <laughs> Did you just come up with that? I've been saying that for a while. It's. I've never heard you say that. That is so good. Holy shit. <laughs> How have I never heard you say that? Uh, they, they, like, they fucking try to hype you on, like, you know, f fucking the blockchain or whatever, or the fucking, like, yeah. you know, the, the, the use cases, like, the future applications, but, like, really, like, they just have you digging for rocks down there, and you're, like, actually the fucking the dying to, like, sulfur in the air and shit. Right, like, when do I find the Bitcoin? Now yeah. just keep going. This is the only interior shot we've seen. It's a bathroom. Um, I guess it looks nice. I like the tile. It's pretty. And uh, for some reason, a fucking organ. A theater organ? A, a theater organ. Like This is like what the Phantom fuck? of the Opera type shit, right? Why? I don't know. Well, they did sell this, it turns out. All and right, let's take a look. They have a website. Now, I don't know how recent this is. Imagine... An amazing castle deep in the desert. Oh, fuck this, off. Uh, castle. The, the, I mean, like, a little bit. 
uh, I mean, like, dude, if, if you go to like, um, you know, Italy, for example, has lots of castles that do look like this. It looks like, like a, a, a varying size, a varying size, admittedly. Dude, it, it, it looks like it looks like a very rotund frontier frontiersman wearing a pie tin on his head. <laughs> well, you know what it what it is, dude. They, they the idea behind this is that they were repurposed um like Ro Roman structures, like ancient Roman, Roman structures. Yeah. Roman like re what? Mike, this is the middle of Nevada. Yeah, they're they're mimicking a style, is what I'm saying. They're mimicking a, a fucking style. Not that I believe this is Rome fucking Roman ruins. Do you think that I mean maybe how, how do you whatever, you can't def going. you can't definitively say it isn't. I the Romans what? Yeah, there used to be a land bridge from Alaska. Did you know that? To, 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 but yes. to Russia. Bering but, Bering Land Bridge. But the I Romans don't think, theoretically could have Romans... could have made it across and built this castle in the Nevada desert. What fucking Romans? They absolutely could have done. Why would they not have been able to do that? What? He doesn't know about the Nevada Romans Omega lull. <laughs> what a Fuck what off. a fucking tool. Uh, all right. Sorry. <laughs> this castle is full of surprises, including an organ that plays music on its own and fun Wait. off roading trails. Mike, I'll go music. Mike. You you were joking, but you are basically describing the Book of Mormon. Is that what happens in the Book of Mormon? The Book of Mormon. Oh right, no, yeah, I remember. Yeah, the, the fuck that. Um, no, that Jesus was in North America, and like gave some some commandments to the Native Americans or something. It's, it. I, I think like that there was argument that there were like white people in America, and then like they. I think they they were lost. I forget. I need to look. I need to look. It's it's fucking hog wild. Yeah, they're bad shit crazy. Um, I kind of did un unintentionally invoke that, didn't I? I think you know it's it's got to a point where like when somebody says the Book of Mormon, I immediately think about the musical from like the South Park guys, and not the actual Book of Mormon, which exists because the musical I mean, was like, very funny. Was it? I never saw it. And and quite accurate, actually. Um, it's a great place to visit for tourists looking for a unique experience. The castle is located in the middle of nowhere, making it the perfect place to get away from it all. The organ is housed in a beautiful grand room, and its delightful melodies can be heard throughout the entire castle. The off-roading trails are full of twists and turns, providing plenty of excitement for visitors who love adventure. This amazing desert castle is definitely worth visiting if you're looking for something different and exciting. It's sure to provide memories that will last a lifetime. The off-roading- Samir! Samir, please listen to my calls! You are breaking the car. You are breaking the car! That's what, that, that's what they were showing us. They were showing us in those pictures where I thought it was like, why are you showing me nothing? Those were the, the trails, apparently. That's what I think. Yeah, no, I, I think you're correct. I'm I'm just dumbfounded, like saying it's a perfect place to get away from it all. It's what, what, what did how well, did I mean, they describe it? It, it, it was is, um, a, a unique experience. You know what else is a unique experience? Spelunking in a septic tank. You're not going to get an experience like that just because it's unique doesn't mean that it's good. Don't sell <laughs> that, me on its uniqueness. That's a very that's a, that's a very good point. That's a very Mesothelioma good point. Mesothelioma is a unique experience. That doesn't mean I want it. <laughs> Could be terrible. Yeah, I mean, like, I, well, they're, they're, you know, I mean, like, for some people, that's a selling point. But I mean, like, again, how far out there are we talking? You know, for some people, like, I, I guess, I don't know, people who like to camp. Where would you get the food and groceries? I guess you're taking them with you. You're, you're. You're preparing for the fact that you're going to be miles and miles and miles away from any kind of civilization. Yeah, what are you going to grow like, around here? I don't think DoorDash is coming out here. What are you going to grow? You're also not right. You're not farming out here. That's that's a, this is not like a nice. This is not a good property for if you're a fucking doomsday prepper or something. No. This is not like, you know, sustainable uh, housing or whatever, because it's all desert. You can't. Did, I mean, maybe well, I don't know what I'm talking about. Well, those oh, you are. Could, Aren't those solar panels on the roof? You're saying you grow something inside? Like, 
No, I think that it has solar panels on the roof, so it is kind of... Oh, you, you're Off talking like self-sustainable. Yeah, completely sustainable. Well, all right. Well, I mean, yeah, the solar no. panels is a great point. If you notice in the pictures, it didn't have solar panels, so this must have been an addition by the people who bought it. Must um, hey, been, Lumpy. Yeah. Look, so they said Stardew Valley hard mode. <laughs> 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 uh, I mean, like, maybe they are off the grid. The electrical grid. Right. Although, like, I mean, well, if you want, if you want to get solar power, you're in the middle of the what, what the the Death, Death Valley. You're getting a lot of sunlight, right? I think um, th there was a line from um, Mother Horse Eyes that was really good. Hold on. I remember. No, I know the line you're going to bring up. Can I guess? Yeah. The line that goes, "Wow, so it really was a Mother Horse Eyes." Yes. After all, that line, right? That's the one you're going to bring up? Sure. Why not? That's the one he's, he's referencing. That's the one. So it really okay. was a mother horse size after all. Okay, here we go. <laughs> um, so I went... So the person is explaining. So I went out to Death Valley. Why did I go there? Why does anybody? To die. Because it has a cool name. Oh, if it was called valid. some scorpions and a bunch of fucking rocks, which is what it actually is, nobody would go. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you get like scorpion nerds to go. <laughs> it's a good point. It. Oh, the, oh! I just realized that castle, as they're calling it, it's it's rather squat for a castle. It's pretty squat. It looks it, like it's um, got two floors and yes. a basement. Bringing it to it's, three. Total that thing floors, is full probably. of scorpions, right? <laughs> the, ba the basement, especially. Yeah, the basement. This is a fucking especially. scorpion pit, like something out of Indiana Jones, dude. Don't go in the basement. Right. Just don't. Like, don't go down there. Trust me. The basement exists solely just so that the scorpions will stay off of the other floors. Th that's the scorpion farm, dude. When we have to eat the bugs and live in the pod, you're gonna make scorpion burgers with those bad boys. It's good shit. Okay, but. Bait. Oh no, okay, no, hold on. <laughs> there is definitely some asshole in like the manosphere Oops, that would start trying to be like, yeah, if, if you want to be a man, you want to grow up, you want to be big and strong, scorpion burgers. That's what you gotta eat. There's already a dude who like with eats the venom tons of liver and like Oh I know, you live liver testicle. king. I would you know, yeah, as soon as you king. started talking about the scorpion thing, like you were like man as soon as you said manosphere and scorpion eating, I thought I thought liver king. You thought liver king. <laughs> yeah. Immediately I thought liver king. I was like, Yep, that's liver king core. Although it's kind of an interesting dichotomy though, because he's probably you know, like he's he's probably more on like, you know, the right wing spectrum. About like you know manliness and testosterone and and, and fucking whatever whatever the fuck like I like trad trad shit are like, trad like shit they're, I, like, I like think trad like, nutrition politically I think they really? tend to I be mean, farther right but they have a whole lot of like sort of wooey spirituality going right. on right it's it's almost like that guy with the fucking raccoon hat at the Capitol riot who was right. like. Who was um, like, you know, the, yeah, the, the Q shaman because he the Q shaman because he wouldn't eat like anything that wasn't organic or something like right. that. Like he wouldn't eat what. So it's 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 weird because it's like maybe maybe it's a little bit of that horseshoe thing or whatever, where like, they you start know, to resemble each other a little because, bit because because traditionally like that type of shit is something you associate with like hippies and left wing shit. Right. But right. now it's like you see it popping up in in, in the right wing. It's it's kind of I don't know what the I don't know what the fuck it is. Homeopathy, yeah, because it it, it kind of worked its way in there via like the the avenues of chiropractic and that anti-vax bullshit all all mixed right. up into be, into being like, well, you can't eat anything that has a chemical in the name or some shit. I, I you think, know like that. I I think it has to do with like conspiracy being a part of the right like it, it has its place in the right wing establishment yeah um and hey nady um hey man it i'm, I'm sorting my thoughts conspiracy theory or a uh, conspiracy thought um has an inherent distrust of established organizations yeah which right fits, which fits fairly well into the the right wing paradigm of like well i guess the old paradigm of smaller government yeah um, but i mean like again practically it's a little different what, like what, what the it's, fuck it's even, even but, has even happened to any of that yeah 
I swear, like, I'm not, you guys, this is not a politics show. We're talking about it from a higher level than, like, trying to say what's right or wrong. But this, conspir yeah. So conspiracy thought is, it fits into that paradigm, but it also has a dis, like, it also means they distrust things like medicine. And so yeah. they, they create their own systems of medicine. They distrust. Because there's like, an establishment, because there's a medical yeah. establishment. Exactly. And so you, you end know. up creating their own thing. You can't trust the FDA. Um, or any existing um, like corporations. Yeah, but but, but 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 then the irony of it is that you'll also see them sucking corporations' dicks and blowing billionaires and being like, "Fuck yeah, they you know these people are great." Mm -hmm. So like, there's so much things that just don't go together. Like, there's not, not and not even hypocrisy. Just there's there's I feel like there's a better word for it. Like, I, I, I just things being like mismatched and like not making sense what's the word that i'm trying to think of you know what the fuck i'm talking about um there's a word and also needy contradictions like, are, are yeah my sphere is nice needy. so many yeah so many like contradictions and these things that are like is it dichotomy why do i want to keep using the word di di it's, dichotomy it's not really a dichotomy it's not because it's not I, the I right word people, yeah it's not because i think that people think like all politics is either left or right and it's like wow that is obscenely reductionist um, the, not everywhere is America, everyone. Um, so the liver king would be so like, weird. let's let's eat some some fucking scorpion venom to like yeah. raise up our tea <laughs> count. But then everybody who follows him will be like, but wait a minute, I'm not going to eat the bugs and live in the pod. And then, but since some of them will, and that's how you'll end up getting like that fucking like, you know, again that that weird contradiction of just the, this, a medley, you know, a weird right. juxtaposition of these yeah. two things that typically you would think wouldn't wouldn't end up together it's it's again it's it's more um bl uh, it's less black and white than like people want to think it, it shit mm. is that makes sense yeah. it. no uh, absolutely as it turns out individuals tend to have a remarkable amount of individual thought <laughs> you you yeah. you think like i think from a high level people think oh yeah everyone just like goes along with the um, flow and it's, it's like more complicated no, not as much as you would think not realistically so sorry we, we got off track we got really off track you know i, I wanted to say nady uh, i streamed with nady earlier today uh nady was on my stream so uh, they they have come to, to hang out we looked at some bad ai art oh my god we, i saw a little bit that was great we got sidetracked on shrek like let's the, have the first scene of shrek uh every frame was run through an ai I think I came in during that for a minute. That was <laughs> uh, that was really interesting. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I'm I'm just trying to. One of the things that 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 sticks with me right now is how how much these people, like people like that, want to. Like they will be so into conspiracy theories, right? Right. Like a lot of these people, like in that in that camp now. Mm. But then they want to be like, yeah, you know. We don't trust these corporations. We don't trust the chemicals they put in the food. We don't trust the decisions that they make that affect our lives, you know. But you know, like climate change is also a hoax. But wait, but that, hold on. But you don't. So so you so you would say if I so you you don't want to trust corporations, but like you know, the carbon emission shit. That, you know, we have fucking paper trails of, like, energy companies spending millions of dollars to fucking suppress and buy fake science and suppress real science about, about fucking, you know, about, like, carbon emissions. That mm. is also a conspiracy. So, you like, you don't trust corporations, but you do trust corporations when it's convenient? Right. It, it's not, that is inconsistent. Um, this, that's what that's the type of shit I'm talking about. Cognitive dissonance. That's what yeah. I was trying to fucking say this whole okay. time. That gotcha. was what I couldn't fucking think of this whole time, Weeby. Thank you. Cognitive dissonance. That's the fucking the cognitive the cognitive dissonance nowadays is like off the charts. I feel like, you know, you might find somebody like an older person who's gonna try to tell you, like, okay, no, cognitive dissonance with a lot of people was always this bad. You know, like, it's not like it got worse recently, but I just, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Maybe it's just like, I'm an adult now and I see these things like more easily than I did when I was younger. Right. I, 
Ooh. I think that with conspiracy thought, it's very easy to get stuck in with a particular idea. Um, and then you look for things. Th this is one of the problems with um, an ad hoc hypothesis, because most conspiracy theories are ad hoc hypotheses taken to an extreme degree. Um, do you know what an ad hoc hypothesis is? Sorry. Um, sure. <laughs> Well, for those in chat who don't know, an ad hoc yeah. hypothesis is when you state a conclusion and then you look for evidence to support that conclusion, as opposed to hypothesizing something and I then running a test to see if it's possible. I knew Instead, that. Instead, like you assume, oh yes, this is already like this already exists. Like I know it is, and now I'm going to look for evidence that supports it. That's what's going and on so, with a lot of these things. Yeah. When that's you, why you have the flat earth there's like like doing science that that's proving to them that the earth is round and then they're like oh well that was a bad test it had flaws yeah you know like yeah. you've seen that shit right like yes yeah they they come in with uh it's not a hypothesis it's a presupposition they um they uh, they say i know that the earth is flat and so I, even though I don't have evidence for it, so now I am going to go and find evidence for the for the world being flat. Yeah, I was I was waiting for Fred to to like like stop talking, honestly, just so I could say, have you heard of the Mike Hawk hypothesis? But somebody in chat fucking said it and ruined it. What is the Mike Hawk hypothesis? <laughs> I mean, Why Mike are you Hawk. asking? I, I know my. He's, I thought there might have been more to it than his name's. Like it's a name that sounds funny. <laughs> oh is my there God. more to it, or is it just no, Mike, no, Mike no? Hawk. It's just no. Mike Hawk. It's literally Mike Hawk. What is Mike? The Mike Hawk. Ed Hawk. Egg Hawk. Ad All right. Hawk so Mike. Mike. Oh my God. <laughs> so, so. Okay. Okay. I what I was trying to say was there's, there's a high pro probability that this building is completely off of any electricity grid and is com is entirely self reliant. Like they might have to have food brought in, but the I feel like the solar panels. This is not that big of a building, you know. I mean, yeah. like it's it's possible that they are running this building entirely on 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 solar power, right? That's not that's not impossible, right? Like, I I think it's realistic. It's Death Valley. Think about how much sunlight. Right. Getting. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's it's totally possible here. Like you might not say that in a lot of other parts of the country, but here, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Ad it's hoc. One of those places, it, yeah, it's one of sorry. those places where you can taste the water just by looking at it. Oh, like that's literally, guys. That's literally it. It, it doesn't have like any more info on on the castle. Like that's the entire website, guys. This is, and it. this is the about section too. Okay, well, what the fuck is it, dude? Home. All right. Uh, the most remote castle in the world. Book on Airbnb. What is this? What the fuck? Is it a map of the world? It's yeah. It's, you're right. It's a globe. It's a globe. Yeah. Yeah. I see that now. It's That's Japan. Besides regular stage, you can plan plan small events at the castle. Yeah, I see the, the beauty and adventure the around the pendulum. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a giant cake or something. It does, right? It, it looks like a Mario Party level. Uh, all right, I don't know if Yahoo! this is gonna this is just like show like dox me or something when I click it. Okay, they could. <laughs> all right. Well, yeah, yeah, all right. I'm like afraid of it. We couldn't find the page that you were looking for. Uh, that was when I when I clicked on when I clicked on that. Well, I mean, I feel like I have more questions at the end of this. Yeah. Um. Like, like, what the fuck? Like, again, what is it? It was a mine? Like, do you, it, it, it didn't explain shit. Yeah, no, I have no idea. Like, it, 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 they're like, yeah, you want to learn more about it? You have to come out to the middle of nowhere Death Valley. Fred? Good luck, motherfucker. Yes. What are, what are, what are, what are these? What is, what is that? What is that? It looks like a... Hot tubs. Hot, is, is it a hot tub? It's I probably think just it, water reservoir. It's like water. water yeah, it's, yeah. Just, it's just like drinkable drinking water. Mm -hmm. Um, it all begins with you and your preference on how to enjoy this beautiful desert. It's like again the least picturesque part of this entire state. 
Yeah. <laughs> Quiet nature, stargazing, off road, discovering remote ancient petroglyphs. It looks like a fucking industrial park, bro. Yeah. You can look up at the sky and imagine that you're not in the middle of fucking nowhere in Death Valley. Dirt biking, mountain biking, hiking, barbecue, exploring, or just kicking back and enjoying serenity and having basically an entire valley to yourself. How the fuck do you even get out here? You gotta drive out here. Cars, obviously, you know. Yeah, they, I mean, there are roads. I mean, that looks nice. Right that's here? That's nice, yeah. That's beautiful. I do like, I do like that. Like, I like, that could be cool. Oh! Need to bury a body? Well, what, what? do we have the <laughs> mine shaft for you? Why are they showing us this? What are they showing us this for? What the fuck? Some, some sweat frogs in chat, yeah. Why would they include this? <laughs> oh, man. Like, you could feel the hand coming out of there and grabbing you by the face and dragging you to hell. Um, That looks kind of nice. Stevo Citrus has a quote for us, but I don't know where from what. Um, the hard luck it, mine operated from 1897 to around World War II. Because of looting, the mine could not reopen after the war. When Randy Johnston... And, well, I mean, like, the, the war didn't happen in, in Nevada, dude. What, Whatever. When Randy Johnston and his son sought shelter near the hard luck mine during a desert snowstorm... Oh, because it is Nevada. That's, that's actually... Yeah, that does snow there, right? Um, they decided the location would be an apt area to build a legacy. In 1998, Randy purchased the 40 acres that encompassed the Hard Luck Mine and its neighboring Emerson claim with the purpose of building his dream home, beginning construction in 2000. Dream home. Oh, this guy's an S. Um, Who's what's dream? Wait, what's this? What the fuck is it? What am I looking at? I uh, Parasailing out in the desert. That's a thing. Yeah, but why is all the sand so flat all of a sudden? Like what? Salt flats. Yeah. That's salt flats? That's all salt? Yeah. So you like drag your ass along the salt? That guy died. What ha this this guy just died. <laughs> Listen, you haven't lived until Holy you have shit. felt thousands of individual grains of salt lodged right in your ass. You know <laughs> You know what I think, bud? Like you hmm. Um no, you know what? I want to hear more about that. Finish your thought. No, no, you just, you will be able to feel each cheek individually in a way that you never would have before. <laughs> like, you will feel the separation where they part. Bro, I'm starting to think. Because look at this picture. This is actually a really cool place to have a vacation. Like, this is not a bad, like, Airbnb rental. The problem is that they just took some really bad pictures. You think here it so? is in the winter? Yeah. Um, because, dude, look, look, look at what you could do. Like, you could, you could do this here. You know, like, as soon as you started seeing pictures of anything except for the house, you were on board. Like, yeah, I mean, the, the house is the house. just like you just want to come in here in an RV. Yeah, I mean, like you know. I mean, the house is whatever. You, you know what it is? You're not spending a lot of time in this house. This is for this is an outdoorsy rental. Like, this is for an outdoorsy vacation. You know? Yeah. Like, they're banking on the fact that oh you're my God, not look. going to stay in the house. Like, that looks awesome. This is all the immediate area. Here, he's hang, pa paragliding, hang gliding, whatever. Oh, uh, here's a person. So, this is like the top observation deck. Again, in the winter because there's snow. That's kind of cool. Is that what this building, like, that's all this building is? We're, I mean, we're finally inside the building. Yeah, we are. Why is there a theater organ in here? Again, that that's a, a fucking gimmick, meme, gimmick. Yeah. And don't forget, it plays songs by itself. In case it's you want to, I don't know, scare the shit out of people, play some pranks. Yeah, it's the most random thing. It's, it's the equivalent of, like... Yeah, come out to the middle of nowhere and see our lobster tank. Fred, what's like, that's, this? That's cool. Why, why do you have a lobster tank in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> Neat. Fred, what's... Is it ru ruins? I told you the Romans were in Nevada. This is like the... This is like... 
the Ozymandias for like middle class Americans. Why can't Fred say Ozymandias? Ozymandias? Ozymandias. Look, look upon a look upon my works, ye midi, and despair. Despair. They despair. like edited a, a shooting star into the sky over here. Do you think that's yeah. an edit? Yes. <laughs> I, I think it's an edit too. Why is it red? This is a fucking Photoshop, dude. They have a pinball machine in the in the in the house, I guess. Whoa! Hold on. What the? Dude, this is like a VR chat world. There's a little, <laughs> yeah, uh, you got a TV, a fucking sexy leopard print beanbag, and two movie theater, uncomfortable movie theater style seats. This is the fuck room. And I think there's, a, there's, a, look, there's, there's a fucking VHS slash DVD player back there. Oh yeah, this is the sex room. Yeah. Absolutely, no question red carpeting yeah oh yeah this is for fucking we're probably not like we're, we're probably like too tall to fit in this room like this is under stairs it looks like what, what the did fuck? i ever tell you about my choir teacher who had just the most atrocious outfits just the leopard print makes me think of it like the she would come to school in like a leopard print getup, leopard print pants, and a matching leopard print like thin jacket. So everything was leopard print. Every, like, and then sometimes tiger print. It was she was obnoxious as all get out. Like she would match different animal prints, like zebra pants and like leopard shirt. Like yeah. she would just be like, that's gross. Was she talented? Uh, she she had a good voice. Did she have uh, Karen she, energy? Uh, she had some Karen energy going. Fred's on, choir yeah. teacher was the nanny. Yeah, she did dress like that a lot, didn't she? The nanny. Fred, look at the ancient Roman carvings on these rocks. I, I, you're going to give me an aneurysm. Look at that. Look, S that says S P Q R. You see that? I am going to strangle you with my fingers. <laughs> Fingers? My fingers, yeah. They're you Wing know how fingers. like when when a an anthropomorphized bird character has like like think the Rito from This man um, is pissing. From Breath of the Wild, yeah. He is abs I no, I'm looking. He has absolutely taken a leak. Why would they put a piss photo in here? <laughs> Urinate on our property. <laughs> Why would they put a piss photo, dude? What the fuck? Right, but they have hot. fingers that are fe feather fingers, yeah. which makes no sense. Fing fingers. N Nady, as far as I'm aware, named them that. So yeah. shout out to Nady. Hot Dad uh, is the one trying to sell this place. Um. Ooh, yeah. I love to piss in the Nevada desert. Yeah. All right, so that was our first listing of the night. Bless. I have more that I would like to um, I would like to look at. Okay. Uh, and that was Bonnie one Bonnie Claire Road in uh, G Goldfield, Nevada. Good luck finding that fucking place. Next up, we have it's like uh, like Brownfield. Very interesting in uh, Aho, Arizona. Ajo? Maybe it's pronounced Ajo, like you call somebody an Ajo. You Ayo. freaking Ajo! You're an Ajo! Ajo, Arizona. Uh, the fucking motherfucking base pro shops residential edition. You can you can only buy tiny little instruments from this place. Ba bass buy, pro like, fuck! Tiny... Bass pro shop. God damn it. <laughs> bass pro shop. What do they sell at the Bass Pro Shop. Fish guitars. Fish guitars. What? Fish guitars that are very low pitch. What's like Joel? very low? Hold on. Joel is just Joel. Joel. The Joel. Link. Joel. 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 Please. Uh, did you see my Discord DM? High priority, bud. Just dropping in. Joel, please, please look at my Discord DM. It's it's important. Uh, let's take a look at this thing. Let's take a look at this thing that Joel put in the chat. Okay. Um, real quick. Okay. To this. It's too much power. 
Holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly edited. Why? This was made by someone Holy named. Fuck. What, what? The what fuck? happened? This has 25 views. Joel, where did you find this? An expert crop dust, my liege. A perfect crop dust, my liege. This is 25 views uploaded two months ago by someone going by Poop Demon. <laughs> poop Demon! <laughs> an, an excellent, excellent crop dust. F a fucking this is joel's alt account it had nine views when i clicked it guys let's get some more views on this it deserves it that they, they, they holy fuck <laughs> lined up perfectly dude where did you get this <laughs> Holy fucking well, shit. I'm then telling again, you, he like, made it. You... He fucking <laughs> me, he made it. Well, I mean, th there's the only other thing that this account has. There's no about section. No, this account was made in 2015. The only other thing on this account is a playlist called Sleepy Time. This is yours, Cheyenne? You you made this? This is mine. I made this. You didn't make it. It's a, It's a stone, Luigi. You know... I feel like the YouTube algorithm is doing funny things because Hackerling messaged me just the other, like yesterday, last night. Um, she was recommended someone's porch cam video In, on with YouTube. 140 views. Like some and random then, person's porch cam, yeah, or, or like yeah. And then she was given an ad. You know what? I'm just going to send you the image. Like, I don't understand. Like, like, how does somebody is broadcasting live their own porch camera or they're no, uploading videos video. of, of porch just, camera footage? It's just a YouTube video. But then I keep also... getting recommended low, low views videos. Oh, maybe YouTube will recommend some of my fucking videos then finally. Cool. That might be nice. So uh, what, what do you think of this ad that I... You know, ones that life? don't have Fred Knudsen in them. That might be cool once in a while, huh? <laughs> have YouTube I'm, actually I'm show my fucking videos to people? sick of that guy um dude it's, it's i've been telling people this if you go to my youtube channel right it's mm -hmm. it's like it's like wow welcome to the jabroni mike youtube channel check out jabroni mike's most viewed like check out his his content and it's like it's like fucking you know the so-and-so with fred newtson this and this fred newtson fred newtson fred newtson fred newtson it's it's, it's, <laughs> it's like sorry. the fucking fred newtson channel i'm sorry it's not your fault because no because if you because if it well no don't apologize because if it wasn't for you I'd have no there'd be no fucking views on anything. <laughs> this is because that's how much YouTube hates me. <laughs> that it won't it just it it it, it fucking it, it it sucks your dick so badly <laughs> that it wants to it, it it's like oh fuck Fred Knudsen and the algorithm is just sitting there circle jerking to your name. Can I just start putting your name in every fucking video, please? <laughs> Like, people go to my channel and they're like, oh, so you're Fred Newton? I'm like, no, god damn. Like, this happened in San Diego. They're like, oh, so who's Fred Newton? I'm like, not me! <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's, it's fine. It's funny. It's funny. Um, okay. Joel, he said, I made a bunch of edits on Discord with the shit posts. Okay. Good. Well, that was well, I, worth, I the, well worth the effort. Oh, you saw what I said? Cool, cool. Okay, yeah, yeah, good, 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 good. Yeah, right, without me, Fred Newton. Yeah. <laughs> let me I, see. Um, let me did, see. Did, I, did, did I tell you about uh, Plan 9 from Outer Space? Um, hold, on, hold, 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 hold on a second, hold on. Whisper to your friends, that is not the end. Is it? Not the end! Not the end! Joel's on a, on, on a fucking head, head field kick. Dude. Audio jungle. Yeah, I realized it too late. What are you trying to say, Fred? I'm sorry. What, what happened? Oh, don't, don't worry about 
I, Dude, I he... was I was just asking if you're familiar with um, uh, Ed Wood's japes around Bella Lugosi. Bella Lugosi is the guy who played Dracula in like the fifties. Yes. And uh, Ed Wood, infamous B movie creator, just made terrible movies. Um, I watched Plan Nine from Outer Space on stream a little while ago, and something it said, like something that was kind of impressive, was like, "Oh, it's starring Bella Lugosi." What the yeah, hell? Yeah, yeah. How did how did Ed Wood? I remember Ed Wood now. Yeah, like how did Ed Wood get Bella Lugosi? Right, like Ed how did Wood he swing this? Used or sorry, the the thirties. Yeah, uh, Bella Lugosi was in b-roll for the film <laughs> they used they used b-roll of bella lugosi and then put him down as like a top they gave him like top billing as an yeah, actor in the did. film <laughs> man that's some fucking testicles for what fred is trying to say is that essentially that is what's happening with my youtube channel yeah the, 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 it's, well, a, it's, it's it's working though no, is, that, the, is the problem what, that's like, what you it, should do you're like starring Fred Newton, then you get like a JPEG of my face <laughs> <laughs> for like a couple of frames. <laughs> would you be like mad if I did that? No. Like, would you be upset? He doesn't, <laughs> no. guys. He doesn't give a shit. We're gonna do it. <laughs> he doesn't care. We're gonna do it. I did. Uh, I did that on my stream. Uh, during that stream, I was like, "Hey guys, we have Dwayne the Rock Johnson on," and then I get like a JPEG <laughs> and put him on the screen for a little while. <laughs> It's a joke, man. He's like, your viewers will get mad. I'm fucking joking, bro. Of, co of course I can't actually do this. <laughs> Featuring Fred Knudsen soundboard clips. Fuck it, throw Matt Pat in there too. Yeah, throw some Matt Pat. What? The, the king of ad hoc, by the way. Featuring Family Guy from the hit show Family Guy. Holy fuck. Holy Lois. fuck, Lois. <sighs> I'm coming. I'm coming, Lois. Holy fuck. <laughs> Dude, why do I do that so good? Th I'll tell you why. Because I, that's the because reason I practiced that it. Two million channel points. I've practiced it for fucking literally hours, bro. I believe you. Literally hours. I, I, Let me I believe you completely. All right, All right this, is, uh, this is an oldie. By the way, it's an unreleased Metallica but, uh, song, Joel Sank. Okay. Well, it's an oldie where I come from. All right, guys. Uh, let's it's going to be a visual DMCA. Watch me for the changes. No, you know what? We have the VTubers will fuck up. The VTubers will fuck up. So how many people are deaf now? I just realized how loud that was. Because it still wasn't loud for me, but it was loud in OBS. Okay. I, I how many that people was are deaf point. now? Yeah, it was it was kind of the point. It was kind of the point. Um So Joel just had went 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 had like a fucking field day with this with this fucking unreleased Metallica song for some reason. Mike, why are you Good. whispering? The audience <laughs> is now deaf. What? What forever? What? 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 Get better at audio mixing. Get me get better at uh, sucking my dick. Okay. Get better at keeping your mom away from my penis. Okay. How about that? Maybe if I blow your teeth out with this loud track, you'll stop using them. Get better at keeping your mom's mouth away from my balls. All right. How about that? <laughs> how about that? What do you think about that? They played it one time and then never released it, meaning that it's not going to get DMCA'd, right, Joel? Yeah, it'll be great. Guys, I made a mistake. Okay, I, guys, when I I did fucking audio balance, what I I didn't count on was a bunch was was a, a Joel crop dust full of of of, of fucking like d d insane guitar distortion. Okay, I well I didn't I didn't I didn't prepare for that. Okay, 
it, it's pretty chad energy to just come into your stream and post a youtube link being one of the very few people who can actually do so one of the well is every, every time every time i click the link it's worth it that's that's why oh that's no i'm gonna lower it i'm gonna lower it okay guys streams like this are are fucking very unpredictable okay like i don't know you have all these different files and things like that and all these different levels of audio that have to be adjusted guys okay so you know what like guys lower your own your look at your own volume and adjust your own fucking volume okay watch the part of the vod later so you know how much you fucked our ears i happened to look over at obs and i saw like how how peaky this was it was so peaked like the you know when like the entire bar is red and you can't see that's probably much better Okay, um, Joel is saying it's one of the worst songs that he's ever heard. It it sounds it sounds mid, like it sounds okay. All right, we got to get back to this fucking real estate. Yeah, listen. I'm sorry. All right, it, <laughs> um, we were Joel, so excited. We haven't done this for like a year. Joel, I hope you're having a good night. By the way, um, so we got a big fucking white pyramid. Kind of looks like a, a one of the houses you see in Bikini Bottom. Yeah, I hope you're like doing Squidward, well, Joel. Like Squidward lives here or some shit? I, I hope you're doing well too, Joel. I hope. Or I hope Bill Cipher from Gravity Falls lives here? Cum Pyramid. Why is it a cum pyramid? Because it's white? I right. I want... Okay, so... We, Fred's we white. Have... Is, is Fred cum? Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah. actually, like like... Biologically, technically, yes cum is stored in the owl um what were you gonna say about you what were you trying Please. to say i'm sorry i could cut you off about you trying to you're trying to t talk about something tell a story okay, or don't, something don't worry about it my first thought is that those sloped walls are going to be taking like they're going to be taking up an inordinate amount of space oh yeah like, i mean like, you're, you're, like the roof like you say oh yeah you look at the square footage but it's like you also with this kind of shape you have to consider the cubic footage so it's, it's yeah because, yeah because you're only going to be able to the, the only space you're going to be able to walk is wherever it comes up to your head it, like, you know it it looks like it's it's a it's two stories this doesn't look like it's big enough to like be a vr space realistically This is like when the Illuminati goes door to door, right? Like, like Jehovah's Witnesses trying to like, you know, proselytize people or whatever the fuck. You could just be like, no, we don't, we have enough. We don't need any. This is the new globalist agenda. Get everyone into pyramids. So they like feel cramped all the time. The house was sold for $120,000. It's tiny. Uh, last year, at the end of last year. Okay. One bedroom, one bathroom, 576 square feet. But when you factor in what you said about cubic feet, it's like way less room than you think it is. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, all right. So here's your door. Uh, it's got a door knocker. You got, are those air conditioners? Those are air conditioners. Yeah. Keep the pyramid cool. All right. Keep, um. Oh, good. <laughs> I, keep, th mm -hmm. this, this is the Sphinx. The shed. <laughs> <laughs> like that's that's yeah. the great pyramid yeah, yeah. it's the great pyramid of arizona and this is the sphinx gotta have a uh, gotta have a sphinx dude now we're inside okay now notice dude that the walls are not sloped no this is well you're you're, you're seeing fucking flat walls are you seeing sloped walls no, they just, they recognized, hey, yeah, we, we can't set up the house like this because... Bro, this is an it? Animal Crossing house. <laughs> it is! It's an Animal not, Crossing oh, house! Fucker, you're, you're correct. Oh, my God. It's a fucking Animal Crossing house! Oh, my God, dude. It really is. <laughs> 
Can you do KKC bat for everybody again? Wrap me up. Nap, 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 ow. Wrap me now. Nap, 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 now. I assume your chat has seen that. Remember, yeah, re remember when I was doing Happy Home Designer and I was putting all the TVs in the corner with the couch like this because you only have like, because the house is so tiny. Remember, like this is the exact fucking setup. They even had that fucking air conditioner on the wall. Like I was putting these air conditioners. Oh, oh my God. The floor, the brick, the couch, the TV, the stand. It's literally an animal crossing i like that this kind of ceiling though like does anybody know what these are called where you got like the metal tiles on the ceiling apparently like they don't really make this shit anymore it's like old school king someone stole your intellectual property drop ceiling i think they're tin parquet that's what it's called right parquet uh less than one I'm trying. I'm trying to find something. Give me. Give me a second. Stall for me. All right. Well, I'm going to stall uh, for you by continuing to look through this beautiful Animal Crossing house. Okay. I'm, it's got the I'm little looking... kitchenette, right? The little fucking like system kitchen, basically, with the fridge. Because oh. I'm reminded of a a video of dude Vex's. Hmm? Of course, there's not enough room in this building for you to actually have a fucking stair, like an actual staircase. So they have a drop, like a pull down, like attic entrance, right? See that? Yes. Like, yeah, so you have to is... pull this thing down every time you want to go up to the bedroom, which I assume there's a bedroom up there. Yeah, there is. That, that's what the next, that's which, what that is. Which does, by the way, you can see the slo the sloped walls. Look mm -hmm. at the up. Uh, look at the upright. Hey, Pyro. Between the door and the TV, the walls are sloped. You know you're right. Yeah. No, I, I see it. They are they are sloped, Fred. Yeah, you see that. But it fe it feels like a less severe slope, somehow. Because I guess the way that they that they they put the brick in there, like the brick very like slowly kind of like levels up or whatever, like like um tears up. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah, yeah. I guess I guess that is the stuff. God, this place is just so tiny. Why it's would anyone live here? Because it's cool. It's kind of cool. All right, I'll tell you what. For one hundred twenty thousand dollars, maybe not. I mean, it depends what this 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 town is like. Like, what's age? What's asshole Arizona like? Right. Right. There's a little... Look at this bathroom. <laughs> look at this bathroom, dude. You know what this reminds me By of? By the way, this is one of the only windows in the entire house. When you saw it from the outside, yeah, there's it no has... Ventilation. Look, look, one fucking window <laughs> on the entire... Oh, yeah. If there's a fire in here, you're fucking done. You're done. You're crispy. Oh, yeah. You'll be well done. Um, do you Have you seen the movie Brazil? Oh god, so long ago. I know that's one of your favorite um, movies. Yeah, you remember the scene where like the uh, the main character gets his new office in, Yeah, and it's um, fucking very very it, tiny. It's like split down the middle by drywall and like the table is shared with the adjacent room and like yeah, they're it's... both grabbing it and trying to pull it in. That's what this reminds me of. It's like they just cut the room but slant-wise that kind of like dystopian, uh, what, what, like the like bureaucratic nightmare, like type of fucking, what's the word? Yeah, it, it's um, no Is... bureaucratic nightmare. Well, oh, oh, you mean like uh, uh, ca like Kafka esque? Definitely Kafka esque. Yeah, um, it's, it looks like they like... just chopped off a part of the of the bathroom and said, "We're taking this now." <laughs> They had to saw off a little corner of this mirror to fit that there. Did they? Um, oh my god. You, like, weird. I mean, dude, because look, the wall, they, they must have... Uh, it sort of feels like, I think it's the way that the picture was taken, <laughs> but it feels like the whole room is on a slant, like not just the wall. Right, it makes you Like you are on a slant, right? Oh, here's a bath, the bathtub, which is like to the left of here. You can see that right there. Mm. Oh, yeah, this is... well, that's quaint. What? <laughs> Look, it's another self-playing organ. And an American flag. 
This is so depressing. And again, Animal Crossing House. Yeah. God, well, I hate how correct you are. This I is a house for patriots, guys. And Animal Crossing right. fans. And Animal and Animal Crossing villagers. Would you live here under any? That that's all the pictures, by the way. Would you live here? Uh. Under what circumstances? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. All right, not not like you die if you don't. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh, not for one hundred twenty thousand. It seems very hard for, for something like this. Yeah, because for no. one hundred twenty thousand dollars, I mean, again, I don't know what the real estate market is like in this part of Arizona, but like I know that there are some parts of this country where you can get like a one bedroom house, like an actual fucking house, for about that much, right? Like that exists around the yeah. country. Um, and you know what else fucks with me? Like, like, why does it look like this? Are, are there other, again, houses around here that are pyramids? Like, is it just, or is it, like, how did this happen? What's the story behind this place? Oh my God, there, there were the people who were like, live in a castle as if it's fucking Europe. And here it's like, oh, like, I, I think it's a similar thing where like some people in America just really want to be European without being in Europe and without healthcare. Um, and then some people want, like, in Arizona, are like, I'm in the desert. That makes me Egyptian. And if it was a whole they, town of these little pyramids, it would make more sense than it just being this one. I, I hear what you're saying, though, Fred. Yeah. Like, they like to pretend that they're Egyptian in the same way that, like, when I eat bread and cheese, I like to pretend that I'm on a fantasy journey from one town to like a city this just uh like I'm, yeah i'm eating trail I, I, food i mean again you're you're not gonna um i, I don't know is that, is that like some yeah, maybe it was kind of like with the flintstone house where that woman was well because she didn't know she didn't build the house mm. that other guy built the house and then she came along and was like it's a flintstones house now yeah remember that <laughs> It is now. Like, I, I, but, but like the person who built... I want to get inside the head of the person who built this and ask them why they made this. Like they wanted to fucking like simulate like the life of a pharaoh. Do you know that the fucking Egyptians didn't live in pyramids? They're tombs. No, of course they didn't. Oh, but the Ameri like an American would be too stupid to understand that. Here lies the American housing market. Even if it would... <laughs> even, <laughs> even if you... I mean, it, there's not enough room in there to comfortably live in there though. Like, no. like, how are you going to like, oh, I'm going to live like a pharaoh. Do you think pharaohs like, lived in f fucking 500 square feet, dude? They lived they, in gigantic palaces, you fucking asshole. This is the, this is a kind of house that you live in only when you know that you are going to stay single for the long term future. Oh, yeah. Like, I do mean, you like, think you're bringing anyone babe, back here. Like, babe, you, let's you go, go back to my drinking. pyramid. Let's go. Let's go back to my, <laughs> I hey, babe, my sarcophagus, babe. babe. I live Let's in go a back pyramid. To my... Yeah, I call it the sarcophagus. <laughs> Let's go back to go back to my pad, babe. It's the sarcophagus. We'll, we'll have some wild like, walk like an Egyptian on my ball CBT. Egyptian style CBT, babe. You may as well take like you may as well remove my genitals and put them in a jar for as much <laughs> use as they're getting. Fucked. <laughs> You ever you ever been with a pharaoh, babe? You ever been I with a trailer park pharaoh? <laughs> what? Trailer park pharaoh. Yeah, because look at I mean like oh okay, God. well someone uh, yeah. pointed out that this cost probably this cost around maybe like twenty K to build this because it looks like it was made with very cheap materials. Isn't it possible to see when the house was built? Probably. Um, overview. There's like no blurb. There's like no blurb on it. Yeah, there's Schools. no blurbs. Yeah, like someone who living in this pyramid is having children. Blind. It said 2017. <laughs> right. Right. Okay. This was built in 2017. Maybe maybe for like yeah, twenty thousand dollars. I'm so, I'm still hung up on this being a happy home academy. It is. Thing. <laughs> it absolutely is. This is I where Anka you, lives, dude. I sent you a video of um, 
of Vex. Like Vex worked really hard on a happy home designer home. And By the way, Fred, I'm very to, like get. Hmm? I'm very proud of you for not singing the Anka sex song. I didn't even think about it. Good. I expected you, know, you like, to. No, I fully impossible. expected you to. There is no sex happening in this pyramid. That's it is true. Sexless. That's true. You can't. Like, How hey, does it baby, go again? Do you... I don't remember. Some about camels, cam camel by camel. Yeah. I I've never actually heard it. I just know that it exists. Hey, yes. Baby, no. Don't cap. You want to? You want to come back to my place, have sex, and then fr re refresh yourself in my two thirds of a bathroom. It comes with three acres, which is pretty all right for the house and the land. We didn't. I didn't consider it coming with the acres. If the pyramids are rocking, don't come a knocking. You know why <laughs> this guy definitely doesn't get laid? Hmm. Besides, you know, yeah, he lives in a pyramid. He's a loser, dude. He still lives with his mummy. Oh my god. It's hard to get laid when you still live with your mummy. You know, it's hard to... Ow. You don't like that yeah, one? My, my, don't like minus, that. Fuck the you. Minus twos have it. Yeah. Well, fuck, fuck you. you. Yeah, but fuck they're also pieces of shit who want to demoralize me at any turn. <laughs> and like if somebody, like if you had said that, they would have been like plus 10. Fred is so based. You you think I've just, I've just got chat around my little finger. Yeah. Anybody that's not me is around their finger. Yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, here, Mike, I, I sent you Vex's experience with Happy Home Designer. Let me take a, if you, yeah, let yeah. Let me, let me, uh, yeah, let me take a look at this. Hold on. Let me take a look at this. Uh, you, I love you Vex. Get... And yeah, Vex is, um, one of Fred's, uh, the v Vex works on the videos sometimes for you, right? Um, Vex has helped me. Vex helped me with the research for the Austrian wine poisoning video. Mm-hmm. Uh, had to translate a book for you art. from 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 German, right? Yeah, they, they didn't translate it, but they got like the information that we needed from it, and they also have done art for the videos too. This is uh, okay. So happy home designer. Uh, let's yeah. see what they so did. Th they worked really hard on it, and then the game put together a little video to celebrate it, to, to show off all the best features. All right. All right. Pretty cute. That's cute. That's cute. That's a wall. <laughs> Back of furniture, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this game. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> literally, literally, only the fir the first like shot was worth anything. <laughs> Oh, that's so good. Uh, I'm glad that they were recording that, or they were able to record this. Here, if, if you guys want the video for yourselves, I'll link it in chat. It's so <laughs> The back of the couch. That's <laughs> the wall again. Remember this wall? Yeah. Remember this? <laughs> oh my god. The, hey, the rest of it, I, I'm filling in the blanks of my imagination. The rest of it, I, I know the rest of it is so cute. <laughs> the rest of no, it is Vex definitely is so so cute, yeah, yeah. for sure. You can see Vex put so much effort into it, and it's just like, amazing. Have the wall. Fuck, fuck this game. <laughs> uh, all right. So, did you want to move in from from the move on from the pyramid? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Uh, next one is. Uh, a little bit, a uh, little, little bit, little bit more tame. We're gonna take it down, uh, t down a notch for a second. Okay, Look at something okay. a little, a little bit more, a little bit more sane Sorry, uh, right now. A, a Sorry, little, that a video bit... like makes me cry laughing. It's it's amazing. Go on. Uh, a little bit more down to earth here. Uh, okay. This one is in uh, Louisiana. <laughs> okay. Hume, Louisiana. Whew, Two million dollars almost. Uh, it's still for it's been it's been on the market built, built 1982 it's been on the market for a while uh, I don't know what a marble soaking jetted tub is but I like it well-maintained and constructed mansion estate 
This estate yeah, rarely seen good. by anyone in this area. This diamond of an estate is an Ellendale subdivision. New pictures and updates coming. I guess not. Hold Located. On a second. Yeah. <clears throat> it's this estate rarely seen by anyone in this area. Are they saying this is the best home in the area? Because that's like. Isn't the value of a home largely determined by the other houses in the area? No, if they're saying they saying kill anyone who gets near it because nobody else in the area has seen it oh, okay. and lived to tell the tale. Like yeah, nobody... like, I'm, I'm sorry, but you've seen too much. No, literally no one has seen it. Uh, located and designed for privacy. It is like walking into a fine hotel resort. Absolutely breathtaking. Okay, relax. The state is along cul-de-sac lots of ellendale country go club golf course <laughs> enter the estate and you may not have a need for a vacation it's all here within the listing documents is a list of customized features plan to the layout of home and ground total custom fencing fred you like fencing right you did that in high school oh my god um and video surveillance system in place pictures cannot begin to show the home and its grandeur, or the feeling of entering the grand foyer, going through one exquisite room to another, truly an amazing experience. That is how houses work. Every item is customized quality. <laughs> main home has five. Main home has five bedrooms with seven and a half baths. Family room has more than one section sitting area with a full size bar. Billy Mays wrote this. Yeah, th this. I, I will I will never forget I like Selling back when I was too first hard. starting like to use Twitter I followed I followed a bunch of bands that I liked and like okay. back then I I still like Disturbed like I'm not really into them they're they're fine um, but they're oh no this was Facebook this was long before this um, their vocalist David Draymond would post to Facebook sometimes David Draymond was would, the was was the vocalist for uh, Disturbed Disturbed yeah 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 I, I was following him. But he always posted in all caps, and when people confronted him on it, he said, "All caps is a way of life." In all caps, he said that in all caps. In all caps, yeah. He always typed in all caps. That's what he said, King. Yeah, I'm. I'm like senile. I'm on ironically fucking senile, guys. All caps is a way of life. Yeah, it. Uh, I mean, like, there's definitely some people around here who would agree with that. I snapped it off, homie. I guess I respect that. Curry Murmurs wants to know how you can be part of an HOA when your nearest neighbors are the packs of hung hungry dogs that roam the grounds on constant alert for any delicious pours that may have breached the perimeter. There's houses over here. All right. So, you Jesus. know, what the first thing I notice about this is it's 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 this fucking apparently huge uh, two million dollar home. It's one story. It's one story, yeah. Isn't that weird? You, do usually, like, is Oh, wait, is it? Right, no, 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 I, no, I think no, that's no. just, like, one angle. Wait, dude. How much you want to bet this is, like, the pool house or some shit? Oh, I I think you might be right. Dude, Are there multiple homes dude, on this property? Dude, prop this is... You, you're, you're, get, you're, getting, you're, getting, you're getting tennis courts? You get, you let, you know, do you know what's going on here? It's... Is that glass? I feel like you wouldn't be able to see into it as well if it was glass. It's either glass or it's netting. Probably now this is in Louisiana. In, in, in that part of the country, like in the deep south like that and in Florida, they have to, if, if, you have, if you're gonna have a knows. swim, uh, yeah, a swimming pool or an outdoor area, you have to construct this fucking shit over it because the, the mosquitoes and the insects are so fucking thick that you will be constantly har harassed by it. Oh, when that no, hurricane- don't, don't make me think of mosquitoes with dumpy asses. They're thick. Fred, please. Yeah. During that last hurricane in Florida, I was seeing all these videos of these things getting ripped off the houses. Really? What, are, are the, yeah. are, is, is this a lanai? Like when people say a lanai, are they talking about this fucking shit? What is this? L and I? Hmm? A Lanai. A Lanai. L A N A I. It's a I've covered patio. I'm, no, because I'm, because I'm going to tell you what it is. A Lanai is a fucking like horseshit, like real estate industry buzzword to fucking make uh. you think you're getting something fancy when all it is is just a fucking porch. It's like, yeah, we have porches here too, jerk off. You remember that? Lanai. Fuck off. 
Do, do you remember that parody Christmas claymation, Robbie the Reindeer? Like there, there was a bit where he's like, he puts together, he's trying to make housing and he's, he just has no ability and they look fucking awful. Uh, and he's like, and she's like, how, how are we supposed to live in these huts? And he corrects her, chalets. <laughs> yeah, right, right. That type of shit. <laughs> no, it's not a patio. It's not a patio. It's not a porch. What do we what do we look like? Savages? It's a lanai. Lanai. Suck my balls, lanai. Pool looks cool though, and it looks like there's a little gazebo out there which is making my pee pee hard. You know how I feel about gazebos. Speak, All right. A, um, similar to what we were talking about before, lanai sounds like a word, like a nonsense word that would be said in a disturbed song. Lanai. <laughs> But but it's like it's also an anagram for I anal. I ah oh, like all that that's what you're supposed to do on the patio. I anal like I robot starring Will Smith. I mm -hmm. anal. The first rule of robotics: a a robot anal. may not a, a robot may not harm a human's anus or through inaction allow their anus to come to harm. <laughs> That means you gotta fucking that that the robot has to like make sure you're getting a good diet where you don't get like constipated or anything or hemorrhoids. Like right, he's gotta make yeah. sure you get a lot of fiber. Right. Yeah. It's like, oh, you're were you, were you struggling before here? Like, and the robot is required to help train you up. There's a big bougie <laughs> fountain in the front. Obviously, we got a garage where, where where like you got you got fucking. I heard it. Where you got cars par parking underneath. Like, what? It's like a car shed? What? What is that? It's not yeah, a garage. It's, it's a carport. It's called a carport. Port, yeah. And why does this not, again, not look like the same building? You feeling that? Like, that it's just not the same building somehow? Yeah, no, I, I think no, that here's this the carport. has multiple buildings. It has to be, like, I think that that building on the left also is a part of... The That's the property? carport. It is. It is. Definitely. Try to relax your anus. Can I play the sound effect? Hold on, I have it. Yeah, do it. Try to relax your anus. A carport. Fuck you. So bless, where, where is the- Bless Shala for getting that. For us. So then, where, where is the front of the house? Like, is the, okay, obviously this is the front door. But then, this also looks like the front entrance. But this is where the carport- That's not- But that's not the carport. Because the carport can fit three three fucking cars underneath it, mm -hmm. and then this. What? It, what is? No, no. This this is the this is the front entrance because there's a big circular driveway going. Oh, you drive under this thing. You see that? Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's like, disgusting. Like it's a fucking Radisson. Like it's exactly like a Radisson, exactly. I I think I just have that association in my head. Maybe it's a perfectly normal thing for really bougie people, but they, they I don't think so. No, it, it's they just did a say thing. they they did say though that when you show up here, it's like a hotel. It's like li they said it was like living at a hotel. So That's I mean, like I they meant that very in a hotel. very literally. Speaking of Mike. Who does? Um, we, we need to record um, the, the Warrens and like we already have a topic for that and we're keeping secret. But I think the, I know what I want the one after this to be, but it's actually going to be a personal experience I had with a hotel. Like the I, I Warrens I, I, episode is going to be my experience both being in and researching this hotel because it was so fucking weird. I had to learn about it. I, I'm I, absolutely down for it. I did kind of assume we weren't going to do, do that anymore, but if you did want to do that, I would, of course, I'd love to. No, I, um, I still want to do it. Um, yeah, Massim some people know the Red Lion Inn in Cromwell, Connecticut. You must have talked about it before. I, I've talked about Yeah, I've talked about it before, but I want to, like, go into more detail with you. In a Apparently, uh, Mass Immune is in, is in Louisiana, where they have a carport. Apparently, carports are a very normal thing in Louisiana. This is not just, the, 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 like, a bougie, rich person thing. Like, everybody, apparently. Like, all your house, all, everybody's house apparently has a carport. Everyone rents their house from the Radisson in Louisiana. 
Uh, carports are really common in parts of the Midwest and the South, where standing groundwater turns garages into disease breeding grounds. Um, okay. It's like, basically, it's an outdoor garage. Like, these people, in other words, don't have a garage. Is that right? Right. Okay. So but wouldn't your, 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 your fucking, like, I don't know, wouldn't your just house just have that problem then? Probably. Although I think AC helps deal with that because it's also dehumidifying. Slippery Elm thinks that two million is actually l a low price for something like this. Well, dude, you, you got to realize this. Dude, all right, dude, you're getting tennis court. He's he's got a point because you're getting tennis yeah. courts. You're getting a fucking detached like guest house. You, you have all this fucking property on top, dude. Wait, this this is also all your property. Yeah, all of this I, I out here too. Kind of, are, are those other houses also? I don't think so. This is other yeah. properties out here. This is this is this is all. I think this is like the. You see what I'm doing with my mouse? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, also, keep in mind that this house has a, a lower square footage than most houses like it, because it's a one-story house. The whole thing is only one story. I think. Right. So actually, the square footage is like half of what it normally would be in a situation like this. There's your mm -hmm. fucking golf course, you piece of shit. <laughs> I I, personally, I hate golf courses for a lot of the same reasons I hate lawns. You have like your own park. Look at this. Yeah. I mean, who maintains this? Right. I I see this and I'm like, great. You have more space for grass. If, if cool. you're well, well, here's the thing. Like, if you're buying a house like this, you're affording a fucking landscaper to come and take care of this like once a week. Right. You're in another tax bracket at that point. Um, I would let this become a fucking unsightly hell. Like, I would just ignore this. You know what, though? I mean, like, it is kind of nice that you'd be able to walk around in, in, on this, I guess. Perfect compromise. Ready? Ready. Fucking rip all this up. AstroTurf. Mm. AstroTurf. Mm. All AstroTurf. All of it. I'm I'm just not a fan of astroturf. My first thought was moss. Um, would that work? You could what, just replace all the Louisiana. grass with, with 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 moss. Moss. People are also suggesting clovers. Yeah. Is that would that work, guys? Um, so you would I, just I have know, a bunch of clovers instead of grass. I I don't. Uh, yeah, grow stuff bees can use. Yeah. Um. The the the, the problem. So bun time. The, I think the the problem here is. You don't want to have anything that requires too much maintenance, if at all, because it would be too much for a single person. We're talking like if you don't have a landscaper or, you know, you're you're living alone, I guess. Though, I guess if you're getting this kind of home, you're probably not living. I don't know. I don't know. Rich people have weird heads. Are weird. I yeah. mean, you want you want to give them the benefit of the doubt and say it's a family moving into here. Right. It's a family. They have money. Obviously, they have money. You know, maybe make your make your make your kid mow it or something. I don't know. Why is Mike's time, mouth moving is... when Fred talks? Because I am Fred. Revealed. The entire house would be too much for a single person. Yeah, but maybe they're like a rich fucking asshole, and they're like, "Fuck them," you know, like. I, I think that when often when people are buying houses, like when you when you pass a certain amount of money, practicality stops being so much of a concern. Yeah, yeah, you just don't give a shit anymore. Here's yeah. the um that again, I believe it's like a little pool house with a second story. This is like your get the guest house, the guest house. You get an entire house when you visit these people. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's the the gazebo, the gazebo, yeah. With like we some like uh, it's, it's, it's some some nice landscaping in here though. Look at these these plants. This is nice. Like I like this. I'm I'm you, a fan of this. You know what is missing here though? What? The part of the pool where it's a hot tub. You know how like there's, there's yeah. like a section of the pool where it's a hot tub. Where's that? The only thing it's missing. Oh. Uh, you ready for the interesting part of the house? Finally. This. When we do unreal estate, this is what it's all about, baby. Yeah, this I knew is it was what gonna, it's really about. Th this, th this, this shit. Because there's more of this. This shit is why I chose this listing. This is because like, it looks like fucking like. Rem remember games repainted? 
it. It's like Fuck, games. You're the, right. <laughs> the games repainted house. Like it oh, does. like texture swap, right? <laughs> oh my god! And it's like it's ref it's partially reflective. That's it's gross, what, that's isn't it? Part of what makes it so mm. off-putting. This is dis like fucking disgusting. Yeah. If if the yellow wallpaper occurred in the 2010s, this is what it would have looked like. Too tacky. God. Too fucking tacky. Too tacky. Like you can see the person, like the person in the wallpaper crawling around, their fingers curling around these flowers. You would get a headache living in here. You would just have a constant headache. Russian I, tier level of kitsch. Yo, I would bet that these people are fucking actually are Russian. Who knows? Maybe I'm just easily overwhelmed. This right? is absolutely yeah, but Russian this vibes. Is, this is overwhelming. If you think it's too, maybe it's just the photograph, but it's so bright. It's a bad choice of wallpaper, and it looks like shit. It's no, it, it's reflective, it's so like you like you pointed out, which is hurts your fight. It hurts your fucking eyes to look at the walls in your house. When you first brought up this image, my first thought was, why is everything covered in bees? <laughs> Someone in chat said locusts. Locusts. Right. <laughs> That's probably more accurate. Bees is that a bees. male torso statue in the wall? Oh yeah, it looks like it. That's fucking disgusting. It's just, yeah, it's just a person from the waist up and no arms. This is cool. I'm, I I like I love this. I'm, I'm okay. here for this. I think this this room is is legit. It's you know what though, like a this part of it. Okay, so what the fuck is going on here? You you have like a conversation area. Is that what that's meant to be in front of the fireplace? Like the fireplace, like sitting area. Right. Okay. Yeah. The ceiling is. I like the ceiling a lot. But then you have another one over here. Like what you have two separate like pe like like groups of people like having ski lodge vibes. Absolutely. Yeah. Like yeah. You remember the um the ski or like the ski lodge ish place that we saw before I do. the moment with all I the do. antlers. Yeah. Yeah like that you think there's a tv just out of the shot that would make a lot of sense otherwise mm -hmm. like it, it's it's like they have two living rooms in one i'll tell you what though yeah. fuck this couch like where's the that part is... like where's the part that reclines it, it doesn't even have to be reclining just can you imagine using this couch it's like this is no that's the kind of couch that you use for like a game show or something that's like right. big brother or a talk that's show the... Yeah, it's it's like in a, Big Brother or yeah, yeah, a talk show. How are you supposed to sit on this couch and actually talk with people? Not all couches recline, but uh 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 fuck Pyro. You know, I know that. My perspective on this is fuck a couch that doesn't recline. What are you doing? What are you doing with it? Throw it out. Garbage. Recliners are where it's at. Mm. It do, it looks very not comfy. It doesn't look, it looks, you know what? It looks like it has that kind of cushion that's just, just firm enough to not be comfortable. Nobody sits on this. You're right. Nobody, You're absolutely yeah. right. Nobody sits on, you don't actually yeah, sit the on pillows. that couch. No, nobody puts pillows on a couch no. like Cause, that. Because what, people are going to sit on it and then move all the, no, fuck off. This is a couch you look at and you're not allowed to touch. Yeah, the, the like grandma says, no, you, like, grandma keeps the plastic oh. on it. Fred, there's a little bar over here. Oh yeah, there is. That's cool with the ju by the jukebox. That's chill. That's chill right there. That's, That's cool. This, this is a chill area. It's cozy. This is um yeah with, with the fireplace too. I like it. This is another man statue. Oh, there's a the bar like up up up. Yeah, that that's fucking cool. I like shit like that. That's cool. That's cute. Yeah. Uh, here's your office where you do cocaine lines the length of this desk. This is more peculiar. very uncomfortable looking couches. Like, look, imagine all the money that got spent on furniture that no one ever sits in. Yeah, that's ever. that's the feeling I'm getting. Ever. Like those um, couches are not used. Yeah, fuck this. I guess um, just I'm I'm having trouble coming um, up with a use case for that previous room. Like you got it's an office, dude, sure, but ninety percent of this house has no use case. Yeah, Dude. like those are dentist waiting room couches. As you like. Yeah, fuck these. I mean, yeah, you put your laptop over here. This is your office or you maybe a PC. You put your PC in here. I mean, like, I, it's not the kind of office I would personally want. Yeah, but like, I mean, OK, it, again, it's not it doesn't utilize space very well. 
This is yeah, this is a, a house. This is a this is a house made to be sold and not lived in. Maybe. This is uh their this this is where these people actually watch TV. You can tell. Yeah. Like this yeah, is the room, the TV room. Like that. Yeah. They don't even go near those other rooms. Like, like this is. Yes. Oh my Dude. God! Wait, go back. Wait, go. Wait, go. Wait, go back. Um. Guys, please don't bring up Wake up. Family. <laughs> why? Why does Waco keep coming up? Meme. Okay. Um, that couch. My family had a couch like that. Yeah, and these recline, and so yeah, does this. Yeah, they do. Yeah, you notice how the couches they actually sit on recline, Pyro? Yeah. Yeah. Not not funny funny that. On, they're not allowed to sit on that star-shaped thing. Like that I think that's an ottoman over there. Yeah. That's like, that should be, you know, I mean, but again, you don't need the fucking ottoman because these recline. My millionaire family. Oh, that's fake leather. Make no mistake. So <laughs> get a load of this. I have a question for you. Okay. What the fuck is this? Look at my mouse. What's that? Oh, it's like, is that, is that a window? I, n n no. No. Does that look like a window? Is If it was a window, you would immediately be able to tell it was a window, wouldn't you? You'd see trees out there. Right, or, or like some sort of framing. What? It's like it's like someone Half-Life just... 2 light light white light texture. <laughs> the fuck is it? What is it? Did they photoshop something uh, out? Maybe. Like, was was there was there a poster up there of like a bunch of people goose stepping and giving the Hitler salute or something? <laughs> but, and they were like, well, "Why would no, it be can't, that? Ha can't have that in the list." I don't know. I'm trying to come up with something that it, they'd have to edit out. Chat thinks it's a frosted glass skylight. Guys, that is not a window. Stop. It's a well, recessed it's a skylight, solar. and the white balance is fucked up. Then why isn't the white balance fucked up for out? I could see out this window, guys. I could see out this window. Explain that. It's a light panel. B but I believe it's a light panel and it makes no goddamn sense. Can we get another angle on that? Is there another image with another angle on Maybe, it? Maybe, but, so but, but, but first, the uh, the wallpaper. I, please tell me you call it the wallpaper. Oh, no. Of course I saw Are you yeah. kidding me? Of course I saw it. Grotesque. Dude, I really do think it would be better if you did games repainted and it was like, like, like Mario 64 textures and shit. <laughs> and like all kinds of like like me like memes and stuff would look would look better than this. Like if it was if this was just all like fuck like like Mario's face or whatever. A Goomba. What, what a giant Goomba would go with this. Games ba -da -da -da. repainted doesn't do it anymore, huh? No, I, I don't think they do things. I, I they haven't made anything in a while. Yeah, they're but buff raccoons. They're like retired. Fucking... They retired. Buff Riku everywhere, yeah. <laughs> Buff Riku! <laughs> there, I couldn't think of something good. There you go. Buff Riku all over the place. We'd look better than this. Uh, yep. 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 Oh, that art is uncomfortable. There's tits right there. I mean, you, know, the, 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 you can't see nipples, whatever. It's no, fine, right? No. Yeah, it's fine. That is um, a mirror on the ceiling, though. It is. That's for when you fuck on the dining room table. So you can like see yourself fucking on the on the mirror. Lumpy touch is completely right. It's a puzzle wall. <laughs> That's an evil puzzle. <laughs> it's, it's completely correct. They have a fucking Resident Evil puzzle in their house. Oh, <laughs> well, that, you know, that type of shit annoys people, which brings down the property value, which is why it's only two million. Because what are you yeah. going to do? You're going to fucking do the Resident Evil puzzle every time you want to get to the garage? No. Sorry, the carport? No. You can only enter the basement if you solve the puzzle. Yeah, if you break the basement. And you're stuck there for hours. You got to find the spinals the, the, and put them in the eye sockets, right? Holy fuck, that's so stupid. Oh, God. All of fuck the art that thing. is... It, like you have the torso of the man. Oh, it, it, it this is a Resident Evil. Level. Oh. <laughs> yeah. This, I mean, like I don't care. The, again, the wall. This, I think, this is the same wallpaper from earlier where yes, where it sucks. It is. Um, but I don't. They, they don't. They don't eat in here ever, right? No. 
that that is not furniture that you actually eat on. Use, yeah. They don't. Nobody for, nobody uses this this room. For how much the listing purports this place to be private, it's built in a way that is meant for guests. Uh huh. Right. But like, you're right. Is that is it just for your people that you're inviting over? <sighs> Like well, you're I mean, saying, well, we'll keep everyone else out. We'll keep yeah, the rabble out. It, it, it's very guest oriented. Like you have all this space that's supposed to be inviting to visitors. You have an entire separate building for guests to live in for extended periods of time. You know, it's fucking nuts. Yeah, Jexers is right. You use this room a maximum of twice a year, Thanksgiving and Christmas. This is the Baker house if it was clean. Yeah. For the for the Resident Evil Seven mold men. Buca yeah. di Beppo. What is Buca di Beppo? Was that that's familiar? I think chat just made you say a slur. Buca di Beppo. <laughs> Resident Babushka. <laughs> <laughs> this is like Louisiana Louisiana Baba Yaga. Pyro is having a hard time. <clears throat> because they're 28 years old and only encountered reclining cloud couches once in my life at my granddad's house. Maybe maybe UK oids don't have like like fucking reclining furniture for some reason. Maybe Br Britoids. Maybe Britoids don't like reclining couches. Maybe. Spiteful maybe Crow has an amazing name. In in Louisiana they have Bubba Yaga. I feel like this is all going over my head. Bub Bubba is just a name you would expect from, like, you know, the the backwaters of the South. Yeah, but what's ya Yaba? No, B Baba Yaga. You know, it, but it's Bubba Yaga. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Baba Yaga. Oh, never mind. I'll, I'll Baba link is Yaga. I'll link you the <clears> video <throat> I made about the Baba Yaga. I mean, I probably saw it. Just refresh my memory. What the hell is it? Um, it's it's a um Slavic. Uh, like, cryptid. Ah. Uh, like, a, a woman who lives in a house, uh, in a hut with chicken legs that walks around okay. the forest. No, I missed that one. You made a video on this bitch? Yeah. No, I think I missed that one, actually. I, I feel like I would remember that. It's a gushing granny. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, think, I, got, I got it. I got it. I know, I know what it is now. Okay. What do you, what do you mean that was the thing that unlocked your memory? Fuck I off. had a per a perfect image of that, the gusher. Oh, stop, bro, bro, wallpaper. Wait, Baba Yaga's on is in Smite. Oh, n now I'm interested. In Fred, Smite. what if, yeah. what if we had two living uh, dining rooms? That way, when it was time to not eat in it, we could say, "Let's not eat in the dining room," and then somebody else could say, "Yeah, but which one?" You know, we have an option of which dining room we want to not eat in. I like to. No, imagine. let's not eat in there. Let's 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 not not eat in there. Let's not not eat. Let's not eat in the other one. Does that make sense? Here's Don't answer that. Thought. I know it doesn't. Here's my thought. You got two dining rooms. You got one dining room for the people you like, and then <laughs> another dining room for the people you hate. On the other side like, of the anyway. house. Like on the yeah. other side of the house, right? Yeah, yeah, you you get you get to go eat in the bitch dining room. Yeah, <laughs> and it's this one. Like th th this is the one without the Resident Evil puzzle. Wisp says uh, they one hundred percent eat in that living room with the reclining couches, which makes me hate them even more. <laughs> they do just eat in front of the television. Absolutely. No, that 100%. one little little living room with the recliners. A hundred. All wasted space, dude. Uh, here's a, you know, just a sitting room in case you didn't like the other five sitting rooms. Yeah, so far I have only seen one room that looks lived in. This now has, like, Palace of Versailles energy, where, like, it's just like, okay, what are you doing in this room? Well, you sit in it. Okay, well, here's the next room. What are you doing here? Oh, you sit. Well, you what, sit. what are you doing in this room? Oh, you sit down in this room. This is the room where you get blood clots in your legs. Oh, God, dude. Dude, there's a, like a pain in my thigh right now that I'm convinced is a blood clot in my leg. It, it's probably and, not. And and you saying that? I, I I've been I've been worried about it all night. Like it's been. And then you said that, so now it's confirmed. I have one. It wouldn't it wouldn't hurt 
probably wouldn't hurt. It would hurt in a unique way. Dude. Yeah. Dr. Chat? Doc, Dr. Chat? Is it a blood clot, Dr. Chat? <laughs> you have two seconds up. to live. Oh, show Fred the emote we have for this. No, I saw. I've seen it before. They you saw it. Dr. Chat? They, they used it in live chat. Yeah. <laughs> it's a I've Dr. Chat. A, a lot of, we have a lot of crossover <laughs> on my channel. And so, like, sometimes I can say, hey, guys, can we get, like, a um, 1984? Nice. Can we get some 1984? It's like, I can call for your emotes and we get a, a decent chunk of them. Time for Mike to pretend he's dying again. What was that one quote that somebody said one night? They were like, time for another round of hunt. Well, they said, babe, wake up. New form of jabroni Mike um, performative hypochondria just <laughs> dropped. Wake up, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. God damn it. Can Fuck I, you. Fuck you. <laughs> can I complain about something in this room? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Get the fucking table away from the couch. Who's gonna scoot their ass in there? Nobody. I feel like that table is light enough where you like just pick it up and move it out of the way. And it's kind of like, can you put drinks on it while I you sit guess, here and get blood clots? On it. There's a candle on it. It's a TV table. Where's the fucking TV? There's no TV in this room. Yeah, great. I'm gonna use the... <laughs> I mean, like, look at the shape of the room, too. Like, where would you even put a TV? You, you, I, you, the answer is you wouldn't. You wouldn't put a TV in here. No, no, you wouldn't. And, like, I I get it. Oh, yeah, you move the table closer. It's like, no, fuck off. Oh, great rat sorcerer is in chat. He says you roll blunts on this little table. Oh, that's so true. Dude, Seth mm -hmm. Rogen would charge $1,500 for this table. <laughs> That's my blunt rolling table. <laughs> blunt rolling table. <laughs> Fifteen hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah, but Joe Ro Joe Rogan, holy fuck, Seth. Yeah, but Seth Rogan, I could just roll my blunts on the floor for fifteen hundred dollars. <laughs> Donkey Kong. Somebody right. is spelling Seth Rogan's laugh as hurt, her, her, hurt. Except hurt, I hurt, saw hurt. H R T. Like H R T H R T H R T. Seth Rogen's laugh is like on HRT. Bro, look at the ceiling. Hurt, 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 hurt. Hurt, hurt, hurt. They, they try, uh, it's like they put clouds up there. Yeah. It's all right. Um, like, I feel like they did it with a sponge. Like, they got on a little fucking stepladder and they, you know, they just like, like, they padded the. The ceiling with the sponge a little no, bit. No, I think I think it's just a wallpaper. You think it's line. a wallpaper? Look at, look at the regular pattern. It's repeating. It is repeating. Someone's right. This is a Luigi's Mansion house. Mario. You got a piano that plays by songs by itself. Who's this bitch? Hold up. Who's this? It's a child, Mike. Look at the detail that went into the couch. Like, they painted one of these shitty couches and made it look, like, perfect. Right, yeah, here's the like, couch that we never use. They put like, more we, effort we into the, <laughs> the couch than the child. Notice it's another sitting room. That you just sit in and nothing happens. You think anybody yeah. knows how to play this piano? What are the odds that anybody in this house who lives here knows how to play this piano? Zero. Like, ne negative, zero. In, the, in the negatives. Yeah, no, nobody plays that piano. Look nobody, at the, nobody has been in any of these rooms in the past three years. No, there's these these rooms like except except like the cleaning lady to dust, bro. Right, like oh yeah, this house is so sequestered and like distant from everyone else. Even you won't be in most of it. Selling point. It's a waste of money, dude. It's such a waste of money. Like, how many fucking, like, how many members of your family do you need to justify at this house? A lot. Yeah, I guess, like, this is the kind of house that, where they buy it and they're like, I'm gonna have company over, and the only company they have is, like, their family coming for Thanksgiving and Christmas. This is getting depressing. Like, how many, do, like, like, how many people, word? seriously, like, like, chat, what do you think? How many people do you, would, would you say, like, okay... You know what? You need you need that house. 
50. Yeah, the rug, the bear rug. Yeah, yeah. There could be a body lying in one of these rooms, and it Cute. wouldn't be found for weeks. <laughs> they would only come into the rooms because they think they smell something. Look at the spherical pillows. Entirely Strange. useless. They're like Breath of the Wild bombs or something. <laughs> I mean, what you, you know. This this is just wanting to flex. Like this is just yeah. I mean, like there's no reasonable. Even like I feel like a family of five people couldn't make use of all this space. Right, right? like right. someone someone comes like you go and visit this person. Right, like th this is someone. This is the house of someone that you would visit like as a child, and you get shown around the rooms. And the the host feels a pang of sadness as you are unimpressed. Like you're kind of like, <laughs> oh yeah, that's cool. And like ev with every room you show them, th the fear that they have wasted their life is reinforced. Fred, don't derf. Don't they, you like, dare you go derf. into this room, and every time you're like, oh yeah, that's nice, and you you are unimpressed. He's then the person, then the the person who is is showing you around the house every time the the suspicion grows stronger like oh they don't like it and then they show you another room and then they look around and then they ask themselves do i like it and then as you continue as they continue showing you rooms they be they come to realize they don't want any of this they never wanted any of this So, somebody in chat said, homeless people and this house exist in the same world. Okay, let me, all right. What if we took, it's going to sound like a reality show pitch, but it's not. Okay. All right. Let, let's say 10, 10 homeless people mm -hmm. and, get, and just gave them this house to live in. Uh-huh. Like, well, how would that go? What, what do you think that would be like? Like, let, let's, like, I just as a thought experiment, like, what would happen? I mean, it would depend a lot on the people. Like, that would be, that would be good? You think it would be, you think it would be good? You think it would go, it would go badly? It would go good or it would go bad? I mean... Is that Mike, a reality show idea? I just told you I didn't want it to be. Mike, I don't think a majority of people would know what to do with this house. You think... You could put 10 random people in here and they'd be like, okay. And they just kind of spend most of the time, most of their time in the, in the TV, TV room. room with yeah, the reclining TV couch. Room. <laughs> Everyone just ends up there. Or, you know what you do with this? You make an influencer house. You make a fucking um, TikToker, YouTuber house, whatever. Oh, God. Yeah. Content they always, creator house. They always end up in those like bougie houses. Fred. Yeah. Fred, we're content creators. Mike, no. Fred, it's only $2 million, Fred. Mike, there is only one. There is only one place I would live with you, and that is if we got, like, 15 other people and got that brownstone in New York. <laughs> the, the entrepreneur house. The one that is basically, like, fair. one of the Mouse Utopia experiment universes. Fair. Yeah, fair. It's it, the it, only it, way. The grind house, the Sigma grind house he's talking about. Th this is still on the market, by the way, for anybody who's interested. Oh, here we go. Oh, look. look, the game room. You know what that is? That's a billiards that's a table. Pool? That, yeah, that's a pool table. Billiard. Come on, Fred. Billiard. We could fuck We could fuck on that. Think about how oh. hot that would be. Oh, my God. Yeah, with, with, the, with the pool balls, like, rolling around as we nudge them, bouncing off the edges. Is that a shuffleboard table? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think so. That's okay. Who the fuck has a shuffleboard table in their house? Oh my god, Lois. Oh fuck, Lois. Holy fuck, I'm coming. Lois. Holy fuck, I'm coming. I'm coming. Uh -huh. Holy fuck, I'm coming. Th this is like a basketball hoop over here. Right? Is it? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, like there's a hoop th- up here, and this is the net. Like you throw the basketballs, oh, and then an they arcade? roll down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. No, there's I know a, what you're talking about. Like there's an arcade cabinet. I, it looks like Pac-Man. Mrs. Pac-Man, maybe? <gasps> I think you're right. This is the same room from before, dude. It is. From a different angle. I didn't realize how big this room was. Right, yeah. I, this, yeah. this is a lot bigger I, than they, I thought it was. They, I thought that was like a tiny little room. Me the too. way they took that picture. But it turned yeah, out this is a huge same. a huge room. All right, this is like a side hallway. Now, the, these these look like sunroofs, guys. These look like actual windows. The, but early, the, 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 earlier, I'm starting to think that that, that might have been. That probably was. Just probably a was, it was, it was a window. It just looked so peculiar. Yeah. And then you got your your fucking jerk off lanai out there, right? That, that yeah, that little room, that long room there is where like a husband and wife would buy this house, and that long room, this long room is the the room where the wife swears she will eventually start drinking her coffee, but she just drinks it in front of the TV. Yeah, she like never she makes it out morning. here. She never yeah. makes it out here. Yeah, yeah, she just she wants to watch Fox or something. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. It's nice. It, it is kind of comfy, isn't it? I like lots uh, of She wants life. to watch T- Tucker Carlson. Yeah. Um, tell me what to be scared of now, Tell Daddy me what Carlson. to be scared of, Daddy Carlson. Tell me. Please teach me how to live. The br- I want to have sex with the brown M&M. Dude. <laughs> what do you think of wall tapestries? I really like them, actually. As, like, in principle. I... I think that obnoxious? they're nice. You think they're obnoxious? No, I'm, I'm not sure where I stand on them, to be to be honest. I wanted to get your I, take. I think it's nice to have a texture on the wall that isn't completely flat. And that's not um, uh, that's, like just a picture frame. Right, that's not a picture frame. It's... Yeah. It, it's it's nice variety. I like it. It's to keep uh, like, the echoes I, I like, down, sure. I, like to ha- I would like to have something that, you know, I would want to look at. But that's just me. I, I'm not a fan of having random things on walls that I wouldn't ever like actually want to stand and look at. Right. You, you need to be something. I mean, these these look nice, I guess. Like it's like some kind of floral and, and like fruit and shit, like still life type shit. It, I don't what know. It, appear, it appears like, to be like I, it's a parrot. I, I get that home decoration needs to include some things that aren't things you will stop and look at. But I guess like. Maybe it's just because I I like to stop and slowly enjoy things when I'm looking at them. I All right. Know. I'm peculiar. Ready? I'm a bad measure. Yeah, I'm ready. This is where Mr. Mint fucks. Say it again. I had clown music playing when I when I this, changed it. Oh, I, I said this is where Mr. Mint fucks. <laughs> you Mr. Mint is a clown, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you would yeah you would just lose your mind in here. There is a mirror above the bed they construct. There's like a part of the oh, fucking ceiling is this. is like extended out because like that's the bed is meant to go in there. No, hold on. The bed is yeah. a twin bed. It's too small for this area. It's like it's too yeah. small for this. Yeah. Right. No, th- this is like the children's room. And they made it bougie. Like, like who cares? Like, what the fuck is this? Oh my god, this is like. Bed's too. Small. Imagine grow. Imagine growing up like this, man. Imagine, yeah. Imagine looking up and staring at your reflection at night. Terrifying. This, it, those curtains look like something you would pull back to reveal an elephant at a fair. Yeah, right, exactly. Like, look at my freaky child. A lot of distur- uh, uh, just confusing and clashing textures in here, too. Like, all the wallpapers and stuff is, like, not going. Like, all, all this, like, what is, what is going on? Like, it's very conflicting and, and strange. This is the kind of room you give a child to induce early onset dementia. <laughs> like you just give them too much input. Ivan points out that if you sleep under a mirror and it breaks, you have bits of broken glass raining down onto your body. Oh god, you're right. Oh, oh, and the kid's like absolutely gonna throw things and like like yep. throw a, a rubber ball at Such it. Such a bad idea. Yeah, Such a bad yeah. idea. 
This Wisp is... says, I think you guys should make one of these horrible homes in Minecraft. <gasps> I told... my my The last project I proposed to Fred was that we make the, the Tesla Cybertruck. Since he's such a big Elon Musk fan. God. Eat shit. <laughs> did, you, did you see the chess tweet that he put out that I sent you? Yeah, he said chess is too simple for him. And as somebody on Twitter had a really good take on that. They were like, when Elon Musk says that chess is too simple for him, what he's really saying is that he's too simple for chess. And I was like, as somebody who is definitely too simple for chess, um, I absolutely agree. It's... <laughs> Here's the thing. Openings. Single openings in chess have been passed down from generation to generation for centuries because Elon they're Musk still care. analyzing them. There's no fog of war. Yeah, there's no tech tree. I wish I could research a technology to improve my bishops. He's <laughs> such a fucking jerk-off. Wait, yeah, the, I have never <laughs> such a had a moment <laughs> where I needed the insult jerk-off more. Imagine like, comparing these two things. Like, what the fuck? Also, I, I was making a point on my stream, um, saying that fog of war is, like, saying that fog of war is necessary for a difficult and complicated game is so headass. Because as someone who plays strategy games, fog of war often does not complicate the game; yeah. it simplifies it. Yeah. Because when you do not know what your opponent is doing, the number of viable things to do that can possibly like can defeat what your opponent might be doing collapses. Yeah. So you are limited in the number of things that you can do. It ends up becoming a game of either rock, paper, scissors or battleship just have, or, or just, you know, square peg goes you're, you're, square you're guessing. Hole. You're, yeah, you're, you're, you're just guessing. guessing. You're making estimated no strategy. guesses yeah. um, or, or you're just putting square peg in square hole because on, like you don't get to know what your opponent is doing so you have to there, there's some guesswork and also just homogenization. You have to use some sort of homogenous opening that is flexible enough to deal with something that your opponent might do. Fog of War does not make a more complicated game. It makes a, in some cases and in some ways, a simpler game. Um, I think that a game that doesn't have, that has like limited like Fog of War is Total Warhammer. Do you think that Total Warhammer would be harder if you couldn't see where your opponent's units were? No. It makes it... it it's harder because Tedious. everyone can see almost everything. Um, Someone in chat just got whooshed by the Moobot and is confused about what happened to them. They said, what did Moobot just do to me? Um, Nady gave them a handjob. Now, I don't want you to freak out, but look at your dick and notice how it's tiny now. Hey, Nady, are you Check still here? Check your dick. Check I, your I... dick. Check your pee-pee. I, I was... I was pointing out to Nady, like, so, something that you can do with fingers, right? They're, they're, like, massive hands. You can basically look... Make anyone's dick look small in comparison. Like, wow, I... <laughs> Wow, this, like this barely fills up my hand, fingers. right? Because you have the the big finger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Well, Elon Musk is a fucking dickhead. Uh, we all know that, and y y yeah, you're right. Obviously, what you're saying. Um. Uh, let, let's. You you want to keep looking at the house? Yeah, let's before keep we going. Get to, let's get out of like Mr. Mint's daughter's room. Because like I I want to like I feel even like myself wanting to continue talking about about Elon Musk, but I know that's just gonna go to a shitty place. Uh, yeah, no, boom. I'm, let's move. What is that portrait? That's some guy up in the top right corner. <laughs> you know, he it's a man buried in the snow. That's what that is. <laughs> George like Bush? The, They're saying George Bush. Is is it? it is that, that's not George Bush. That's like George Bush buried you know in the snow up to his neck. My money is on some random local country music player. How like did they the forget to draw the rest of it though? <laughs> like they just forgot. Is it a style thing? 
Are we just not seeing? It's not the rest very of cool. It? Um, they did the thing in here again, where there's like some sheetrock or drywall or whatever the fuck that is coming down from the ceiling to create like, I don't know, a, a, a space to put a light fixture. Are you seeing that? That's what was going on around the bed in the other room. Right. Um, it looks like you have a like pre bathroom that opens up onto more bathroom. Like there's a little desk where you could do your fucking makeup this is all mirror which this. makes the room look bigger but i feel like it's ultimately a pretty small room yeah, and I, what i've seen i've seen something like this on a much much smaller th scale this is like, so visually confusing to me like look up at the, near the ceiling the mirrors are not helping fuck think, those like, mirrors dude I, I think that the mirrors are supposed to make it feel bigger but it just makes it feel like a fun house the bathtub seems cool um, I like that there's a, a, a fucking skylight above the bathtub. I like that, um, I, I think it's like a, I think, I think it's a hot, I think it's a hot tub. I think it's like a fucking kind of a, like a whirlpool type situation. Um, I think it's a bath. And it's a bath. There's, well, I could see, see the, like the little jets and shit, Fred. And then there's two showers, dude. One on each side of the room. I guess it's like a his and a hers type deal. Maybe. Yeah, like, all right, so... <laughs> Looks fun to crash through. <laughs> this is a Hitman level. It's... It's two showers. One... One for the... the One for the husband and one for the wife's boyfriend. <laughs> okay. Um... Those mirrors, you're right, make it look like a fucking fun house. Everything since we came to the second floor has been clown town. It, do, it it feels weirdly clowny, doesn't it? Like like yeah. state fair, like it's like a state fair is rolled in all of it. There's two. Okay, but here's the thing: like there's two showers that can both fit multiple people in it. So are you gonna have two people, three people showering in here, and three people showering over here? I mean, I'm assuming that about this. Ah, uh, it's another I mean, kids. It's it. another kids' room. Yeah, yeah. They it is. love putting mirrors above the children's bed for some reason. Again, like you're completely right. Like one of those mirrors. Dude, somebody was, was sleeping chuck, on here. Like Mike, kids chuck shit. They love to chuck shit. They they chuck things, and they're they gonna love to start, chuck things. Like y you know what I would have done when I was little? You know what I would have done? You would have chucked taken, something. I would have taken a ball and I would have done my best to throw it so it just barely taps the mirror. And I'll do that over and over again until I accidentally throw it too hard. That is precisely what I would have done. I know what I am. I know what I was. Like a handball. Yeah. Something like hard enough that it definitely is like dangerous. Mike, this house was used for elderly porn. This is La Casa de Gusher? The house. <laughs> Gushing grannies. No, I don't have children. I'm, I'm saying that when I was a child, I would have done that. The gu Gusher, Gusher City? That I have kit. How did you mishear me that badly? Gross. Just gross. The wallpaper and the curtains. The pillows. I mean, they're trying to make it match, and it, and it, it does match, but it's, but it's bad, right? Like, it's... Ooh. Why is every room so wildly different? You noticing this? The bed has a clown nose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. Even the bed is a fucking clown. This room has all of, like... It feels like a skin that you would buy from, like, the, the store... From the in-game store. Like, oh, I'm going to, like, I got this as a reward for reaching level 55. Call of Duty Salami gun? Oh, not Call of Duty. CSGO? CSGO? Gun skin? C CSGO. Ooh, God. Yeah, no, this is just showing off skins. Oh, God. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's a lot. My grandmother um, this has, wallpaper, like, vertical wallpaper like so this. so far p pisses me off the least. Out of my, all the my, wallpaper we, we've seen, um, my my grandmother um, doesn't have like it's it's not a large house, but it did have a bathroom where it's like a little. Is that a printer? I was waiting for you to notice it. 
What the fuck? Fred, why is do you know why this do you know why this house has fucking 38 different kinds of wallpaper? Why? Because they print it all out right here. <laughs> like this is the wallpaper printer. This is a they print out custom wallpapers in the bathroom. I don't know Wait, why what? there's a printer in the bathroom. Maybe so like when you're taking a shit, you can like receive a fax. I no, no, no. It's so when you go into the bathroom to fap, you can print out a fresh copy of Miku. A fap and a every fax. Time. A fap and a fax. I, I, you need fresh, a fresh Mikus. Miku every time. Fresh Mikus, dude. It's for batch printing. Stop. It's another sitting room. There's literally a clown on the wall. Guys. They know what they're doing. They would hear us like, like this whole time we've been insulting their house being like, it's clownish, it's clowny. If they heard us saying that, they'd be, they'd be, they'd be like, thank you. I'm fucking they'd feel, they'd feel complimented because that's what they were trying to do this whole time. That's what they were going for. It's. <laughs> Fuck. He can't hear it, by the way, when I play it, because he's not... Oh, you he, are playing it. I, well, I played it earlier. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I figured that out. The, cl the clown painting has never not been ironic. No, it's ironic. Oh, did you do the... Uh, did you did you did the you did the eyes? I missed it. Yeah, no, I did the hip no, hip no eyes. Um, all right. There's a little another little office, I guess, with a fucking couch that nobody sits in again. There, uh, there's an. This is a room that is actually used. Well, yeah. I mean, here you have like a mending station. You got all the threads and everything, and. Yeah. Uh, it looks like this is the kind of chair that you give people haircuts in and you do this is a sink where you rinse people's hair out when you're like dyeing it and stuff this is like yeah. a barber um oh yeah th this is a utility room sewing happens in here um that looks like a workstation is that like an architect table or some shit what kind of fucking table is i think that? it is yeah like a lot okay so a lot of shit goes on in this room something like that sewing um, table a lot of shit there. goes on dude what the fuck is this it's a workout room but it's a dentist like it's got the dentist office glass over here like what's going on on the other side of this wall <laughs> what oh is god this? I, just, I just imagine your foot goes back into the glass oh god <laughs> Dude, you're right. You this can tell is, that they don't use it. They absolutely. You you could well, firstly, you could tell that they don't use it because it's expensive exercise equipment, which nobody uses. Yeah, okay, that's true. Okay, these are just really expensive. Again, like like fucking clothing racks and shit. Um, if you were gonna try to use this, this is like the scheme machine where these things go back and forth. So that absolutely yeah. would go into the fucking wall. Yeah. No, this is not set up for actual use. No. Although. But um, the, the idea of having a cock on the wall for motivation is very good. <laughs> Gotta lose weight if you want to get some cock. You're almost there. Uh, all right, another bathroom with like a little... I, I, I like when showers are little rooms, to be honest. That is kind of cute, yeah. I like that. I like a little, a little fucking like... Sauna type situation. Mm -hmm. I, I like that. I'm there. I'm here for it. All right, I have no issue with this bathroom. This is fine. Piss rug. Okay, no issue. This is fine. The, is this the same bathroom? No. Oh, I'm gonna t I'm gonna tell you what this is. Ready? Okay. This room is like like the sh sink is shared, but then there's a toilet and 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 shower like off to the side of each. Well, no, because the wallpaper is different. Yeah. Okay. Frankly, I have no idea what the fuck I'm looking at. Uh, bad drag. I there's a bad dragon. There's a bad dragon in this image. No, there isn't, Mike. You Fred, that was a giant fucking like black horse cock, dude. You no, didn't see it. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Let me see again. No. I don't, well, go, go to BRB. That. Squint slightly. <laughs> Squint no. slightly. It turns into a giant cock and balls. I will not close my eyes for a tyrant like you. I'm not telling literally you to close them. Literally 1984. This is I'm literally 1984. Guys, squint and it turns into a giant horse cock. What is this okay, supposed yeah. to be? It's supposed to be a, a giant dildo, dude. 
I'm, I'm like, I have TOS concerns. It's not. It's dude. That's gr it's that's a thing gr holding a thing. Bro, that's Granny's gaper. Stop. Oh, the, the texture. Gran Granny's gaper. <laughs> You can feel Mike has ridge. horse cock periodolia. <laughs> Fuck you. Mike's just paranoid after what happened before. Um, all right. I mean, it's like part of a bathroom or something. Guys, that's a fucking dildo. I don't want to hear it. Paradildia. Um, all right. Everything this looks is like dildos. Okay, whatever. Um, how many fucking bathrooms do they have? Wait, no, this is starting to get very confusing. Wait, yeah, is is this wait, is this mirrored? What? Is this the same photo but mirrored? What's going on? Where am I? The nine, sink is suffering. Nine bathrooms. These people love to shit. Yo, this fucking is a nine nine bathroom house. Yo, uh new yeah, hot dad five, track just dropped. Five I bed, love to shit. Five bed, nine bath. You, you know, that didn't even occur to me as like I didn't I didn't catch that. Can I ask you a, seri a, a serious question? I'm in, in 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 what fucking universe do these people need nine bathrooms? I mean, if they, what happens if you clog the first eight? The IBS house. <laughs> this is where Gwen Stefani grew up. Yeah, it's like that's you, my you shit. That's shit, my shit. Like, well, well, that one's a goner. On Guys? to the next one. What the fuck are they doing with nine bathrooms? I don't understand. So that means, okay, I could see this being like every bedroom has a bathroom attached to it. Right. Okay. If 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 you're that fucking rich and you're an asshole, if you're that rich and like wasteful, yeah, let's let's build a house where every every f five a five bedroom house. Every ha every bedroom has its own bathroom attached to it. That still leaves four bathrooms. Okay, one off the kitchen. Right, right. That that's okay. One near the kitchen, one near. I guess the living room. Okay, there's still t still two bathrooms that are like uh, fucking totally totally superfluous. This one is for shitting. This one is for shit. They all had toilets and showers. I think this is the first one that doesn't have a shower. This might be like the one half bathroom that's the like one, near the yeah. near like the entrance to the house. I don't know. Maybe we're getting a bad angle and not seeing the rest of it. This is like a bad Sims house. Yeah. Dude, this is like a little mini bathroom. What the fuck is going on, dude? What is the sink doing here? What is this? It's for it's for rinsing off your the blood from your ankle what? when you slam it into the glass. What is happening in this house? This house is getting what's this now? This is this the garage other is back here. What are the carports? Remember there was another building. This is okay. So the detached building does have d guys. I don't understand. A two car garage, a one car garage. And then, like, a not garage? What's this? Yeah. What is this? A bonus bean room. It's, for <laughs> it's, it's for a bonus scooter. bean room. Yeah, These are the accommodations for, for the servants. I was thinking that exact same thing. Like, this the, the is other, where they the come in park. The other possibility I was thinking of was, this is where you mine your Bitcoin. What, right up in here? Yeah. I'll, that was, I'll the, the, that was the first house Fred had the Bitcoin mine. This is so fucking weird, dude. Now we're in we're in the guest house. We got to be. Yeah, yeah. All right, this here's looks their, like it was built more recently. They're little they're little like like um um what would the word be? Like like lower class kitchen. This feels like oh you, you this feels like a place like you would rent for a weekend, right? At the coast. Yeah. Like this, this is cozy. This is this is kind of nice. This is just the yeah okay you I got like, okay. I like this normal like this normal really, hu human bathtub. This, <laughs> yeah, the, <laughs> this place was made for humans. Attic with storage. Yeah, got, this 
it, it almost feels refreshing to see the interior of <laughs> basketball what courts. I'm tentatively call, <laughs> calling the servants' quarters. Because I didn't realize like a place where you'd live. You're, you're also getting basketball courts in addition to the tennis courts. Here's another detached gazebo like out here. Okay. And this they're showing you I that they have a, a generator. Wait, Mike. Which you're going to need if you live in fucking Louisiana. I feel like this place is just full of places where you sit or stand when you are in different levels of ennui. I don't know what like, ennui I, means. I, I am in a mild ennui. level of ennui, so I'm sitting in like the room with the TV tray. I ennui am consumed so by ennui, and so I am standing directly underneath the gazebo outside. Ennui, ennui is, is like is when you like get high on piss. Like I'm ennui, dude. Yeah, yeah, no, it's uh, Jenkum. It's for Jenkum, yeah. <laughs> Bro, I'm totally on Wii right now. If you on Wii, get on Wii. On the Wii U. That was the entire listing. And yes, it. To my knowledge, it is pronounced on Wii. On Wii Wii. It, it. It means like a profound sense of, um, like. Uh, inertia and boredom because i mean like yeah you're just going through life in this house right you're just existing in this house because there's nothing else to do i mean you're sitting there and you're listless yeah on yeah, just... is like boredom but like all encompassing for your life Sorry. clown themed boredom yes, who knew yeah. <laughs> who knew it could exist fred i want to go get um just some water uh, okay. Do you want to hang out with chat and um, keep them occupied while I just get some water, buddy? Yeah, sure. Um, I'll okay. let them know what I have in store for you because I have a very brief, very brief um, listing for us. It's not a listing, but it, you'll see. Oh, you'll see. All right. So, so let them what what their their whistle for that. I'll be right back. I'll, I'll clue I'll clue them in. Okay. So, you guys. Okay, good. Uh, my mic is up and gone. I want to show Mike something that I showed my stream. So if, if you've been on my stream, twitch.tv slash Frederick Dudeson, haha. Um, if, if you have been on my stream, then you might have seen the video I showed of Sarah Palin doing a cameo, like the website cameo. Her house is peculiar. You guys remember that? Anyone who was there? I feel like I, I was very focused on the either coked out or very zooted. I I my I lean toward uppers because her face isn't red at all. I would say I I think it's uppers. I was so focused on Sarah Palin that I didn't think about the house. If you or someone you know has been shown things in Fred's stream, you might be entitled to financial compensation. Saw her at a tribal meeting. Wait, what do you mean? Tribal meeting. I don't know what that could mean. That could mean a lot of things. No, to Alaska, I'm going north, the rush is on. Oh, do I have to do the bike? Oh, oh, pseudopod is doing the bad word. Um, you look like I would find you huddled up in one of the sitting rooms. I'm back. Uh, bike. Cow. Hi. Hey. Welcome back. So, uh, did you want to um, show me something? Yes. Uh, here. Let what me... happened? You you I, didn't I... so you burned the chat member. Uh, yes. They, what did I miss? They asked me to call them a bad word, and I went a little bit hard. You know what? I don't want to know. What, 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 what do you got? Uh, I'm looking it up. 
I where where the fuck did I put it? Are there's are you familiar with Weed Mubarak? What is it, buddy? Have you are you familiar with Weed Mubarak? Weed Mubarak? Weed Mubarak, the path of the alpha. Absolutely not. No, I don't know what that is at all. Okay, um, I'll have to show you that in a minute. But I maybe we should stay on topic. Um. Yeah, I'm thinking Pride's probably for the best because <laughs> okay. we will do that. We will do that for like hours if you let us, right? Yes. Is it a play on Eid Eid Mubarak? Me Eid Mubarak is it's like a holiday or something? Maybe. Is that it's like a a, a Muslim holiday or something, right? Or what, what what is it? I don't know what Eid Mubarak. All right. Is. So, um, I have many more list things I wanted to look at. Uh, okay. Do you want to move on, or did you want to I'm, look? I'm, at I'm just looking for the one thing. Uh, nice AI art. Where is it? Am I just crazy? It's around here somewhere. I have it. Oh, wait a minute. I might have messaged it to myself. Did I? I'm looking. No, that is Jordan Peele reacting to um, the metaverse set of Nope. Did he no. like it? It. He did his best to pretend to. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't convincing. You know what? I'm just going to show that to you because I feel like I'm going to quote it and you're going to be like, Fred, what are you talking about? It's one of those things. Okay. Let me Let me get it. I'll, I'll find it on YouTube. Sorry, by time. Um. Well, I mean, like I did, you know, I got real estate listings. We could buy so much time with them. Okay, got it. So much, so much. <laughs> got it. Yeah. Here you go. So this is, it. No spoilers. It's fine. You sure it's no spoilers? No spoilers. Don't worry about it. Okay, here it is. Uncover the horror and experience the film in a brand new way. Oh, Haywood Ranch. Whoa! Are you kidding me? For, this and is Facebook's thing. And there's the cloud. This. A, a cloud. That's the bad guy in the movie? A cloud? Yeah, I, is, is it? it's, it's more complicated than that. But keep going. Don't worry about it. Um. Okay, so I mean like... Just obviously, it looks like shit, incredible. and he's has to pretend it doesn't look like shit. It's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like fucking baby's first source. Oh my fucking god! So he, here's, here's look at that thing. font. Look at the not, look at the yeah, font. You saw it <laughs> too. You saw it. <laughs> Do you want to know something fun? That is the same <laughs> font that is used on Twitter. Yeah. It's just a sans serif font. Yeah, that, that that is so fucking bad. Holy shit! Like I've played fucking shovelware games that are better than this. Holy fuck! I, I okay. You, did, did, I, I know, want I want to defend the people who made this world. I'm willing to bet that it is not the creator's fault. I think that they were just like given an afternoon to put something together. Why don't they have legs? What was that ever ever about them not having legs? What was that? I don't like I I don't know, man. It was like a style choice to not give the characters legs. I think it was. I think it was also like a harassment thing like they can't have their dick grabbed in virtual can't have reality. Dick, can't have your dick. What about tits? Dick. What about tits? What about like, tits? Who do you who do you think is in charge at Facebook? Yeah. Women? Yeah, right. Jesus Christ. Okay, so dear fucking lord, they they are showing him this thing that was made. It looks like the ranch is surrounded by giant croissants. <laughs> it fucking does. Like giant fucking apocalyptic proportion croissants like third no. impact croissants the french croissant land yeah holy shit how did this fucking happen you know about my stream my, my stream idea right 
what? Oh yeah, going into Horizon. I, I, I want I want to go into the, the meta. Yeah, I want to go in. I want to stream the metaverse. I want to so go in there and stream it. The, yeah. the it's not in a great state. There. I know. Are, that's the point. So I, there, you are think two, I don't know that? there there are two hundred thousand people using Horizon Worlds, from what I hear, down from three hundred thousand in February. That sounds like a high number of people using it. Um, the, not when you consider that fifteen billion dollars have been sunk into this. Do, would you be interested in coming with me and checking it out? I, I might. I just, Come on, I, it's a good idea. Yeah, it I mean, is we're gonna go and laugh idea. at it. Like, dude, they, look, look how hard we're laughing at just this. Yeah, it's just a whole this. fucking <laughs> world full of shit like this. It's not gonna be funny. It's gonna be very funny, chat. It's gonna be amazing. Do it, yeah, Lumpy. I want to do it for the content. And chat's like, no, don't do it. Don't give them exposure. You think that it's gonna fucking matter? You think I'm, I'm gonna single-handedly save the, the, the metaverse? <laughs> you think I'm gonna save fucking Facebook from bankruptcy? If I go look at the metaverse in one stream, stop. Whoa. Don't listen to people who say that the only bad publicity is no publicity. That's a fucking lie. Not, not when it comes to shit lie. like this, man. <laughs> Are you kidding me? And there's the cloud. Why is the audio like that? What's this blue thing? I, I think that it's fucking. Bro, up is that just supposed to be? Game. Is that just supposed to be water? I think so. What the? Oh fuck? no no no! It, it's one of the. the you'll see. It's it's a it's a reference to the movie. And there's I, I know the what cloud. it's supposed to be now. This. God, that looks like shit. This is incredible. It's been... <laughs> Yo! I'm Jordan Peele. <laughs> Uh, I directed the film Nope, and I'm standing on Haywood Ranch, the very set that we shot this movie on, and I I, I can't believe my eyes. Hey, look at the <laughs> house, the I'm like... <laughs> the mouth animation! Whoa, we just oh, the man. Oh, my God. What happened? Were you trying to say something? Oh, just... No, nothing important porch here i think it would be awesome for the fans to be able to come see haywood ranch and to see this world and to experience it like did they did they pay him like did they pay these people to come oh to, to, fuck yeah are you kidding like yeah. i intended yeah. them to experience the world so, builder is completely immersed i'm on there i was a world builder wait so the, these are these are the people who who worked on what we're looking at right now i am yes but I'm not ready to blame them. I think they were given it, like six hours. Immersed. Well, also it's like the metaverse. Like, I mean, that that that's like bringing a fucking truckload of elephant shit to somebody and asking them to like make you a statue. Right. It has to run or, on the quest. Build me a house with this, please. Build me a build me a three bedroom house with this fucking truckload of elephant shit. Yep. I'm on there. You can't really blame the architect, right? No. You see me ride? <laughs> Woo! I'm riding. And so I love this <laughs> as a supplement for the film. I have been quoting that literally <laughs> see, since I watched this video. You see me riding? I'm riding. <laughs> I'm riding. I'm <laughs> riding. All right. Well, <laughs> that's ass. Can, Holy can we, fuck. Can we, can we do that clip again? You want me to? Okay. I'm riding. One more time. Oh, I love this as a supplement. Oh, farther back. Oh, I fucked up. Okay. Which is completely immersed. I'm <laughs> on there. You see me ride? <laughs> Woo! I'm riding. And so I love this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, dude. Oh, right. she's having so much fun on I love that. How even even these professional actors cannot make it look like they're having fun. Yeah, yeah, because it's that bad. Well, there's nothing to do in there, man. God, it's like I don't know what the so fuck empty. they expect. Okay, so we got more listings to look at. You want to look at another at another one? Yes, I, I'm ready. Oh yeah, I'll. This I'll, one's I'll conveniently find... located in the metaverse. You know, that's a thing we can do, Fred, on a stream like this. Look at metaverse real estate listings. Yeah, I. that's something that I want. Yeah, because now you can buy them. Fuck. You can buy uh, them with like 
with, with like Bitcoin and shit, right? Let me see if I can find the thing. I really want to see. Uh, it was Cameo. What do you got on Cameo, Fred? No, it, it's Sarah Palin on Cameo. Uh oh. A lot. Is it the one where she's drunk? It's yeah, the one where it seems like she's drunk. Did anyone submit the seven million castle in Idaho? I I have something that might be what you're talking about. I'm not sure. But that's that'll be a little later tonight if if we get to it, which looks less and less likely every time Fred goes to Google something. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay. It's all right. We'll just save him for next time. Okay, here. I think I've got it. Okay. Wait, no, it's not. Okay. I I was able to find a re-upload. I think that they took it down. Here we go. Uh, the, the thing they added to it was, when my brother paid a coked out Sarah Palin to drag me for Christmas. I Is think it, I have, I think I have seen it. Okay, I just um, wanted, for, for the real estate stream, just look at the fucking house. Okay, give me, her. give me a second. Yeah, so this is, um, I guess her house, huh? I get, yeah, I guess so. TV yeah. too high. When my brother paid a coked out Sarah Palin to drag me for Christmas. Not like the world a better place. TikTok, unfortunately. Great again. Right, Jenny? Bless your heart. Kim, and, uh, hey. Uh, Mr. Case. That's too many dogs. Tracy, you uh, have great success all over the place. Somebody just uh, walked in front. Kids yep. Our offspring. Uh, just one failure. Not, not a failure, but one shortcoming. And that would be... Um, what the heck <laughs> did you... Where did you go wrong with... She who is so loved and adored also, Jenny. Politically speaking. No. I don't know what's going on. What is happening, whatever dude? I don't know. She, like, took a request on Jenny. Cameo. Heck, you're there in New York City. Happened. Of course, that's... It, how in the world could you have the right leanings there in New York City? You got a lot tougher than I do. I'm here up in the frozen north where everybody's independent. And it's all about pioneering and the frontier spirit. It's all about freedom. That's why right. I'm here. Right. Okay. Right. Um, dude, this is terrifying. She's a crackhead. She's it's, a crackhead. It's weird. At the very least, she is like smashed in doing this. She's a crackhead. Like you, you are fucking. I mean, like okay. Um, like people for, are. Go okay. For, for, forget. Okay. Forget. Like. Forget left and right. Forget policy stuff for a second, right. okay? Yeah. Her or Joe Biden? Just in terms of like, like, like fucking cognitive function, like cognitive ability. I think just cognitive ability. Like, forget, forget, like you know, politics. Right. For a second. I, I, I think. I think it depends on the day. I think that, like, Biden seems to forget where he is sometimes <laughs> yes, Sarah yeah. Palin like Sarah Palin but it's not cocaine think, induced right right yeah I, I think I think that Sarah Palin might actually have more faculties yeah while being on coke right her being that fidgety is a sign of drug use I mean the way she's speaking and the way she's moving and, and just like the way she's looking around and everything like she's not sober Clearly, no. she's not sober. I don't. Doesn't, I don't know if it's drugs like it. or. Um. I wonder how much this bitch charges for a cameo. I now I'm I, I'm curious, but not curious enough to look it up. Have you also noticed the the like perfectly square couch behind her that like no one can sit on because it's a square. It's a to complete. It's a complete right. square. Look at the complete square couch behind her. 
Where, where, how do you like, how do you get in there? Like, Mike, like how do you wait, get in there's there? A, there's a TV. There's a TV. There's a little entrance on the other side. Like, on the TV like you side. could, you could sit at this couch and have your back to this television. Like that's possible. At the, that's possible on this couch. Mike, look, look at how that TV is positioned on the wall that high up and that far away. Do you think anyone is actually watching that TV? You it's have to like possible. pole vault I to get in this there. Ship. There's an entire subreddit called I know. TV Too High. I know, I know. This belongs there. Yeah, it does. No, there's there's an entrance, Seamus, Seamus, right here. You can get in, you can get in. It's possible to get in, dude. <laughs> it's funnier. Wait, it's funnier made, if you can't get in, but you can. made $211,000 plus from Cameo alone. That's so Holy sad. Holy shit. Fucking losers. I feel like... Losers. There, there are. There is a very small body of people that can do cameo without losing credibility. Yeah. One of them is dead. Um, yeah. Uh, rip. Uh, 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 God uh, bless uh, him. Uh, Gilbert Gottfried. Yeah. Right. And we Gilbert all know who. You, we all know who you were talking about. Yeah. 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 I have been fucking the shit out of this burger for the last twenty minutes. And let me tell you. Thank you, Mr. Breast. <laughs> I'm so glad that he caught the Mr. Breast at the end. Look how, hey, Kippy, look how big the room is. How much does it take to heat the, the thing? See, like, that's the other thing about, about, about that. Like, the ceiling was so high. Yeah. That room, and, that, and that's like a room where the family spends time and i know sarah palin has like 10 kids or something stupid like imagine that that's that's terrifying that those that she reproduced like that but whatever she has like, like I mean, 10 she, kids you think like she can't even keep a, a, a handle on them right like they're wandering in front of the camera out of like sheer like spite probably but but like dude they have to heat that room it's alaska how much yeah. do you think that fucking costs to heat that room? God, I mean, at least as much as she's making from Cameo. Yeah, she's fucking scary, dude. All right, so, um, yeah, that's why she has to do the, do the fucking cameos. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the next listing. You, you ready or you want you want? Yeah, I'm you ready. Gotta, I'm ready. All right. Do um, you this... love how I like started streaming and I was terrified of like approaching anything like even remotely political in here? I'm just like, so yeah, Sarah Palin looks like she's on coke here. Well, it was just a funny video, and I, I don't, I don't know, I don't think that's political to be like, look, she's on coke when she is. Right. Um, it doesn't matter when you're in the pocket of the oil lobby. See, like you have yeah. to shut the fuck up because that's yeah. what we're trying to avoid. Yeah, exactly. Even though that's. Yes, but shut up. Y yes, but shut up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, now this one, actually, I want you, I want you to let's try something. Okay. Can we, can we try try something? Um, I don't want to tell you where it is. I want you to try to guess where it is. Okay. Okay. Could be fun. Just, so just don't look at the screen for a sec. Okay. Okay. I'm looking away. Right. Okay. Hold on. Tell me when I can look. Not ready. Not ready. Okay. Okay. Look now. Okay. Looking. Fred. I, I'm j I'm trying to just look at the image. I'm not looking at anything behind it. I'm I'm thinking. Mm. Wait, am I supposed to live in here? Look at the bottom of the screen. Okay. Six beds, five baths, two hundred forty-six thousand. Three thousand. Three thousand six hundred twelve feet square feet. Square feet. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Is this. Uh huh. Like Chernobyl, Colorado, yeah, Chernobyl. This is either like food processing or like nuclear waste refinement. But how could it be a six bedroom, five bathroom if that's true? 
But we, I mean, we saw a nuclear bunker turned into like a cult compound. Check this out. Is this, we did, okay, we it did, took me a second we did to look figure at, out what the orientation was. We did look at something like that once, that's right. Yeah. This is a render from a new SCP game? Pretty glamorous, right? What the shit? This is a, this is a video game level. This is like from Black Mesa. That's this the theme. That's the theme of the night. That is the theme of the. I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell you something. Mm -hmm. the, the, I, the, there are at least another another two li listings that I have here. Ah, that are, that are that are that are fucking FPS maps. Like that's the theme of the fucking. That that is the theme of the night. Absolutely. God. Like this. This, this is but this is Black Mesa, or this is like even a fucking like Golden Eye stage, or or like. Or like fuck, like what else? Like a Half Life? Yeah, ha a Half Life stage. Here, look. This looks like a Half Life. <laughs> Alex, <laughs> like, what the fuck? This Dude, is a for a house. quarter of a million dollars, you could own a CS:GO map. <laughs> this is terrifying. What? Not too bad. This is where you perform experiments. Yeah. This is beyond Fixer Upper. <laughs> yeah, look at this. What? This is one of the, this is one of the bedrooms, Fred. <laughs> they they call this a bedroom. I I okay. Legitimately, <clears throat> I don't know what they're claiming the bedrooms are. What the shit? Is is it possible for something to catch water in the same way that it catches fire? Like That's what's happening in this image. And destroying everything. Moisture, well, moisture, like, um, yeah, damage, moisture damage. Yeah, except it looks like it happened rapidly. It's a, nuclear it's a, decay is taking place. Shovelware Unity horror game. Do you want to live in a shovelware Unity horror game, dude? Look at this. It's a fixer upper in the same way that I'm a fixer upper. Oh no, you just deal with like the weird shit constantly and it'll be fine i hope you don't mind like suffering from horrible mental trauma from being around it you just have to sort of learn how to accept these things right right yeah like lower respiratory disease it's something yeah, I mean, you can live with you learn to live with it while. it won't kill you immediately oh. yeah right um what do you think of this hole right here what's going on there I mean, that's where Shrek's dick comes in. Like, that that's the glory <laughs> okay. hole for Shrek. A lot of rust seeping off the... That's, 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 that's like it. You know, it's kind of a nice color. You can lick it if you're iron deficient. Would you rather look at that or the wallpaper from the other house all day? I mean, here I can imagine that I'm in, like, a Gopnik game. A Gopnik, yeah, a Gopnik core. Gopnik... Video games, Inc. Yeah, are you this, seeing this the, the 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 emote that chat spammed when you said that about Shrek's dick? Uh, Slam Hog. You know about Slam Hog, right? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that's not vomit. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, it is. I, uh, yeah, it is. I mean, yeah, yeah it's it totally vomit. Someone said this is a prop hunt map. It no, is. it is though. It actually, yeah, it pro actually is. Absolutely prop hunt. Yep. I. This is so threatening. Like this is these are pictures that you show someone when you're like, look. If you don't get this cocaine across the border, this is where your girlfriend's going to live, for the rest of forever, her life. for the, for the rest, rest of her, of her short, short life, short, yeah, short, short life. life. Right, like th this is what you threaten someone with. Great. It's in the middle of snowy fuck you. Haven't you ever wanted to have whatever this is on your property? Oh, finally a stroker made for me. I'm not sure why they decided to include this picture, and we have no idea what that is. <clears throat> this, it's like, it's like someone got their artsy middle school, like, niece to take these photographs. 
right? Like, oh yeah, your niece is, is a photographer, right? Like, yeah, she does artistic photographs. Yeah, you think she can photograph my home? And they're like, yeah, sure. And they don't... Giant, they... giant metal candy cane. It's obviously some sort of exhaust pipe. Ventilation pipe, obviously. Because guess what? This entire complex appears to be underground. Underground, yeah. Right? Mr. Mint fallen on hard times. A six-bedroom FPS map. This is how, this is like the front door, I think. <laughs> like the fuck is this? Who would uh, buy this and why? Wh what's going on back here? Look, you got that beautiful stone frontage, like that beautiful like like stone um like facade over there. You see that? Oh my god, what if that's a school and this is like where the janitor lives? Fuck, dude. You like, think that's a school? Imagine? That looks like an aircraft hangar. This feels like either like a Stephen King or a Goosebumps book. <laughs> this is the cover of the Goosebumps book right here. It is and down here, there's like two little glowing eyes. Right? This looks this looks like an SCP. What's the name of the Goosebumps book? What's the name of it? The, the Goosebumps? Uh, What's the name it, of the book? Is... The Janitor from the Crypt. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> That's a vault door. It looks like a vault through. door that some somebody had to fucking cut through it with like a laser cutter, dude. They did. You could clearly see somebody fucking cut through this with a laser cutter. Like Except that actually Mike. happened. Mike, I have a question for you. Is this yeah. a shot from inside the door or outside? Because if it's from inside, then you're trying to keep, you know, keep things out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But if this is from the outside, that means you're trying to keep something in. Okay. Um, it's terrifying. Play stream? I played like all the creepy sounds. Um, okay. <laughs> Apparently, we're getting a little bit of lore from the chat. There was a guy who made millions of dollars in LSD who lived in one of these bunkers. His name was Picard. A YouTuber named NeuroSoup made videos about it. Okay, well, is this the fucking oh. place where he lived? Or you're saying, you're saying, like, he lived in a place like this? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and tell you that this is located, this property is located in uh, upstate New York. In a, in a town called Ellenberg Center. What? This is New York. Yeah, this is my state. I mean, yeah. So I if guess that helps you figure out. New, everywhere outside of New York City is kind of like not, is pretty sparsely populated, right? No, no, not necessarily. I, I mean, like there, there's huge population centers like out on Long Island. And I mean, if you go upstate, like there are cities up there. Like, Vinny you know, buff, Buffalo. <laughs> Buffalo is 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 a is a fucking pretty pretty decently sized city and, and um you got Niagara Falls, mm -hmm. Syracuse, Rochester. There's yeah, there's yeah. there's a lot of yeah, there's a lot of people up there. But like there is also a lot of open space. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Westchester County probably is like one of the most populated counties in the country, and it's like not the city. I think Did what's terrifying about this image, sorry, like it, getting us back on this. I think what's terrifying is that this image tells a story. Yeah, something happened here. Yeah, these are the remnants of action. Like, and that, I think that's partially why it feels like an S, like a photograph you'd find on an SCP. Yeah. I mean, did you could, you could easily like write one. Use this as a writing prompt, and then use Easily. this in the in the in the uh, in the article, right? In the SCP article. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were definitely keeping something fucked up down here, bro. Yeah, that if it's a dude who that made LSD, that's what's this? Oh, the oh, it, it's like it, it's one of those um, enemies from uh, it, it's from the the ship level in banjo kazooie like you have the two eyes above it and mm -hmm. then like the little teeth, teeth up top yeah the mouth <laughs> it's an enemy from banjo kazooie i see it i was thinking they're like tunnels for giant hamsters or something 
It's just more places for Shrek to put his cock. It's even green. Look, there's Shrek residue. <laughs> Shrek residue. That guy Picard that you're talking about, that he did that in Kansas. We're in upstate New York, so this is not the same story. Um, and look at these God. luxurious accommodations. This could all be yours for a quarter of a million dollars. What the fuck are you supposed to do with that? I don't even know what that is. What am I looking at? It's a mirror. Dear fucking God. No, it isn't. Oh my God. That, that, that is such a mind fuck image, Fred. It's not a mirror, Fred. No, it's not a mirror. Oh fuck. Cause, because there's a wire going into it. If it there was a mirror, wires. if it was a mirror, where's the photographer? What the shit is going on? This is a non-Euclidean space. No, it's not a non-Euclidean space. Look at my mouse, okay? Yeah. This is just a very neatly cut rectangle, okay? Yeah. Doorway. Out of what? But you nothing. Have, like nothing. Nothing. Oh, it, this it, it, is was, so it was the way that the, it was the way that the, the weird. It was the way the metal was pieced together. Okay. There's fucking. What if it? Dude, no, this is a massive mindfuck because it does. I see what you're saying. It yeah, does look like it. it's a mirror leaning against the wall, but there's pipes and cables going through going the fucking yeah. the mirrors. So, like th this goes into some alternate dimension. We always every like, one every one of these streams has an SCP property. It, there's it always does, an SCP yeah, property. Yeah. This is this goes into like a, a deep level of the back rooms. <laughs> oh god, this is so fucked. You're assuming people cut out the holes, but what if a perfectly rectangular creature simply walked through them? I love this 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 lore. Somewhat one of the brick people from All Tomorrows. <laughs> brick people. Fuck those brick people. Look at all the moisture in here, too, man. It's wet and wild in here, baby. Hey, it's got a pool. He comes with a pool, an indoor pool. How bougie is that? Dude, get your feet wet and none of the rest of you. What am I looking at? What is at? this? Dude, the perspective is all fucked. Like, you, you, you thought these were trees. Am I right? And this was an aerial photograph? Am I right? No, I, I see that it's But look at it angle. that way for a second. Okay, try to look at it that way for a second. Oh, I see it. Oh, dear. Isn't that fucked? Oh, you're <laughs> right. Like, it, it's like an FPS map. Again. Uh -huh. Yep. But, but I mean, okay, now that I have the perspective correctly, what the <laughs> f in God's name am I looking at? Bless you. I think that was uh, a sneeze. Was that uh, a sneeze? Thank you. What yeah. the fuck am I looking at? Fred, you know, I want you to know something, buddy. You have a pretty cute sneeze. Has anybody ever told you that before? What? No, I don't. You have a, a very cute, very cute sneeze. How Adorable it cute? sneeze. It's just, it's just cute. It's just a cute it. little, cute little, 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 cute little, like, twink sneeze. It was cute. It was cute. I, what? I have a, I didn't, twink. I didn't ever, I have, I thought it bottom. sounded more like a cough. It's a cute little twink bottom sneeze. Chat, right, chat? This is projection because that's what they say to me whenever I sneeze. So I'm just like, I'm, I'm just pushing, I'm just pushing that off onto you. You motherfucker, Chris, and so, don't you fucking dare. Someone, someone in chat goes, they added me and they're like, see, it's fun, right? <laughs> All right. Your so problem. again, I still have no idea what the fuck I'm looking at. I, I can't make any sense of this. I don't know what I don't know what that that is. I don't I know would. what it's supposed to be. I it's it's like a hatch that leads down into it. Maybe. Is anybody else getting really pissed off by the algo music, or can you not even hear it? I can't hear it. You're I, good. You're good. I'm asking chat. Yeah. Yep. I hate it. Oh, okay. I'm gonna change it to a different one. That sucks less, maybe. Algo music. I'm God. super over it. Can you give me the, the playlist that you were playing at your stream earlier? Because it sounded really, it sounded pretty good. Oh yeah, sure. Here. What was it? It I was Walking Dog, dog right? Yeah, they're fantastic. I'll, I'll put it on in, in a minute, guys. Okay, just fucking 
All right, I'm going to skip me, this because I can't figure out what the fuck like, that is. Give him penis music. This is my peep peep. 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 No, it's this is my peep peep. You made a Spotify playlist, you sick fuck? Yeah. Oh my god. Why can't I do that? Oh my god. I. Well, I can make a playlist on YouTube and just use that, right? Yeah, that's fine too. I, Fred, I don't have a, I, I don't have a fucking Spotify, Fred. Well, I okay. can't use this link. No. Okay, here. Uh, look up walking dog. Here, I'll, I'll give you the one that I. No, I got, I got it. Okay. Oh, they're making me log in on Spotify to use that link. Fuck you. Here, I've, I've got the album. I've got my favorite album of theirs. Here um, you go. There, YouTube link for the whole album. And that's okay. You need more, I will reload you. Uh, wait, you, no, I've because I've used this video. Are you sure this is the one that you were I, using in chat or in, that you were using in your stream oh, earlier, earlier today? Uh, like earlier today. Let me see. I mean, I've, I've used a, a bunch of different albums, but I'm thinking about which one it. Chat might will recognize this instantly. They'll be like, "No, turn it off. We heard it too many times." It? What did I? What did I start on? Chat's got fucking PTSD from the, from this playlist. Is it Dreamscapes? Here, I'll give up. you Dreamscape, and maybe that's okay. Like this is the GeoGuessr music, right? Uh, I have all the individual tracks. Do I? Is the album here? Here we go. Is it this one, maybe? I should have asked you right then and there what you were fucking listening to. Yeah, you should have. I would have answered. I don't know. We're, we're going to try this one out. We're going to try this playlist out. Guys, can you hear it? See, here's what freaks me out. What if Walking Dog one day is like, fuck all of you. I want, I want, fuck it. I'm claiming this music. Yeah. <laughs> and then he just claim, theory. he claim, he's going to claim hundreds of my fucking YouTube videos. GG. Yeah, no, th this music is all not DMCA. That, it that's was a trick. Points. Yeah, he that's could do a trick. Points. Yeah, but he will make it DMCA. Rules. He will make it DMCA. Well, one day he'll just change his mind. Be like, it's all DMCA now. Fuck you. Yeah, whoopsie daisy guess you're fucked is that how that works i don't know how that works all right so we got this listen, gross shed listen i know that's not how copyright works all that all it means oh you're saying you can't revoke public domain status i mean yeah tell that to the person who decides to claim it right like somebody just because else the legal it. system works a certain way doesn't mean that's how reality works that's why i really like the algo music because like there's no way you could that algo music sucks but there's no way it's untouchable you can never fuck with that yeah does that make sense like it's on it's on every everything else is touchable all that nintendo music one day nintendo can say fuck you and claim all my youtube videos you know that right yep that's fucking that i don't like that's scary guys i don't like that all right whatever shitty um shed you seeing this yeah what the fuck this is, this like is where, where they, you dump a body i was thinking this is where you like raise pigeons maybe you are so much more innocent than I am. This, this feels like a progressively created space, like algorithmically created. Mm -hmm. Like you go, you go through. You're like, hey, hey, I need. You you open up a program and you say, I need an a, a horror level, like, and I need these rooms to go out into forever. Into forever. I'm trying to make Early you louder. Right? Room? Yeah. He, he, th that music is not drowning him out, right, guys? I'm okay. Hello. Like you can hear, like it's it's not that loud. It's fine. Okay. You, you're sure because sometimes you say that shit and then afterwards I hear it and the audio balance is fucked. I'll give it a listen. Um, here I'll talk for a minute. Um.
dot 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 Try to relax your anus. Okay, that, that da, wasn't da, supposed da. to be that loud. Sorry. Da, did da, you relax da. your anus though? I did. You could lower it a pinch. That's the pinch right there. Um, Mike, turn it up. We can still hear you. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, th I mean, th this this is obviously. Um, this is so fucked. What was Very it strange. before it was like a a place where a person made LSD? Well, again, that was a fucking one guy and wasn't the truth. Oh, okay. But I think I, I wish that was true. We're we're trying to figure that out. Like we're trying to figure out what the fuck this place was before it became a six bedroom, five bathroom house. <laughs> <laughs> residential <laughs> property because Tox that's what it is now okay like i like toxiglossin's explanation it's where they manufacture osha violations this is where they come from it's a fixer up I, I imagine like a 1930s instructional video like have you ever wondered where your or i guess it needs to be more muffled have you ever wondered where your osha violations come from and there's like saxophone music that sounds like shit on well on we're recording. gonna we're gonna tell you you gotta do like a little bit more of like a like a like a vault boy type of a thing you know right um you this this is like this is the property that you give to a an agent underneath you that you just want gone right right like, this fuck is you like we're, i'm gonna get rid of you one way or another like this is not an at will state and so i'm gonna give you the shittiest place you're never going to be able to sell it and i'll be able to fire you because of it evil but yes like they shouldn't even have took the listing in the first place realistically because what the fuck i mean they didn't no, they, sell they it they have to they never they never sold it obviously it's off the you know market what? This is POV. You're about to use your Terraria elevator. Right. Oh boy. Man, imagine all the opportunities to get tetanus in here. Right? Yeah, I just looking at this makes me want multiple vaccinations. This is where you like, could keep your um your victims, yeah. Chain them to that pipe. They ain't gonna escape. Yeah. You, Anybody who those... did purchase this place would have to be investigated by the feds, I think. For like a period monitored. of time after buying it. Monitored, yeah. Mon monitored. Constantly. Because like, what's appealing about this to you? What are you gonna do? You're either gonna fucking make drugs here, or you're gonna use it as a fucking, like, prison for your victims. Right, you you don't human things. trafficking or or drugs or like. I'm I'm sorry. There's no way you're gonna turn this into a halfway decent domicile. This is where I come to role play Fallout. Right, right, right. It would be a pretty rad place to play like airsoft or something. Somebody but... said paintball, which was like fuck yes. Yeah, I, we we went to the same place at the same time. Yeah. What is that? This is like the trash compactor. R2, help <laughs> us, please. R2, help us. I want to know what R2! this place was for. Yeah, but I mean, like, maybe we could figure it out by looking at it. So, I actually... This is a Metroid Prime stage. Dude, this is where Holy Samus shit, goes through right. the, as a morph ball. You got a morph <laughs> ball through here? Yeah. Oh my God, you're right. Oh shit. I and and then she like drops a bomb at the end to pop out the, yeah. the panel. One of one of these is destructible, yeah. Yeah. I this okay. When I was growing up, there was a space that was undeveloped for over a decade, right? They not touched for forever and it had just grown and there was a wall around it and like was it there a build there was rampant. a build was there a building on the property or no, it was no building never okay none at all okay nothing 
I remember thinking to myself, I want to film something here. Okay. And I just never did growing up. I went back and they started development and it's like, oh, damn it. Never got to. Never. Yeah. But like, I see a place like this and I'm like, I want to film something here. I you don't a know script? what. No, I just, I would write a script for the location. Maybe we could call this place and ask him and ask him if we could like rent it out for a week or something. Hey, good luck I, not dying here, though. Right, <laughs> good luck yeah. not falling through the fucking floor and actually dying. I think it would be really fun to get an actor and there be no story. Just get shots of a person existing in this. Were you David Lynch? Like, not not playing, just existing. Like maybe they're dangling their feet off of the edge there. I bet you I could I could sell this house to house i'm doing bunny to ears with my lynch, fingers yeah. i could david lynch would buy this but i could buy i could actually sell mm. this to anybody in chat with two words right now ready chat come pipe sold you lay on your back right here and you go and you just put your mouth on that come pipe Look you at the drips. On, you see the drip? Someone the on the other end. We're, we are taking glory holes to a whole new level. <laughs> come pipe. Come pipe. Come pipe. You get... No, this would be a place where you could sell, like, post-apocalyptic themed whores. Whores? Yeah, if, if, you're, if you're a pimp, right? You oh, know, yeah. Like, yeah. Pimping for an entire new generation. A Fallout like, themed. You remember Fallout? Um, uh, whorehouse, bro. Have you ever wanted tetanus after? <laughs> oh, that's attractive. Is this one of the bathrooms? Not bad. Fallout themed BJ. <laughs> <laughs> Vault 69, stop. Um, All right, well, we're getting to the end of the listing here. I don't what this is like where you make rotisserie chicken. What like is they, this? Place? Like, like they, they they just like they swivel in there, you know what I mean? Like there's the spits. Yes, no, I I see it. This had to have you been shit a down silo, here. right? This is like, one of the we, bathrooms. You just you squat here and sh and shit down that hole. Mhm. Mm 100%. You think it's a missile silo? I mean, what else is it, dude? What else could it be? Yeah, I have no idea. We're going to find out. Ready? Um, yeah, I'm ready. There's comparable no... Comparable homes. What do they mean, comparable homes? Hold on. They're, they're, scroll up. Com like, Alto uh, Altona. Um, how, are, how are regular middle-class homes comparable? They're comparing it to, like... Sandy Bay, which is like here. <laughs> How are they getting away with this, man? It's just automatic, I think, based on certain metrics. How it's got it? Yeah, it's got to be automated. It, it, it's got to be. Yeah. Okay, I, I want to um, learn. Owner the, options overview. Oh, here we go. Um, shit. I, I've got this covered. Atlas missile silos are a rare piece of real estate in this world. The silo structure took hundreds of millions of dollars to build in the 1960s. This one is unique as the concept. Wait, concept? Concept hut, original concept. storage building, has been converted into a residence. The property is about 8.7 acres and has a 7 foot chain link fence with gate. Yeah, but how old is it? How much of it's functional as a fucking gate anymore, you know? Inside the silo, it has most of the steel superstructures that many of the other silos do not have. If a family wants to have a place safe from any man-made or natural disasters, what, this okay. is the place to be. Only a half day's drive from many major cities in the northeast or land your helicopter on the reinforced cement <laughs> slab. All this on the northern tip of the Adirondacks. Uh huh. All right. Land your helicopter on the cement slab. <laughs> That's what a pitch, huh? Wow. Um, Only half a day's drive away from anywhere. It is a missile silo. What do you think was the episode where somebody had to laser cut through a fucking vault door? 
Like, what happened? Was it going to be like a radiological fucking emergency? Like, was it a fucking crisis? Right. That, what happened? That remains unanswered because that door was cut through. Like, what Why? the fuck happened here, dude? Because what? it was rusted oh, shut. rusted shut. Could have been. Okay. It could be that simple. Yeah, maybe it is. Yeah. Yeah, or... Here's the part they don't tell you. There's still a missile down there that's going to get launched one day while you're taking a shit. It's going to get launched straight up your ass. And you're going to be fucking... <laughs> Flying across the Atlantic on an ICBM, like, lodged in your asshole? Mike, I have a question. The toilet- flushing the toilet launches it by accident, yeah. <laughs> flushing no, the no, toilet the, the launches it. The missile is for launching the shit out of your new home. Okay, best. Best. <laughs> like, any time you want to empty the septic tank, you have to launch a missile at Russia. So this is way up there near, like, Niagara Falls, basically, right? Right. Near Montreal. Oh, so it's, it, no, it's, it's more up, like, north more, like, if it's near Montreal. Okay. That's, like, way, way, way the fuck up there. Um. Biological warfare. I, I don't, I, but again, like, okay, so, so, so let, let, let's look at this, like, as rationally as possible, okay? Okay. You are a a fucking doomsday prepper guy. Sure. Yeah. You see this property, you're like, okay, fucking ri um missile silo. That looks safe. Which, mm -hmm. by the way, it's it, it's not a it's not a bunker to like ride out, you know, a nuclear war or something. That that it, was related to my question. That's not on. what the, that's not what this is. This is where a nuke gets launched from. Yeah. So th this or this is not necessarily going to keep you safe. That might be the, that might be why it never sold because you got plenty of, of of people like this that would be interested in something like this. Your ironically, your missile silo house would probably still be a target. If anything, they would want to launch a nuke directly at this building preemptively. So like you're less safe probably. if you own this if you live here. Now let let's let's also. New York would be a hot nuclear target. Well, th this is way upstate New York, so this is not anywhere near New York City. So theoretically, if they wanted to nuke New York City, you're going to theoretically survive that because you're nowhere near it. But again, look look on a map where this place is compared to where New it's very far from New York City, even though it is in the same state technically. But let's say you buy this place and you want to make it a home for your family because you did deluded yourself into believing that it would be safe or even saying that well, none of that was true. What the fuck are you going to do to turn this into a home? How are you going to turn this into a livable space for a family? Seriously, well, how? You, you just got to give it a little bit of elbow grease. Little bit of elbow grease and TLC. I'm Mike Rowe and this is Dirty Jobs. I just imagine like the kids are up like some kids upbringing being whenever like school is out for the summer, they get sent down into the pit. <laughs> and they have to like clean it and try to get it livable. I've watched HGTV. I can fix it. You just need a little yeah. bit of WD forty. You're gonna have to fucking use a paint roller to like uh, like you to cover this entire place in WD forty. <laughs> yeah, like the the kid goes to the doctor like after getting like a tetanus shot so they yeah. can work down in here, and the kid is like, Daddy. The, the doctor said I'm iron deficient. Well, good thing you're going down there. Lick the walls, son. <laughs> so what did you say? Grover silo. <laughs> See, how the so, fuck are you going to turn this into... Where were the bathrooms, by the way? And are they going to even be functional? Mike, Dude, this would take so much work. The, bathroom. the entire place is the bathroom. To make this livable like it would not be ev it would not ever be worth right it would not ever be worth it to try to make this place livable because if you're going to spend a quarter of a million dollars just to own it you're going to spend millions probably making it into a livable space yes like this and that's and that's why i wanted to ask you mike let's suppose this actually does survive a nuclear war you are stuck down in here which is the better fate Having died up on the surface or having to live in here for the rest of your life? Died on the surface. I, I don't blame you. 
Hey, Zach, there was no hesitation. There was no hesitation. Madonna bought a mansion near Lisbon. That sounds cool as hell. Um, yeah, die die on the surface. Uh, someone in chat said the first thing you want to do is pick fifty different wallpapers that don't look like e that don't match or look like each other at all, right? Right. Um, hold on a minute. Um, yeah, I don't. I hold on. There was something in chat I wanted to I wanted to address, and I like okay. I I lost it. Fuck. I'm. God, just imagine an existence being rust colored. Let like me this. let me ask you this. I just remember it wasn't in chat. It was just related to something I, I saw in chat. I guess. Um, okay. So I was because somebody in chat said, "Looks like they listed this to cash in on COVID, right?" Because everybody was freaking out, especially in the beginning oh, of COVID, right? And then you had people being like, yeah. like really freaking out. Like you had, for example, dude very very wealthy new yorkers like upper east side fucking like levels of wealth that you and i can't even fathom right okay can't even can't even can't even fucking fathom how much money these people have that when the pandemic started they were like oh no we have to escape manhattan let's just buy a house in the hamptons because we can right yeah and then doing that that was a valid strat my question is who the fuck owned this to be able to try to do this? Like, it was a missile silo. Wasn't it owned by the government? Wasn't it owned by the feds? I think we talked about this a while ago. They sold a lot of them off. Ah, oh, they sold them off. Who the fuck would buy this? I don't fucking know. Like, like who the fuck would buy would buy this, right? And it, like, when it, whenever you're selling something like this, you're you're crossing your, your fingers for an eccentric. Like just someone right, you here. you need a freak. Yeah, you need a freak. Obviously, you need a freak. freak. Yeah, you need you need a, a a fucking freak to come buy this fucking thing, and you're not gonna find a normal, rational person buying this. No. Because again, like I think I think most rational people, even if they were rational people with a lot of money, would look at a fucking like like a doomsday prep um proposition, mm -hmm. and 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 say to you, I'd rather die. Like obviously it's yeah. time to die. Like like what the fuck? Like what am I? I'm gonna I'm gonna cling to life in a hole for for top six months after the nuclear war. Right, like a rust you're not making sense. You're not make you're not making sense, right? Like you're not making sense. Like it's time to die. Like I'm not I'm not gonna fucking you know. And you you've seen you've seen like the the fucking like the New Zealand bunkers, right? The New Zealand like mega bunkers where they're like fucking underground mansions. Some of these we get we gotta yeah. look at we gotta look at those on, on, on remember, one of these streams. Remember when we looked at the the prepper, like the millionaire prepper, the person with tons of money, who got a like who built an underground bunker for a nuclear war and made sure to include a stripper pole? <laughs> right there. I've never forgotten that. And we were talking about like he's gonna find ghouls on the overworld, like to come down there and strip for him. Like remember the right. the ghoul strippers from fucking uh, from New Vegas? Yeah. Like he's gonna get the ghoul strippers. <laughs> the one with the underground yard. Yeah, he was in Las Vegas and he had that underground like um outside like he painted the, he painted the ceiling to look like the sky and everything and he made like a miniature he made like another house like in the inside the bait like in the basement it felt and had like a backyard like a, in the basement it was insane it was insane it, it felt less like a comfortable place to live and more like an adult child's play place yeah which i think realistically is what it was it realistically I that's think, what it I, is. I think yeah. that, i think yeah. this person knew that they weren't going to survive down there no. if anything happened no they just figured you know what it was I'll, fucking bring man my, I'll bring my golf buddies over because money it's pit man cave golf buddies fucking it was a money pit man cave for that guy that was a hobby for him to build that thing yeah the man child cave yes um there's our bosa profile pictures to buy with silver coins on the switch online apple i know i'm going to be doing that um you want to look at another list yeah let's go i'm ready okay next one is Actually, the next one's a fucking doozy. 
All right, we're, we're good. Okay, okay, okay. No, no, the, okay. The, 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 ne- the next one could very well take the rest of the stream. Okay, so here's yeah. what I'm going to say. I'm going to get up. I'm going to make another cup of tea in that case. Okay, yeah. This is the this is the time to do that. Yeah, I'm I'm going to stretch myself. I'm, this is that moment. I, I am having some of that delicious um, 18-year-old yeah. who air. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get some I'm going to get me some more of that. It's it's the taste of the downfall of earth. I'll be right back. It's shit. Right. Here I go. Woo. All right, got some oop. Lauren taking a little nappy. He's taking a nappy. He's taking a nappy. And then when he comes back, I might have to uh, I might have to piss. Do I remember the name of the prepper? You do want to see that real estate listing, but uh, there's no way. Maybe one of you knows which VOD that is on the U- on the YouTube full, full stream channel. Which, by the way, I'm going to take a moment to shill because it's 11 o'clock at this time. I would love to thank everybody for being here tonight. You guys are wonderful. Thank you so much for watching and supporting. Again, some of you are maybe getting confused thinking I'm ending the stream. I'm not. I just want to say thank you for being here. And thank you for watching the streams, guys. Thank you for um, the financial support as well. Again, at the end of the stream, I'm going to thank everybody who subbed, resubbed, gift subbed or donated bits i'm going to thank everybody individually guys i appreciate that so much i'm going to call out i'm going to shout out every name tonight when we're done streaming so thank you and um if you are new to the channel i implore you to check out the links in the chat you're going to find my twitter and my tiktok if you're into that um you're going to find the links to my three youtube channels one of which was just being discussed of course, the full stream channel, which where you will find if you are enjoying this content, there is hours and hours and hours and hours of me and Fred doing this on that YouTube channel. Holy shit. Um, so you could just go absolutely ham there if you like this shit. Um, also, if you want to support in some other ways, you can find links to my Kofa, Kof, coffee. I still not sure how to pronounce that in my Patreon um, link in the chat. Uh, peruse that um, we do whatchamacallum, um, polls for what the next playthrough is going to be. So, um, check it out. End of stream voice. I'm not ending the stream. And your grinder also. No, no, no grinder, guys. No grinder. Um, these, the state streams are my favorite thing that you do with Fred. Yes. Um, I'm hoping we get to do more. We, we get to do more of it. I mean, yeah, it, it's hard for me and Fred to coordinate. Um, we have a lot of shit going on in, independently in, in our lives, but it, it's always a pleasure to be able to get to do this together because he's a good lad. Uh, Seamus with the bits, thank you so much. Happy to see you and Fred look at freak properties. Guys, look at this, look at this freak over here. I just... Poke. 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 My flames got activated, apparently. There it is. Okay. Uh, oh. Is that Fred singing in the background, or is that one of the tracks on this playlist? You heard that, right? Holy shit, he's such a bottom. What the fuck? Dude, he's such a fucking bottom. Oh my god. <laughs> he's gonna be embarrassed. Like, he should have turned his fucking microphone off. But it's not my fault. <laughs> he might turn his microphone off. He's such a <laughs> He's such a shameless freak. Oh my god. Poke 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 Yeah, now this is happening. Yeah. 
イエーイエーイエーイエーイエーイエーイエーイエーイエーイエーイエーイエーイエーイエーイエーイエーイエーイエーイエーイエーイエーイエーイエーよし、よし、よし、よし、よし、よし、よし、よし、よし、よし、よし、よし、Monk pissed tape. My radio. Oh, fuck. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mute my mic. By the way, guys, if you don't know Fred, um, because I just did the whole thing where I like chilled the channel. If you don't know Fred, um,、oh. please, please,、uh, acquaint yourself with him. He's a great, great lad. And he's on, um, he's on YouTube as Frederick Knudsen, where he does the Down the Rabbit Hole series, of course. He also streams on Twitch. You can find him at the same name. And, um, he does, he's just a very, very industrious individual. Um, I, hi, I, I make down the rabbit hole. You can find、um, his, there's links to all his shit in the chat. Check out his shit. Sorry,、guys. I'm, I'm a little embarrassed about not muting my mic. Oh, what are you talking about? People are saying they were hearing me. No,、I'm、nobody heard anything,、that. buddy. No, no, one heard any, no one heard anything. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> no, we liked it. It was、uh, nice. No, it was, it, was, it was good. No, it was good. We all liked it. We, 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 all, we all enjoyed it. Okay. I'm just embarrassed now. Fuck. Yeah, that was actually the sound of me pissing. <laughs> I piss melodically. <laughs> It's a talent. Yeah, they're going to make a big deal out of it. I, I made a joke saying that you sounded like a bottom, and now they're all fucking. They're not going to let the. We're, we can't continue the stream until it's addressed. Bo bottom singing? Yeah, I don't fucking know. I was just a con. It was just fucking. Throwaway、Seems、comment. like a bottom. Um, Fred, I actually have to piss too. Um, okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. And, um, you could just hang out with them and, and, and tell them about, um, tell them about the video you're, you're working on for a minute.、Uh, okay. All right. Yeah. yeah sure. Um,、okay. I'm finishing up right now,、uh, the script for a video on Eve Online. So that's a thing. It's, Estimated to be over five hours when it's finished. That's the plan. That's why it's taken so long to finish.、Um, sorry for anyone that was waiting for it and been waiting for, waiting for it for a while. It's just been a lot and it's very complicated. Yeah, it, it, it's a lot. Aiming for December release. Yeah, that's the goal. That, that's like before the end of the year. That, that is the goal. It's just kind of. We've had to drag out, drag out production. How does it fit into the Down the Rabbit Hole cinematic universe? It's going to be the big one. It's going to be the round mound of pound. I. Oh, I also stream.、Um, Mike shilled me.、Um, follow. Me, Lamau. There. <laughs> There I am in chat. If, if you so desire, I do my own streams where I look at peculiar things. That, that's, the best, that's the best way I can describe it. <laughs>、uh, today I looked at terrible AI art.、Uh, Thursday, I, so I, I stream Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday at 10 a.m. Pacific for about three hours at a time. So I can rarely keep myself to three hours.、Hmm. If, if any of you are curious,、um, I mentioned before that I did、um, competitive game casting before,、um, I, before I did Down the Rabbit Hole, and I'm getting pulled back in to do Guns of Icarus.、Uh, th there's still a small community that scrims and plays against one another. And、um, I'm going to be on the official Muse Games Twitch. If you are curious, I'll, I'll link it tomorrow. I'll, I'll link it on my Twitter if you so desire to see it. 
that's kind of my plan. And then Monday, if any of you are curious, um, Monday I'm going to be doing a special stream uh, starting at about 3 p.m. Pacific time where I read a bunch of classics from Edgar Allan Poe to celebrate Halloween. Uh, hi. Hold on. I'll accompany you. Wow, people sure sound like cucks when they forget to mute their microphones. Hey, I'm back. Hi. What's Here, up? I'll, I'll, I'll accompany you. What the fuck is that? It's a kalimba. Beautiful. Thank you. Wow, it's a good thing that you weren't actually singing, or else you would have sounded like an asshole. No. Mm. Got him. That would have been embarrassing. Got him. Yeah, that, that would have been embarrassing if you'd have done that. Boy, I'm, I'm glad that I never do shit like that. It was nice. We all actually enjoyed it quite, quite a lot. It was very nice. Oh, I it probably sounded terrible off in the distance. I'm sorry. Um, what, um, the fuck? I had something, like, I want to come back up here and, like, talk to you about something, but I got so distracted that I can't remember what the fuck, um, whatever. Um, we got more real estate listings. You want to look I'm at ready, another one? I'm ready. Yeah, we, I, we don't worry about forgetting something you wanted to say because we are not at a loss for content. Like, I, I think that this one is going to be kind of a doozy. You know, like a doozy. Like, we could close the night out with this one because I think we're going to be here. We're going to be... I think we're going to spend... We're going to spend a while on it. Um, if it's the one that I, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, let's just dive into it. Um, mm -hmm. I'm ready. From... Yeah. Jesus. Six Ten million dollars. Tenino, Washington. We have a... Six million dollar property. Oh, this is um, like one of those asshole pools. It is, is that what that is, you think? You it, think that's just a pool? non standard pool shape because they want to feel special. You think it's a pool? Holy fuck, it's not a pool. Mm hmm. Is that a fucking, like, mini golf course section? What is that supposed to be? You have no fucking idea what's gonna go- what's going on here, dude. No, I don't. Men Menino, Washington? Ten Tenino, Washington. Tenino, Washington. I, I, I feel mean, the, like the, this the is- be beautiful, beautiful area. Like, look at that forest. It has, like, Silicon Valley energy to me. It does, like, yeah. Like, like, some fucking, like, tech jerk-off, like, built this. Uh, yeah, this is, got, like, early Vermilion Sands, if anyone knows what I'm talking about. Only three bedrooms, four bathrooms. This is, uh, 7,300 square feet. I Am Seanic is from that part of Washington. They said it's very boring here. Okay. Uh, it looks... Yeah, I mean, like in a, in a, in a nice way, like it's like relaxing. All I see is a giant to toilet, like the like the Guggenheim Museum in New York. We have that giant toilet building, right? Um, what are your first impressions of this? Do you like it? It it looks like. It looks like a biographic movie would be shot here for like some asshole celebrity who later is like outed as a kid diddler. Is there a specific person you're talking about? No, no, nobody in specific. It's just. It, it looks like it looks like it's supposed to look like it's rich, like the person who owns it is rich. Mm -hmm. 
It's a yacht on land. It's a land yacht. A land yacht. I think they were going for either like a kind of a sailboat look or they were going for like a spaceship even. Yeah, it's supposed to be modern, like very modern. Very so modern, like honestly too modern for angles like these people hated corners like there is a there is a, a a fanatical hatred of angles and corners happening are you seeing that everywhere except the roof that's the one exception and i mean it's like a, there's some but like it's a it long house weirdly round yeah it's like elongated everything about it is elongated ready mm -hmm. dude they got those now, circular look, windows. Now, he, he, here's what I'm saying, you guys. Now, he, I, I feel like there's a point that needs to be made here. If I was given this house for free, you'd love I'd it. You live, live in here. It. Sure, of course. I would live here, no question. Of course, you would. We all, we all would. Everybody yeah. here would do that. Yeah. I don't care I if, they, if you say no, six, you're lying. Yeah, I would not pay six million dollars for it. Dude, I don't even think like, like, okay, I don't know. And I don't know anything about real estate. I, I haven't had a real estate license in many, many years, even though I did that no way qualifies me to that. I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. I failed at real estate. Okay. Obviously I wasn't good at it, but no, this is not worth $6 million. Probably not. Like it just isn't like, like, look at it. How are you asking $6 million for this? And by the way, it's been on the market for like, I think like years. I believe it. Like, I'm sorry, it's not worth that. Like, it's not even that big. Like, I feel like that's not... All right, 7,300 square feet is including the property. Right. Right? It's not It's not just the house, right? No, because right. square footage means... means the That means the house. Okay. You can see why I didn't become a real estate agent after all. Yeah, yeah. Washington real estate agent is... Ex uh, real estate is expensive. Um, I mean, I just don't care where the fuck this house is. I would never pay $6 million for this house. This is it's insanity. Look at the entrance, how it's got this... I think it's like grapevines, like um, lattice over it. I think those yeah. are grapevines. It's vines of some sort. Could be um, wisteria. Wisteria. I think this is an Olympic swimming pool. Oh, is it? I believe so. Like, we're going like, to find out. Okay. Um, here's a little, it looks like a fountain, dude. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. What is this? What is the water doing over here? Waterfall feature. Is that what that looks like, though? Probably. Kind of weird. Wait, are you saying that this is like plastic or something? M maybe. I don't know. That looks weird to me. I don't know. There's something weird about that. You can already tell what it's going to be like inside if you look at these chairs. Oh. Um, God and yeah, the color on the walls. Um. Yeah, so it's an it's an Olympic sized swimming pool. These okay, I'm be real with you. Mm -hmm. This structure that's built over this is actually fucking awesome. You know why? Tell me. Oh, do those lift up? Yeah. Nice. Okay, that is cool. And then they close, meaning that you can swim in this pool year round. Yeah, that's awesome. This okay, is a, no, that's rad. That, could that, no, that's fucking cool. That's a great idea. Um, I mean, like, obviously, the, the the person who maybe not lives here now, but the person who designed this house, um, did it because they are they are a fucking professional a swimmer. swimmer. They swim. Yeah, or or like, at least they like they they are an enthusiast. They like it. So, I mean, that's what this pool is. This is a pool where you just do laps back and forth. Like, this is not a pool where you hang out and have beers, like, with your friends or something. No. You know? But, um, I mean, the yeah. idea that, like, in the, in the summer, you open all of these. Yeah. And then that's awesome. in the winter, you close it. And I guess this is heated inside. So, you could fucking be doing laps in this pool, like, back and forth in, like, the dead of winter, where it's, like, yeah, fucking you, snow you, you outside. You can see that they have hydraulic systems to Yeah, help that's, what, that's what that is. Yeah. Yeah. It's sort of like, not like electronic, I don't think. I think that they're hydraulic in the sense that your car's re like hatch back is, 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 uh, yeah, trun a trunks. Thing. Yeah, trunk. 
this thing's actually amazing. Uh, this is amazing. Yeah, I mean, that's the fucking Mega oh, Five yeah, K was on the wired. swim team and was saying that this is their dream pool. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, and yeah, being able to go in a pool year round. If I mean, like, okay, if you're from like Florida or like the South or like Texas or something, you're probably like used used to that. Or like Arizona in the Southwest, you're like whatever. I that's not a thing. But like, dude, where I'm from, if you have a pool, and and probably like I don't. I mean, I don't know exactly where you're from, Fred, but like, people here who have pools get to go in them for I think, if you're lucky, three months out of the year, right. And then like the rest of the time, you the rest of the year you don't have a pool. Mm -hmm. You just don't have one. Like, imagine that, because that's a huge, like, a huge feature of a fucking property is having a pool. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then that's like, like, just you only get to actually use it for like three months out of the year. It's kind of lame. Um, but not if you have something like that, I guess. Yeah. You. It's and yeah, it would be expensive. But you're, it would be you're expensive. Six but million you've already house. spent again. You've already spent six million dollars on a fucking house, right? Um, but yeah, I don't, I'm not quite sure what this, what this shit is over here. Like you thought this was a pool, Fred, but I can't look, fucking figure out what the fuck. like a pool. I like would like water, to. Water, it's at least a water feature. Get in here and find out what, it's probably some kind of bougie fountain bullshit. Aerial view. Apparently this photo was taken from fucking space. What the fuck is that Uzumaki spiral happening on the right? Like, yeah, well, that, I, makes, that <laughs> makes me feel, that makes me feel like this is the beginning of real life Uzumaki. It's like odd. The spirals are infecting Washington. Dude, is all of this part of the property? It has to be. It has to be. Seven so stage, I know that Uzumaki means spiral. Yes, I know. I'm referring to the story. He's referring to the specific Junji Ito. You yeah. know what I mean. So, dude, I think for the... Okay, so here's what I... For the six million, this all has to be yours. Got, All of this has to be yours for six million, dude. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't it has know. to be. It has to be. What's this, by the way? We're gonna find out. I hope. But let's hopefully find out. Yeah. It's a. It's like a hedge maze or something. Is it, it's such a bizarre a fucking garden? property. Yeah, Fred. Look at look at the landscaping. You were you were the Uzumaki. It's raised. Oh my God. What the. Fuck? A graveyard for the owner's victims. <laughs> Some haphazardly placed solar panels out here, also on top of the building. They probably get a lot what? less solar, solar, and they probably get a lot less mileage out of that. Why would you put the solar panels underneath a bunch of trees instead of out in the open? When they decided they were going to sell this, they fucking hired a guy and his, and his helicopter to fly around and take pictures of this. Oh yeah, no, you you can hire people who like they them. hired a guy and fucking with the helicopter. Dumpy. Up, oh, uh, stream band. Did what you... is this? What is this doing here? Like, did know, they man. just randomly plop this statue out in the middle of? I mean, that is a that I I think that's a nice view. Like personally, I, I like that. It is. It's beautiful. I think it's beautiful. It's a it's he... a nice it's a good statue. Fred, this is glass. Look. Yeah, it's. I figured that's what it was. This is another angle on that front entrance, which does look nice. So you go through here, and there's a little you, you path that you walk through, and then you go up these stairs. What the fuck? My first thought is that Fred a coochie. Yep. <laughs> yep. Coochie room. Interior designer Georgia O'Keefe. Georgia O'Keefe. That's a coochie. That's yeah, a coochie. No, that that this is perhaps it, Welcome it to the coochie to room. Purposeful. No, this is like Welcome to the pussy yonic. parlor. The pu the pussy parlor. <laughs> Yannick. Yeah. Got to go fast. And eat pussy. Yep, click. Yeah. yeah. Yannick the Vagehog. Yannick the Vagehog. I know. I know. <laughs> 
Yannick the he- Yannick the Vaghog? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Yannick the Vaghog, bro. Look at the fireplace. Even a lot in it. That like all of it, all of it is v- v- Gucci. Like do you just sit, you just sit here and you look at each other. Like like your guests sit here, you sit here, you look at each other and talk about vagina. Yeah, all day. No, hundred percent. All fucking day yeah. long. And honestly, I'm here for that. Best. <laughs> best. Yeah, right. That's I, best. I think that's I think that's why this whole house is curved. I think that this house actually is vagina themed. What's Holy giving it away? Shit, the pink, the pink e- walls. That explains every what? aspect of this house so far. You have okay, like the how? oval. You have the overall shape of the house. The oh my god, it's all based around coochie and and that spiral <laughs> hill. That's a titty. That's a titty, huh? That's okay. a titty. I think maybe the building could be like a tampon potentially. Like if seen from space, like let me see the space view. Yeah, like that could be a tampon, perhaps. Like it, it's an injector, or like a, maybe an IUD. <laughs> Fucking stupid. Okay, so this is the pussy palace. Th- this revealed. absolutely, yeah. The, the the pussy palace is correct. You 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 see these vents up here? Yeah. They um periodically release um a pussy odor into the into the room. Oh, is there a goop? candle inside <laughs> each of them they periodically spritz out like a goop mist from time to time mm-hmm. a goop mist a, a misting a spritzing D- mike i have a question for you yeah do you think that some women bought gwyneth paltrow's pussy candle yeah lit it smelled it and started getting concerned because their pussy didn't smell like that. Yes. Like, what's wrong with me? Is there yes. something wrong with me? Y- you you think that Gwyneth Paltrow just caused a bunch of anxiety? And then people, um, and then researchers, uh, and, and um, y- y- you know, like like contact tracers and stuff, all that stuff. They mm. started using that as a metric to predict COVID outbreaks. Yeah. <laughs> People who are secure. How come my pussy doesn't smell like Gwyneth Paltrow's? Well, that could be a um, that could be a COVID scenario. Um, pretty stupid. Uh, So here's another angle on the pussy um the pussy palace right here. I'm. Yep. The, it's it's the curvature. The curvature I think is supposed Absolutely. to mirror the, the curvature of a of a woman's body and or pussy. The uh table here, the coffee table, mm-hmm. is meant to it's the centerpiece of the room and it definitely evokes um some nasty majesty. Seventh. I'm not I'm not mm-hmm. putting the song on right now. <laughs> we all know what the song sounds like. Yes. Um and then like it it's it's almost as if like okay the coffee table and the chairs were designed as part of a set to be yannick with each other yes or like or they were specially made custom this person commissioned this furniture this furniture alone and the furniture in this room i'm willing to bet accounts for one million dollars of the house's value like yeah but that's not how okay that's not how real estate works, though. You know that, right? Yeah. Like, you're not selling the fucking furniture. And you definitely can't say, well, the furniture comes with the house, so I'll tack it on to the sale price. No, the furniture is coming with you. Like, I, it's not a thing. I, right? I, I feel like this house or you sell it to them separately around this furniture, though. You, you, you think so? Yeah. Right, let's I, see if you I, still think that as we move forward. Okay, okay. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of interesting things in, in in this house, man. Yeah, there's a lot. I remember actually when the person first sent this to me, I I looked at this myself for like a good 20, 30 minutes because I was like, what the fuck? That's why I told you I was like, this one's gonna be like all night, you know. Um, what's this? It's it's for keeping your man in. Well, I think that's a wind, dude. This, I'm telling you, there's so much like inexplicable shit in this house. 
a corner window and your view is like another wall of the house and the f and the floor and the ground outside what it looks like a lizard exhibit at a zoo <laughs> it's yeah, like a terrarium no, yeah a terrarium yeah, that, that, that was the point i was making except like this is a a women's empowerment house and that's where you keep the man slave <laughs> Hot. All right. This fireplace looks like an an eye of like like a character. An different, eye Dan, like... different Dan says, uh, "This is Vex's Animal Crossing house perspective window." <laughs> yeah. That you got this curved wall separate. The Gone. video is amazing. Notice, by the way, what the walls are all made out of. Solidified pussy juice. It's solid marble, my dude. Is that actually marble? Look at it. What else is that? That's insane. Maybe, maybe it could be granite. It's stone, dude. I don't know. It's, it's... I mean, I need you to think about this for a fucking second. No, it's not concrete. If it's not fucking in, entirely carved out of marble or something, mm -hmm. it's got a... F like like a layer of marble around it which is still insane and means that all of that marble had to be cut custom for this building does that make sense yeah and because there's so much custom stuff that's why i'm saying like this is this house was the the furniture was designed custom as well that's what i'm saying that's like, how... no, that i mean that's likely um what do you think about this kitchen Look at the fucking... This is a refrigerator, Fred. It's got marble doors. Custom. It does. To match the rest of the kitchen. I mean, it's gorgeous. I mean, you kind of like it, right? Yeah. Dude, I it's like okay it. to like I'm this. Guy, don't don't let chat do the thing where, like, you're not allowed to like it because that... Because fucking... Because they're communists or something. If you like it, you like it, okay? It's fine. Don't be ashamed. Okay, like, don't let I, chat don't let chat shame you into not liking something that's cool. Okay? Fuck them. May, that maybe used to happen. I I don't do that anymore. No, I don't give a fuck. This looks nice. I mean like it's still fucking weird. And again, I would never pay 6 million dollars for a fucking house. I don't care what it looked like. But I it's kind of but but you have to admit it's cool. You have to admit it's cool. The entire time you're making breakfast, you're looking at the coochie room, but you know. Sacrifices. It's cool but not cozy. Yeah. But it's also got like goop goop holes up here too, goop so holes, yeah. best. Custom light fixtures to be Yannick. Um a Yannick pillar with some outlets on it. Check out the um again the Yannick counter and check out these chairs that slide under the counter, dude. Yeah, they're like made for it. They're perfectly sized. Like what? Here's where the oven is, dude. Kind of cool. Put it well. It's like an airport. It's not a house you live in. It's a house you <laughs> stay in between business trips. Yeah. Right. Okay. Oh, I'm getting a taste it's kind of, of what's sterile. coming in that next room. Yup. This is going to get weird, isn't it? Yes. This is also a pussy table, by the way. Like, this is a pussy kitchen. Uh-huh. Of course. Uh, this is less pussy. Here's your dining room. That no, opens you out. Lean, you have to lean back into a pussy. Oh, yeah. Pussy chairs. Yeah. You know what I would... If I was a kid... A child Child Mike would run around while everybody was eating at this table and, and poke them in, like, their fucking spine to be oh, annoying. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't be able oh, yeah. to, to resist that. The room also is shaped. Yeah, the room is pussy like is pussy shape. is pussy yeah, shaped. Everything in this house is that shape. That's why it looks elongated. La casa de Vagogo. <laughs> Stop. Like they had to they had to do that. It was a matter of necessity. If all the fucking rooms were gonna be vagina shaped, then the whole house had to be elongated, right? Um, bougie chandelier, not very vagtastic, but bougie nonetheless. Probably fucking prob probably costs more than like t what I make in like th fucking five years or something. Um, yep. what do you think of the wood out here? It's nice. I think it's fine. I think chandelier it's fine. more than my net worth. Ah, uh, yes, sleep in a pussy-shaped room. 
I mean, imagine like your bed in here. You know what you might, you would probably, probably need like a pussy shaped bed. You would. And you honestly. would have to put it in the middle of the room. You wouldn't be able to put it up against the wall or something. You like sleeping in a pussy shaped bed? I do. And I'm tired of pretending like I don't. <laughs> what is this light fixture? Yeah, the floor got cracked somehow. Interesting. Yeah. Somebody it's, had a lot of shit looks, on the walls in here. It looks What's like this? It's con that floor looks like it's concrete. That, yeah, it does. What's this? That looks like it could be a safe. The floor is hatching. It is eggs. What's this? Wait a minute, Mike. What if there is some like being underneath the floor trying to be birthed? Fucking binding of Isaac moment? Yeah. Fred. Or like that one mini game from Mario Party where like you have to carve the shape out. Fred, what's yeah. what's this? I think that it's supposed to be a place for a lamp or like a, a fan. I, I thought it was a camera as well. That's what it looks like. I, I thought it was, but I don't think it is. That's what it looks like. Here's the self-playing piano. Oh, d d does What's the piano, d does the pussy piano play with itself? Dial zero on the pink telephone. Look at it this. Hmm? What the fuck could this room possibly have been used for, Fred? Displaying all of your Funko Pops. <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> but you had to sell them to afford the house. It's a catch-22. Yeah. So you just have to imagine your Funko Pops on the shelves. Whatever freak thing you collect, right? Mm -hmm. Probably be somebody's shoes. Like, I could see this room being filled with shoes. Mike, the piano only plays C-Bat. Fuck you. <laughs> it's a lot of MLP jars. Yeah, yeah, it could um, be. It's a lifetime project. What is the chandelier that's like pieces of paper? It's more of a mobile than a chandelier. A mobile, yeah, that's that's the right word, a mo mobile. It's Pepe Sylvia shit? Mike, if they're just pussies drawn on those pieces of paper, I'm going to scream. Is that... I guess it's a light fixture. I don't I mean I don't see any lights on it. Like there's no there's no the lighting light, element. The, the light might be behind the pieces of paper. You can kind of see where it, where a light might attach. That could be an obnoxious art fixture that these yeah. people paid again more than like my net worth for. You mm. know, like 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 fucking and it looks like complete dog shit. Like I think like like a it looks like a child made it. Like it's disgusting. Is the back of the piano also round? I yes. believe it, 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 is. it is. Which means yes. it would have to be custom made to be a Yannick piano. Probably. I like how round is just vagina now. I mean, the living room really gave it away. Fred. Yes. Check out the frosted section of the glass where there's a bird. Like, you see that bird right there? Yes, I do. Like, a, the design of a bird. And then there's bird shit down here to, like, complete the, the illusion that there's a bird My flying God, in you're the window. Right. Although, I think the bird shit might be real. Y yes, and the like bird not, shit is real. <laughs> not frost the glass! Reality always comes up in the face of greatness. Bird shit. Really helps complete the illusion. Okay. Um, what is going on here? What do you think uh, about having the view of, like, the Windows XP desktop? <laughs> I think that this photo has been color corrected. Just you think a so? little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. Um, how do you feel about having this... Because this seems like a chill out room, right? Like, let me see. No, that's all oh, fuck. You know what? No, I'm not ready for that. <laughs> not ready, no, I'm not okay. ready for we're, that. We're going to have to come back to that one. <laughs> I'm not ready for that. <clears throat> um, a Yannick fucking cat. Look at the shape of this couch, dude. It's obnoxious. I was hoping the next picture was going to be like another angle of this of this room. Because right. you could tell this couch is shaped stupid. Right. You can sit like facing the wall or you can sit facing out the window. Um... 
there's a little fireplace in the wall, I, I guess. And mm -hmm. there's a lamp coming out on oh no, like a boom stand coming out here. It's a Jabba couch. It is. The couch is perfectly fucking shaped for Jabba the Hutt's body. <laughs> That's so fucking perfect. Uva Gugu Pawa Solo. It is. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, it was custom made for Jabba. I guess we know who's trying to sell this house now. <laughs> oh my god. It's up hut up hut No, that's fucking not working. I was gonna try to like merge upholstery with like the the hut, but that's bullshit, garbage. Up, up upholstery, up yeah, some close. fucking some shit like that, whatever. Um, and yeah, it's got all these fucking annoying pillows on it, and all these obnoxious light fixtures. Yeah, that 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 are that are fucking you know in theme here, right? Can you imagine the size of this sliding door? It would ha it would take like all your body strength. You might need like a second person to close and open this every day. Imagine if there was a crack on any of these as well. Like, oh, you'd have to get it custom. Y yeah, th everything, every this entire house everything. is fucking custom. Yeah, that's why it's so expensive. It's not, it's like, it's de it's good square footage, but like it's so expensive because it's so custom. Where's the Rancor pit? Honestly, th this might be the Rancor pit. Yeah, th this is. I don't know what the fuck this is, dude. This is again threatening aura images what with is, threatening auras. Right. What is that like torture chair, dude? That's the, the uh, that's that's the Ludovico chair, dude. It is no look no th no that's not the Ludovico chair that's the chair that like you sit Picard down in and you tell him to look there, up oh! at that hanging Wait, fixture hold on, and hold ask on. how one two three four five six seven there, there are seven lights yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you are six years old it's a toilet dude it I. If Chad is pointing. Okay, now this is this is gonna fuck you up too. Ready? Yeah. The floor. Yeah. What is it? It's padding. For when you fuck. You 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 think this is a just a massive fuck room? What the fuck else would it be? A a like dodgeball court? Somebody does gymnastics in here. You think it's. Someone's That's saying a, it's a hot yoga room. Okay. It's a bounce yeah. pad. <laughs> it's a bounce pad. Yeah, cool. This is a lube fountain, maybe? Okay. You see this this fic, this yeah, thing right here? And you see the wood for, door? It's a, it, it I, I think a it, it, no, it's hot it's hot yoga. This is a sauna. Hot yoga. A really big sauna though. Holy shit. Right? You won't break your back in this foam pit. Ugh, stop. Why does it have a ladder, though? Wait, yeah, where does the ladder go? Is it part of hot yoga? Is there, like, some hot yoga technique where, like, you perform it on a ladder? Maybe. We fucking in the sauna? I think you'd fucking die if you have sex in the sauna. Like, I think your heart just explodes. Yeah. Like, I don't think you... I don't think you... You can't do anything in a sauna or you fucking die. Seriously. Like, you'd have to speed run it. You would die. <laughs> you would duck in the... <laughs> Such it's a like, fucking honey. We can't have sex in the sauna. Don't worry, it'll only be thirty seconds. <laughs> this image makes me feel things, dude. And I, I really want to know what the fuck this is, man. Yeah, maybe we'll is... get answers. I doubt we're gonna get answers, but oh, this is like the torture. Yeah, this is where the Ludovico. Like, look at those walls. That's concrete, right? No, Fred. It's upholstery. It's oh upholstery, my dude. Fucking god. The walls are upholstered. Oh, I'm I'm leaning in closer to the screen. I'm sorry if Lauren kind of fucks up. Literal oh padded god. a padded room. No, this is the fuck room. Oh, what kind of no, sex are you having where the no, walls need Mike, to be upholstered? Mike. Look, Look at the, like the way that they've rubbed on I like, see it. all of the love. Yeah, they've fucked I see on it. these walls. I see Someone's it. Someone's fucked on these walls. I, so much sex happened in this room, guys. 
It looks like the movie poster for the human centipede. Listen. If you look at the top, because like nobody was tall enough to like reach the top. Mm-hmm. Oh my, so much fuck. There's like sex evidence all over the walls. What the fuck? Yeah. yeah. Let's get the cum hunters. Oh <laughs> you came in here with the black light. It's covered in semen. A mosaic of semen. Mosaic of semen. We got to get in here with the black light, dude. Bro. It feels like kind of dungeony because of the, I think the color of the of the fucking shit that they put on the walls. And yeah, Fred, this, I, I'm this almost inclined dungeon. to believe that the ceiling is also upholstered as stupid as that it might is. sound. I think it is. It looks like it kind, it kind of looks like it is. I think you're correct. They do have a window here, so it's not that dungeony. And um, I'm sorry, who the fuck is sleeping on this bed, this round bed? Fuck this bed. This is like one of those fuck beds. I'll tell you what, this sure. looks cool. This fucking t television in the wall. That's what that is, right? That's cool. Yeah, it's like maybe there's a projector in the wall. Oh, that'd be fucking awesome. That'd be cool. That'd be cool as hell. Um, You got speakers, like a sound bar down here. Probably a cool mm -hmm. sound situation. I wonder what that is and if it's that's related a, to this. That's a bass speaker. That's a fuck like a subwoofer type thing, yeah, right? Sub yeah, subwoofer. This really like kind of should be like the home movie theater. V Genesis is saying, no, that's a whiteboard for planning. All right, we're going to start out doing doggy style. Right. Then, right. We, then, like, in one swift motion, I leap into the air, you flip over, and when I land, like, we're in 69. Pretty like, epic. Like, a acrobatics. Like, like you're, you're planning out all of the angles. The outlet is a fire hazard. It's like, it's like plays, like football plays, you know? This is a fire hazard, and I believe the ceiling light, what, sconces, whatever the fuck, is also, light fixtures, is also a fire hazard. Especially if this is, in fact, upholstered. Probably. Right? The entire room's a fire hazard, right? Maybe that's why it's... I, I want to know what's happening with this exactly. If there is a projector in the other room... Or if it is a TV or, or, or something. I mean, like, that's kind of obnoxious because what if somebody wants to or needs to replace the television? Fred. 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 Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's satin. This is all satin. Y yes. Yes, it is. Now, this is precisely what padded rooms look like in mental asylums. With the actual fucking, like, buttons fastening it to the fucking oh, the, to, to the drywall. the buttons have fallen out, and you know why. Yeah, because of sex. I don't know what these are, and I don't know what this is. But I want to know. Thermostat? It's very similar to the thing that was on the wall in this room. So maybe that's not... So I thought that that was like a sauna wall panel, like, to, like, to right. control the heat in the room. It's a Wii U. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to tell you something. Mm -hmm. This is not a sauna. No. The more I look at this, the, the more no. I realize this is not a sauna. I, I, I think you're correct. I'm, I'm coming around. Th to this, your side here. this entire this entire house is a is just a fuck house, bro. It is. Like every room was was designed first and foremost with how do we fuck in it? Mm-hmm. This did you come to this conclusion before you showed it to me? Um, I, I not not fully, but and it, Fred, I looked at this a fucking year ago, dude. Oh, okay. Like I think ac I think actually a year ago, like around the la around the last time we did one of these streams. The coochie house was made for sex. Made for sex. Look at the Jabba uh, couch turns into a chair over here. And here's another custom piece of furniture to match the stupid couch. Which, Mike. by the way, is a fuck couch. Mike. Hmm? That chair is for... That chair there built into it is for feet worship. Explain how. You get the person reclining uh, in the like, in the couch, and then the person sitting in the chair is like where the feet go. 
I don't know. Sometimes I'm not happy when I'm right, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. I don't see it. Like, I still don't kind of understand how that would work. I don't know. Like, imagine head up where Jabba's head would be, right? Yeah. Like, Jabba the Hutt's laying down on it. You have a human lying down on it like that. So, like, your feet end up here and the person sits in this chair and sucks yeah. your toes? Yeah, yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> Look at the wood hole. The wood hole? <laughs> it is. It's for holding wood. I feel like having such an over-designed receptacle for wood is insulting. It's obnoxious. It, it's pretentious. Look at this dildo pillar where, like, a human can't pass through here. Right. It's like that That right there is where it's frustrating to vacuum. And so yep. just there's always a <laughs> yeah. little pile of dirt there. This Some of it from the here. logs in the log hole. Imagine being so rich and disgusting that you have a room of your house dedicated to toe sucking. Mike, I think this is a house designed after a science fiction author's fantasy. L. Ron like, Hubbard. Like, th th this is how L. they Ron. imagine, yeah, this is how they imagine, like, futuristic women live. Like, they wake up, they go for a swim in their Olympic length pool, then they go and. <laughs> They have yeah. sex in one of the sex rooms, and then one I of them. sit in the chair while, like, while they put their feet on my face, and like. They... <laughs> have you read any classic sci-fi? Because, like, man, I read Dune. they get you know weird that? about women. They get real weird about women. They can, um, because they're fucking nerds. Frank Herbert was horny. Yeah, frankly. This one also feels like an FPS map. Orgy, porgy, orgy, Like, porgy. someone said a Hitman mission before. This is, fuck that. This is the Hitman mission. Yeah. Well, you know it what I, you know what it, you know what it remind it, it reminds me of? You remember that house, that mansion from Teardown? I where you have to... Tear down. Although, I mean, like, okay, Teardown didn't have a, like, it, it's kind of a dumb thing to say because Teardown was all angular and did not, it was like Minecraft, obviously, and did not have, like, a lot of rounded, mm -hmm. rounded walls or anything, and there's a lot, but, like, just, like, the vibe of it and, like, the size of it. There's an article about this house uh, Antifono found, and it actually is modeled after the Guggenheim, which is designed to look like a toilet. Even if they claim it wasn't designed to look like a toilet, it looks too much like a toilet to not have been right it's like at some point even if that wasn't the original intention you knew what was happening at least part way through and you could you decided to continue fred this is the first room like Fred, I, I, yeah. What, what is, what is your first issue with this, this room? I'm gonna level with you. I don't have any initial issues. Look at this window oh, that's getting blocked by a fucking wall. God damn it! You're right. Oh, <laughs> like, why would you on. put a window here? And then, furthermore, why would you put a wall here if the window is there? Like, what the fuck? That's and you have this window right here, which admitted is very nice. That admittedly. Really nice. But what the fuck are you doing here? Hello? And there's another one of those fucking things on the wall. And guess what? Hmm. A, we a weird fuck lounge or something. Like a w another weird fuck bed. Yeah. Those tablets are totally an in-house intercom system. Hey, Reg, you done fucking... <laughs> nah, I'm still going, George. No, not George. Oily Jim. Oily Jim. Do you, do you think that this is where Oily Jim lives? Or no, this is where he lived, like, while he was a spy. Like, during he had a, his spy days. And he had then, a rich like, lore, that guy. Then, then he had to run away to escape, and, like, he hid out in his brother's pool house. 
this is the origin story. This predates that. We're seeing a prequel right now. Mm -hmm. Like, Oily Jim was just loved. The like idea of... He, he had women. He had it all. Mm -hmm. The idea of the computer, Nook, I don't hate that. Like, it's kind of cute. But, like, yeah. why does it have to fucking obscure that window? Boy, like, you couldn't sure have put that nice somewhere else? Some natural light. Like, like the, I don't even think the wall is necessary. It's doing literally nothing. Oh my Unless God. you're telling me, like, is there like a hallway back there that goes somewhere else? I... Oh my God. Oh, okay. Who this is, is a fucking hotel jo room. Joko, Joko was calling that, Fred, like, that little Fred. fuck couch the, the cut corner. Fred, listen to me. Yeah, I'm listening. These are cameras. And, and, and now you know that they're cameras. Okay. Now you know. Now you now, now and now you know why. Oh my God, Fred. And now and now you know why they're cameras, okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They're not speakers, guys. If they were speakers, that'd be just as weird. Because what the fuck are the implications of that? Don't forget, this yeah, is only no. a, this is only a three bedroom house, according to this listing. This this is a porn house. I like all the natural light you would get in this bedroom, though. Unless, you know, you're trying to fucking sleep in the morning. Okay, this bathroom kicks ass. Yeah. Um, I like bougie sink. I, I, I think I've I've expressed this before on stream, but I like bougie bathrooms. You're a, you're a sucker for these, these fucking fancy looking faucets and shit? Yeah, I like them. I, I love that shit. All right, hold on a second, because we're going to check out the we're going to check out this article that was linked. Okay, that that link is bad, Antiphono. Can you, archive. Can uh, you try archive.org? Can you try again, please? No, he just fucked the link up. Can you try again, please? Yeah, they, they forgot the suffix. Dot com, dot org, dot com. Mods, please, please permit this person. Okay, we're we're good. We're good. Okay. Okay. Oh, that is very interesting. Hold on. Hold on. I have to clean some of this up because I'm okay, starting yeah, to get yeah. I'm starting to get a little confused. Uh, we looked at that. We're here. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have... Okay, cool, cool. Um, all right, so we got an article. We're going to look at it afterwards. Um, I kind of wanted to get a better look at that shower, but whatever. Yeah, whatever. God, this... A different bedroom with the little... With the, a, a balcony out there? That's Even cool. though... I mean, it's like... It's, it's going to be hard to see over that fucking wall. Like, that should be lower so you can take in the view, right? I mean, you walk out on the balcony. I, you have I think this, it's fine. I think it's fine. This fucking, this big balcony here. The What's up with this? beautiful there. This bed, though. Are we starting to love this house? Are, I, I mean, you I know. I think we're slowly starting to love this house. <laughs> Fuck places are designed to be comfy. Dude. That's nice. That's, that's the Windows XP out there. Yeah. That's the titty. That's, That's the, the titty swirl. Yeah, that, that is the kid. That that is the titty. Yeah. Yeah. And it's color corrected. And um, another camera. Yeah. The camera is pointed directly at the bathtub. <laughs> yep. There is Dude, no way those are not cameras. This guy was was cracking up with like Airbnb, where it's like the people don't know that they're being recorded. Hilarious. Check out my house, where people come here to get recorded. I do. I have to say, I do like this idea of taking a bath and being able to look out the window at that. Yeah. And if it's a fuck house, you're not worried about someone seeing you. No, the vis, the vis, that that is actually outside the window. It it's color corrected, but that it that is outside the window, guys. Looks like another cool shower. We looked at it before. Mm -hmm. The grounds are 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 sexy too. Like I just think this is this is cool. Uh, and there it is again from space as you can we never got to see any of this though We have no idea what any of this is. Maybe we'll find out in the article. You think that's the neighbors? I think it's part of the same property. I think this is all the same all one property. It's like there's the big titty no, 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 hold on. This is like that episode of Aqua Teen Hunger Force where like call, like the, the sirens you remember the sirens I'm giving and getting and given 
and getting it on i'm giving i don't like remember that. this i'm sorry they're like hearing no. that over like just chat. across the road <laughs> uh, chat most of the chat probably remembers yeah people, <laughs> some of chat remembers yeah the yeah, Ishiki... cuts his nipple off during it and throws them into the sewer Ishiki says that they wouldn't be surprised if it's a full security camera system since those look like the typical security cameras you see in places since this is a I have fuck you money place so of course I want cameras in every single room in case someone tries to break in or some shit. Ishiki, what about the upholstered walls that have handprints all over them and the room that's all satin and the room that has fuck peds on, as, as a floor? Are you prepared to explain all that? And you're gonna say that's not related? That's not connected? If, if there is an The bathtub, Ishiki? The bathtub? Listen, if there is a if you can convince me, if at if at any point during this night I am convinced that this is not a building built around fucking, I will gift 20 subs. To me? Yeah. Why don't you gift them to me anyway? Because our friendship is conditional. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I think we're out of pictures. Yeah. So yeah. We, we, I feel like we saw these already. What's wait, What's this? I don't know. What the There's fuck? There's a lot is... that we didn't see. Yeah. There's so much they didn't show us, dude. All right. So here we go. Here's the deal. De Beers Diamond Heiress's futuristic Washington State home sees huge price cut. Built in 2005, this two-story circular-shaped home was modeled after New York's Guggenheim Museum. You may have seen it. It looks like a toilet. Google image search New York Guggenheim if you want to see something fucking hilarious, okay? I have been in it. When you go up and down, the, 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 when you're inside the building, it feels like you're being flushed. I don't know how to fucking explain this to you. Okay. No, seriously. I believe you. I believe you. Um, a futuristic home dreamed up by a diamond heiress in the town of Tenino, Washington, came back on the market Friday with a price cut of $5.1 million. So this was about almost $10 million. No, it was about $10 million. The article's from 2019, by the way. Keep that in mind. Okay, okay. First listed for $11 million in August 2018... The 8,000, now it has more square, it has more square footage in this article than it does in the listing. Um, 8,400 square foot ped, as in like maxi ped, because it's a giant pussy. Uh, I guess that wasn't that funny. Belongs to Rebecca funny. Oppenheimer. Guys, Oppenheimer is not Guggenheim, guys. It's different. Belongs to Rebecca Oppenheimer, heiress of the International Diamond Corporation, Deep Beers. We've all heard of this, right? A diamond yes. is forever. Yeah. It went through, this is the advertising. It went through a $2.11 million price cut this past August before further dropping to $5.9 million. Where is it at now? Uh, it's, still, it's still at $5.9 million. Yeah. She's refusing to sell it for less than $5.9 million. That's where it's been since 2019. Also, again, still not sold. Active. Mm. Active listing. The two-story eco-friendly home has four bedrooms and is situated on an 82-acre piece of land. It's eco-friendly, wow. Fred. So, so the land around it is. It's got well. some. It's got some solar panels on it. I don't know if that necessarily makes it eco-friendly, right? I mean, maybe. maybe maybe it generates electricity from all the fucking right they've they've got like springs in there capturing the kinetic energy uh it comes with fruit trees a rose garden a saltwater pool with remote control retractable walls we saw that and a separate guest house the listing says we never saw the so you don't guest have house. to listen to the fucking um it's so p <laughs> right <laughs> Uh, it's so peaceful there. All you see is mountaintops. You're on top of the world, said Michael Morrison. A list, the listing agent with Sotheby's International Realty. It's located atop a hill 19 miles from the state capital, Olympia. Uh, Miss Oppenheimer named it Merkaba in reference to a form of early Jewish mysticism. Merkaba Diz? Built in 2009, the, uh, like Kabbalah, right? 
In 2005, the circular and modern house was modeled after a New York Stop. City landmark, the circular. Frank Lloyd Wright. Right. Cir- circular. No. Yeah, Fuck vaginal, off, Mansion though. Global. You know what you're omitting. Um, it was, in fact, and I forgot Frank Lloyd Wright designed that toilet building, uh, the Guggenheim Museum, which was recently added to UNESCO's World Heritage List. The, pro- the property also has a copper-lined focus room for meditation. Fred. Bullshit. Bullshit. Maybe like a special kind of sex meditation. You know, I mean, I don't know why it's copper, but you know, one of the first things I thought of when, when I, when I, when I saw this was, what? this is what it's like to be inside of a Moscow mule or something. Yeah. <laughs> Mike, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is this, like, an Oregon room? Like the Oregon Trail? No, not or No, it... Oregon was a, a proposed kind of energy that, like, explained everything and nothing. Yeah, it's an Oregon collector, maybe. Oh, it's some mysticism, like, yeah, weird bullshit? Like, like it's, fucking... It's, it's, it's not even, like, that far. It was, like, a scientist that came up with it. I'm trying to remember. It, I it does, it does not exist, though. Today. Like, it does not exist. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, it did. Like, these these Because this guy said just, it like, did. wooden boxes. She's calling it a meditation room. Why line it with copper? Is copper supposed to keep you the fucking intrusive thoughts out of your brain or something? Uh, there, it, there what what, what are they called? Of... The thetans? It keeps the thetans out of your fucking brain so you can meditate in safety? This, this is a lot of... There's a lot of funny stuff about like, oh, blocking out electrical signals or magnetic... F- fucking Faraday cage. It, it, there's probably some woo going on here. Yeah, right. Um, a blind archery range. Fred... What what's a blind archery range, bud? I I don't know. I have no answer. An archery you. range for for blind people? I have no. I'm I'm not, I'm not going to say it's impossible for somebody who's blind to to you know partake in archery, but um, it's for hunting humans. What is a blind archery range? I have no and and. I have nothing. Chat, help, please. What is a blind archery range? A chicken coop, apparently. We never saw that. Uh, You know, because you're, you know, kind of off the grid a little bit, I guess, here as well. Uh, A greenhouse and a heliport, according to the listing. I don't remember seeing the greenhouse or the teleport, which we certainly would have because... um, Well, a a teleport is... is, (laughs) X Junon says, so we're, we're asking what blind archery is, and X Junon says, we don't know, we're not fucking rich. <laughs> uh, heliport, not teleport, guys. No, oh, beam me up, Scotty, here. Um, fuck, Fred, do you think the blue thing is for helicopters? No, that's stupid, right? What? It's not big blue- enough. What? No. No. No, that, that's, no, that's dumb. Not. No. Then I, what the fuck is cool. it? It's again cool. and it's a water feature i don't think that's water fred it is it is water it's the I'm, ring I'm next to the garden it's water it's the ring next to the garden you, 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 that's grass though you think the helicopters are supposed to land there yeah they do okay all right yeah um and i guess there's a greenhouse somewhere too Pro- probably over by the guest i mean maybe it's that um Mrs. M- uh, Miss Oppenheimer purchased the multi-parceled land for six million. Uh, Mr. Morrison said, "Okay. Uh, neither he nor Mansion Global could, term- could determine the year of the sale of sale from property records." Okay. Um, okay. Weird. While the house, oh, drummer Max Weinberg. That's the uh, 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 fucking the guy from. Jimmy Fallon? I don't know, dude. Conan, my bad, Conan. He he's the well, fucking Bruce Spring Bruce Springsteen's drummer, right? I'll he, take he, your word he, for he's it. the East Street Band drummer. No, he's awesome. No, he's fuck. He's actually fucking amazing. This guy, I love this guy's drumming. While the house is indisputably large, maintaining the house does not cost a fortune, according to Mister Morrison. In wait, Mister Miss Miss 
Okay, that's the listing agent, right? No, he's fuck. He's fucking great. Uh, in fact, it is not uncommon to get electric electricity bills under a hundred dollars a month. Bullshit. How much did they pay for this article? <laughs> it's clearly trying to sell it. Yeah. Um, well, that's what Mansion Global is. Yo, maybe we should maybe we should be looking at this fucking website for like future streams. Yeah. Mansion I, Global. I, they would be a, a good place to look for it. Um. Mrs. Miss Oppenheimer, who now resides in South Africa, so that means that that fuck this house we just been looking at has been sitting empty for three years. Oh yeah, no, she she left this house behind and is now getting absolutely turnt on elephant shit rum. <laughs> yeah. Uh, South Africa is the granddaughter of the late Harry Oppenheimer. He died in two thousand at ninety one. He was the chairman of D Beers Consolidated Mines for twenty seven years and was probably responsible for more human suffering than is even imaginable by all of us combined. He was often ranked as one of the wealthiest men in the world. Ms. Yeah. Oppenheimer did not immediately respond to requests for comment. After dropping to nearly half of its original asking price, Ms. Oppenheimer hopes potential buyers are motivated to make a move. She wants to get it a good steward for the property. It's not so much about profit. If it wasn't about profit, then why is she insisting on listing it for fucking six million dollars? This is art. Years this later. Is art. No, they're they're desperate for like they're they're trying to make some money back, but like this was a passion project, like heat of passion project, if you will. Let's go to this place and ask for a open house tour. We can open go squat in tour? there. Do you really want to <laughs> open leg tour? Do you really want to try to squat in this place when it has that many security cameras that are like definitely top of the line and can identify you from miles away? Based on the bone structure of your fucking skull? No. I don't think that those are that high quality. Visit this place in the metaverse. It kind of does have metaverse energy. A little bit. It. I, I think it's just because metaverse shit has some... There's some. It feels wooey sometimes because Fred, like, hmm? Fred loves to say wooey. Wooey. I I need a better word. Is that like woo me? Hmm. She's too used to selling diamonds for overvalued prices, and now she's confused. She can't do the same thing with her stupid house. I'm sorry. What were you trying to say? Uh, fucking woo we? What, what's woo we? I, I think that sometimes crypto can feel that way because like mm -hmm. everything they're talking about, like oh this is valuable because we say we again say opposite ends of the spectrum, right? Mm -hmm. You know, opposite ends of the spectrum looking awfully similar. Yeah. Crystal healing nonsense. It's it's crystal healing nonsense for tech bros. It's crystal healing yeah. nonsense for for fucking yeah like like new age. It's not that new age feel. New, to it, yeah. new age tech bullshit. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Um, so Fred, I know it's starting to get kind of late. Yes. Um, I don't know how you feel about continuing to look at houses. Um, but the next the next one is another doozy. Are you are okay. you trying to end or what do you what do you what how are you feeling, bud? Let me make another cup of tea. You want to make another top cup of tea right now? Yes. Uh, I'll go and make another cup of tea. Uh, and I'll be good to keep going. I'll tell you what. We'll look at like one more one more listing. Okay. Just one just one more. Sounds right? good. And Sounds then we'll, good. we'll wrap up. But it's a good one. Okay. The uh, chat wants oh. you to keep the mic on so we can hear your beautiful singing again. I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back, everyone. <laughs> All right. So, uh, he's hibernating again, guys. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do while waiting for him. I'm gonna thank some of the people who subbed and shit tonight. Um, yesterday, yesterday, yesterday. Hold on, let me see this. Uh, 21 hours ago. Okay, seven hours ago. That's okay. Where are we? Hold on. Five hours ago sounds like when I started the stream, right? V Sorel, thank you for six months. Oblivion with 20 months, thank you. Max Minerva with three months. Nice Smith with two years. Thank you so much, buddy. True Noodle Girl with six months. 
Apathetic Gorilla with 16 months. Yuri V Art with 8 months. Guys, thank you. I don't need one with the resub. Lurker from chat. 20 months of sub. Jexers with 10 months of sub. Queen Tiefling with 19 months of sub. Megashaw with... Oh. 69 months of sub. Thank you so much, man. Guys, we gotta thank these people because these people are who keep this fucking channel advertisement free. Okay? Like, I'm not gonna take that fucking advertising deal and it's because you guys make it so I, I really don't have to. Alright, between this, between and, and between um the Patreon and now the coffee, guys, between Twitch, Patreon, and the and the sponsorships. I should be able to avoid those advertising deals. I, I don't I don't think I well, I'm gonna have to do that, guys. Um We got some sponsorships coming up. I think next week I have to do t two of them. That I'm like I agreed to them like a month like a month ago, and I I, ha I have to. And the big YouTube money, Del Darn, <laughs> not that one. No, not not that one. Um, remember the fishing game? The fishing game had a DLC or an expansion, and they want me to stream it again. So we're gonna do that. That's an that for an hour. Um. So the fit with more of that fishing game. and I know some of you liked that that stream. Some of you liked that games. So we're gonna do that again. So at some point next week. And also this other game that um is it a brand new game. It's some it's some kind of roguelite. And I was actually thinking about trying to rope uh rope Rev into it a little bit. Um what what let me let me Get you guys a little hype for this, perhaps. Uh, uh, what it, what is the fucking problem here? It's called From Space. Actually, for for th for this for this one, I've actually got to do two streams of this game for this one. Um, and frankly, what I might do. Because they and I, I e they want two streams, and it's not you know it's not like it's even really for like more money. It's just that's just what they want. But here's the deal. Um, oh, you guys know about the game? Bumpy touch. Uh, they said it's like Dark Souls in space. It's called From Space. I don't think it, it, it doesn't look, it doesn't really look like Dark Souls. Are you memeing? They might be memeing. Um. Here's what I'm actually thinking about doing because I emailed them and I said, hey, um, can I just do like the two hours in one shot, please? And they were like, no, that's not what they want. So I was like, oh, OK. So what I think I might do is actually just like like click the stop streaming button for five minutes the night that I do this. And then and then pressing it again. To be like, look, you got two streams, motherfucker. Mike, I'm looking through the contract and there's nothing that says I can't do that, guys. But anyway, it's like an action uh, roguelite for up to four players. Um, It looks like it could be cool. It looks like it could be cool. I don't know. It, it, it seemed like something that I'm... I, you know, because I filled out this thing for these people. It was like, what kind of games do you usually stream? It's supposed to be like the type of game that I that I normally stream. So um, we're going to do that. Um, again, this is all going to be ne next week, basically. Well, no, that the, the Call of the Wild one can, <clears throat> can be the week after. The Fishing one can be the week after. So maybe we'll do that one the week after. Um, but yeah, they, they do want to... They do want two streams, but... And they're going to get it. They're going to get two streams. That one has to be next week. You all right? Hey, Generic. I'm okay. Oh, you asking about Lauren? No, he's not all right. Any more gushing streams coming up? Let me see. Let me see if Gushin put up any more bounties. No, there's no, there's no gush, there's no available gushing bounties right now. Um, 
Let me thank a few more people, guys. A uh, ghost host with 53 months. Thanks, man. Bizarre Nomad with the bits. Mew Socks with three months of subage. Ubusaurus with nine months. Uh, Blackberry. Blackberry, excuse me. Uh, for the win. Thanks for two months, bud. Lady Goggles with a full year. Thank you so much. Jingo Yeen with 14 months. And Scrimbengus with four months. And Noodle Dan with five months. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. Sylvia Knights with three months and Hesher with the gift sub. Uh, I also owe some bikes to the chat. So bike, 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 bike. We're almost done, actually. Uh, Commandant Kobold with seven months. Bittersweet Devil with 51. Kippy and Seamus with the bits. Thank you, guys. Uh, Zumba Fitness with the gift sub. And uh, Pick and Prinny with 14 months. And finally, uh, Junon with the, the bits and Oregon Death Race with eight months. Guys, thank you so much. Guys, you're lovely. Is the stream Hi. still going? We're going to look at yeah. one more list then, guys. Yeah, we're not done. No, we're not done. Even though I, I know I should have waited to the end because that probably confused people and like made people no. leave. But you're fine. I just I, think I, I mean... I'm I figured looking, I'd take a minute while, no. while you were dead. Because the reason I'm not thanking people is because I don't want to talk over you or interrupt you or, or whatever. Yeah. But, like, you weren't here, so Braps yeah, redeemed no. an insult. Braps, you're a um, cocksucker. Sorry, that was a lazy one. King, the view count went up while you were doing that. All right, so be it. It's Yeah, it's true. The, the view count went up when I left. <laughs> I know this what is I am. This is not a coincidence. You um, gross owl man. This one is, uh, let me, all right, hold on. I have a little, I have a little pitch for this one. Okay. Have you ever wanted to live in a rainforest cafe? Can't say I have. <laughs> Why not? Hey, uh, apparently we got an unofficial uh, vineyard raid. Really? What happened at the vineyard, guys? Wait, what? What do you mean vineyard? Did Joel do something? Joel or Vinny do something at the vineyard? Joel showed a movie and then fell asleep. Ah, no shit. Based? So that you guys came like over from you guys came over from the vineyard. Well, guys, thanks for uh, thanks for coming by. Hi guys. everyone. Um, so it, people didn't like the, the view count didn't go up because I left. The view count went up because Joel fell asleep. Could have been a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. We are we are Joel's dream. How fitting that we should be meets dream. He showed Evil Dead 2 and Predator. Oh, that's fun. Okay. Evil Pred 2. Evil Pred. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. So puzzling. this this listing um, long day. is very puzzling. I want to point out. Do you do you think? You know what? I'm gonna let it. I'm just gonna let it speak for itself. All right. So you look at. So the first, it shows you the grounds. You know. Oh shit! I skip. I skipped some shit. Fuck. Okay. Apparently, I skipped some shit. All right. My bad. So here's here's the. Uh, all right. You know what happened? The link was like specifically for that slide. Like yes, I, I got yes. the link for that slide. All right. Um. Five bed. Five have bed. you ever wanted to only four hundred thousand dollars for an eight? Well, you're gonna you're you're gonna see why. Have you ever wanted to live in a fucking Donkey Kong barrel? Chat <laughs> yes. fucking beat me to it. <laughs> fucking goddamn it, chat. Shut up, chat. Let me make the jokes. Have you ever wanted to live in a fucking Donkey Kong barrel or one of those ships from Super Mario Brothers? Welcome to bonus stage. The bonus bean room. The bonus stage room. Um, the door looks like a Sims 4 item, but not in a good way. This is from a, a place called Delano, California. It sold for $400,000 last year. Even though the asking price was for five twenty six k, oof. It's gonna yeah, become okay. it's gonna become clear why five beds, five beds, eight thousand dollars. It's gonna become very clear why. 
Zach Ute, thanks for the gift subs. Again, I'm going to thank everybody. Again, I, I saw oh. more people at the end of the stream, guys. Thank you, everyone. And I, I want to say everyone who has subbed and gifted subs and given bits, thank you for supporting one of my best friends. Fred's I trying to get his it. Fred's trying to get his dick sucked and it's going to work. Yeah. And it's going to work. I know work. how to do it. Mike said dollars instead of square feet. My bad. Hey, square feet? I love, I, I still cannot get over the fact that I, I did that as a you impression and now you are doing it like Imp art imitate, like life imitates art. Impersonating you. You were impersonating me and I'm impersonating you. Except it's never in reference to me anymore, Mike. Those doorknobs now you. You need like two hands to like turn them. I, I think they're fucking say, doorknobs. I was gonna say this is the kind of like asshole doorknob you see as like a quirky thing at a theme park, <laughs> right? Not for like, real. We, Not at your we house. Just, we just needed to make this place a little bit less accessible to disabled people, right? Right. It's lush though. Look at the grounds. Lush. It is. I mean, it could do with a little bit of TLC, like a little bit of landscaping. You could have some landscapers come and clean this up a little bit. They probably did when they bought it. But um, a lot of like overgrown grass. But for the most part, or maybe you leave that because it because it because it doesn't. No, that's purposeful. No, it, that, it, that could, is it could get purposeful. It could get cleaned up a little bit, a, a little bit, a little bit, but ultimately left more or less like this. It's all there for I'll, you to I'll, touch. I'll tell you what looks a lot better. Um, this little retaining wall that's like containing all of the like they need that around the entire pro like the rest of this That'd yeah, look great if that they did that good. I, I do like how it sort of conceals the home from the street that is That's cool privacy. Nice. Yeah, privacy yeah. privacy Jungle I'm, gyps. I, I'm, <laughs> I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of a home that is like visible but is still like just a bit covered by foliage Yeah, just kind of like it Do you like this? Did did their dishwasher get stolen? Kind of like what what happened, right? Like what like, happened? Dishwashers often are sold with the house, right? Is that that's fairly common? Yeah. yeah. That's that's standard, yeah. Yeah. Not not like I'm an expert in the field, but so, this, so where the fuck this did is it a, go? This is a kitchen. No, that's no that's an and, oven. That's where the oven was. Excuse me. You are I'm you guessing. are correct. Yeah, this kitchen feels like it's gonna fucking mug me and like steal my wallet. Like I don't know, it's threatening. Why is right. this kitchen threatening? It looks like a room out of the back rooms. It had big back rooms energy. Well, like like you remember that bit that that little section that feels like the basement of a church, like at uh -huh. night uh -huh. after everyone's gone and it's totally empty. It's like that scene. It's like that scene from the first backrooms video why is is back does backrooms just mean no windows ultimately no, there, there's there's sort of an like a space that doesn't feel like it was like a space that is clearly like made around like made recognizable but isn't built for humans mm -hmm. does that make sense like it, it uses pieces and structures that are clearly of human creation but the space is not made it's domestic things in a non-domestic setting that is anything with that qual anything where you could describe it that way qualifies to be called back rooms i i would say it's, okay that's actually a really um, good that's a really good i think assessment of what that means at yeah, this point that 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 is how i see it anyway if back um, rooms is like a genre yeah, a space you know. made uh, a space using things that are meant to be domestic in a, a non-domestic context. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. And I, I think that the seems that sounds good. Part, the back rooms in particular, that's not that's not a new concept, but the back rooms takes it farther and puts it into a space that doesn't that no one would ever construct for any reason. Like right. It's, a, it's absurd. Right. Why would anyone make it like this? There's no reason. It may creeps you out. It's like what what happened? Well, there's going to be a little bit of that vibe happening here. In fact, there's going to be a lot of bit of that vibe. Now, you can come back outside. I'm telling you, this house is All like right. so far hitting it out of the park from the outside. The grounds look, not, look, look really cool. 
you got this fucking greenhouse, basically. Looks like it. Which is awesome. Obviously, whoever lived here liked plants. Okay. Right. Um, and here's, again, look at the grounds. You got this little path with all this like, beautifully, you know, kept up with the, the trees and the plants. And this, yeah, this looks they, very nice. Very green space. A, they just had to have a little bit of grass. They just had to, man. Yeah, fuck. No, I'm with you. I fucking hate grass. I'm, I I'm fuck, with you. I, I have a vendetta against grass. No, like, same, I just same. Hate grass. Me and you, me and you are 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 brothers in this. Like yeah. we're brothers in arms on this. I fucking hate grass. I will die on this grassy hill. <laughs> on this ungrassed hill with natural plants, like with, with um, native plants surrounding me. A little weird to have this fan here, huh? Yeah. What the fuck is going on with the fan? There's another one. Why? I'll be honest. I got no any ideas, chat. Why? It's it's like it's to help keep my balls cool and dry while I'm practicing my handstands. Any fucking ideas of what the fuck these fans are? <laughs> He's got a rock pile. That's what's up. Nice rock. I like it. I dig a good rock pile. Probably was a fountain at one point. You could see yeah. that the water would have flowed down here. Yeah, definitely. And here's... Now, question, Fred. Do, do you think we're indoors or outdoors right now? I swear you can't, to God. You, 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 Wait, can't, it, you, can't, you can't answer, can you? I'm going to say outdoors just because of the lighting. And the fact that there's, I don't know, fucking carpet. trees? Like, the, fucking trees, trees? But there's fucking carpet. You don't, yeah. Like... You don't, like, it has to be indoors because of the carpet, right? It's carpet, bro. Yeah. And and I don't know what the yellow tape indoors. is. What's what's that? Like a a hole in the carpet filled with wood chips? What, did someone, like, Dude, this is a their gigantic This is a fucking, cigar? this is a fucking disaster, this house. Okay. Why... Why don't, is the don't I, chat? I, I can't, man. I have to. I have don't, to. Don't. Why? Don't. Why is the fireplace in Don't. Lucas? Don't. Don't. Can we? Can we get some tea owl sus in here? Anyone from my chat? Any, we got some tea owl. Oh, we've got an Andre sus in there. What do you suppose yeah. this is right here? Um. Oh God! Yeah, what do you think it, this is? I where you do karaoke? I have <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that? No, honestly, I think you're right. I think that's some kind of stage, it's like a little stage. Yeah, a little stage. Like I don't know, people sit in ostensibly furniture here, and people sit and watch you sing or play an instrument or something, or this maybe is... beat poetry or some shit. It's a fucking indoor gazebo yeah it is it's an indoor gazebo which might be best <laughs> someone someone is saying that it's an altar to the new gods but you say that but now i i'm looking at the space in a new light this has church vibes okay church vibes yeah very fuck very like, draw, fucking odd very I, I fucking know, odd I, I okay so like american churches are made out of pretty shitty materials a lot of the time the only way i can describe them is drywall churches right like low quality um haphazardly smashed together yeah it's like god's things, house right? can be made out of anything and then people took that as a license to just make them shit What's smeared on the window back there? I don't think it's cum, if that's where you're going with this. I think it might be frosted. Like, we're, we're gonna, I think we're going to get a better look at that oh, I, I soon. Think, I think you're right. I think it is yeah, frosted. We're, we're going to get a better frosting, look at that soon. I mean, it's, it's a weird. It looks like a, a jizz splatter. It does. But it's a weird place for something like that, right? I need to tell you about, like, the theory that someone has that a politician was wearing a, a cum necklace fred what that's for another stream remind me they were wearing a cum stone necklace bro 
I think someone, a, a few people know. Yeah, Liz Truss. Liz Truss had 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 a Comstone Comstone jewelry chat. Yeah. Fred, you know you know you know that the cum jewelry is real, right? Yes. Yeah. They think Liz Truss bought one. Based on what? Based on what? Are we getting sidetracked? Because yes. I'm I'm down to get sidetracked. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Was it was it Tox that sent it to me? Tox sends me a lot of great stuff. Um or was it Nady? It might have been Nady. Yo, this this message got deleted, but somebody in chat double plus hey double plus. They said Jabron, Jabroni Mike viewers when they see literally anything white. Come? Come? Is that come? Haha, ha, come. Chat, you're getting called out so hard right now. Chat, you are getting called the fuck out. Are you just gonna let this happen? Hold on, I where based on it? hating Liz Truss, did literally anybody like this woman? Did anyone like this woman? Talks, are you still in chat? And if so, do you still have that tweet? And if so, could you send it to me? Are you, were you the one that sent it to me? Because it seems like something you would send to me. Okay, there, there, Tox is, Tox is on the case. All right, well, let, let's come back to it then. We'll come back to it, yes. What does that look like? This is a meat fridge. We call it a walk-in freezer walk -in, in the freezer, restaurant yeah. biz, right? Call it a walk-in freezer. Um, what is sweat froggy about this is that there is absolutely no reason on God's green earth for a residential home to have one of these. Maybe they're a hunter. Maybe they like to take the whole buck. Well, then you get a fucking long freezer. You you get you get they, you know those freezers that like. You, you know, you usually usually people will keep them in their fucking garage because they take up so much room. You yeah. don't get an entire room that's refrigerated, dude. Yeah. A chest freezer. You get a chest freezer. Yeah. You don't get a fucking walk-in freezer. These these are these are for restaurants, bro. Yeah. So, but this all this makes me think as well that this served as like a church or something. They just keep like a bunch of food. Strange, right? Little sweat froggy. Yeah, I was joking about the Rainforest Cafe thing, but this place might have actually been a, a fucking restaurant because it's got a walk-in freezer. Yeah, I'm, the I'm cost curious. to operate that would be right. This costs no. an unreal amount. You you can't have this in a house. It's too expensive. Mm -hmm. Weird. Look at the, the look at the kitchen. Oh, hold on. I think This house falls okay, apart okay, pretty okay, quickly, okay. dude. Hold on. Uh one of uh one of my one of my patrons just linked it to me. Okay, I've got it. The the Liz Trust thing. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to link it to you. Okay. There. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at this at this at this Twitter thread real real quick. There's nothing in here that's gonna be a problem for me. I do not believe so. No. All right, folks, buckle the fuck up because I have some more news about Liz Truss's possible D Dom, Dom sub relationship and her use of the day collar. I have to say, I'm a true believer. Part one: Look at the necklace. They're saying she's into fucking BDSM, dude. And she ha she is doing things in public with it. Part two. Look more looks at the uh, necklace. Look, look and at the images. Like like look like look closer at the images. There's some ex I remember there being some explanation on them. Okay. Uh 
her most commonly worn piece is this necklace. She wears this in 70% of the pictures. Is extremely obviously a submissive day collar. I don't know. Is it? I'm going to have to take their word for it, dude. dude uh, like, do the last. There was one more image in that. This one, bud? Yeah. Okay. Submissive protection BDSM O collar locking option. Is that really what that is? Sure looks like it. Sometimes a ring is just a ring, but... So is she the dom it, or the sub? That that would make her the sub. All right. Personally, I believe it to be this one from tobehis.com. Matches the fittings. All right. Um, it costs $300. All right. Minimalist, discreet, micro, BDSM, yellow. Okay. Rose or white. The other notable jewelry fact is that while she wears some non-collar necklaces, she wears them for a suspiciously long time. Most public-facing individuals change their accessories out quite often. But Liz wore this necklace in every picture where her neck was visible for a period of six months. Smiling Assassin, Creed is yeah, you, good, you, you Ubisoft Games. Fred, you, you expect me, what are you saying? I could just skip over this? Why is she fucking it? What, what is happening? I, d I don't know, man. I don't know why she's hanging out with a, a gigantic sculpture of an Assassin's Creed character. She's a gamer? I No, I think, I, okay, I think the point of the picture is that she's wearing the necklace, which is not easy to see. But hold up, what the fuck? <laughs> We're getting sidetracked during the sidetrack. Time to have a gamer in office. What do, you, what, do you, what, do you, what do you mean, hashtag Ubisoft games? What? Compare the dates on these posts. She also wore this necklace for Valentine's Day, further supporting my suspicion that this necklace was in use as a more subtle day collar at this time. It's possible that this collar was in use much longer than that, as the January picture is the first one on the account where a necklace would be visible. Part 3. Cum necklace? This necklace threw me for a bit of a loop at first, as it does not match what would typically be expected from a day collar. Initially, I thought it might be some kind of antler, but upon acquiring some higher quality paparazzi shots from a stock image site, the actual necklace became apparent. It's not an antler, and I have seen it before. Am I going to fucking be in trouble? I'm getting paranoid about this. Here. You, there. Okay, 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 okay. Guys, this is amazing. Pearl necklace. This is different from the cum necklace that I was telling you about. Okay. Pearl necklace is a seemingly amorphous cast silver shape on a chain that is actually an accurate representation of semen. It is a visual marker of chaos turned perfection through an act of beauty and lust, a physical reminder of a fleeting moment of pleasure. I don't understand. Did they like turn your, your, your cum shot like, into gold? Yeah. They taint, they turn your cum, like they could, like it's customized to be like your cum I, shot. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't think that it's your <laughs> cum shot, but it's a cum shot. A cum shot. So this fucking isn't, this stupid. This isn't like that, um, like that, uh, that kit where you can make a cast of your dick and like make a dildo out of it. Well, there's this woman that we saw on, I think, Instagram or something, or, or, or fucking, I don't even remember. Tick was where, where, where did that TikTok? What was that article? You send her a fucking sample of... You send her your cum in the mail. She takes the cum and she makes it into jewelry and sends it back to you as jewelry. Based. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> don't ask me how. Don't ask me why. At one point, it involves turning your cum into a powder, which looks a lot like cocaine. This art project inspired a series of copies, most of which are one-off handmade items available only on Etsy and similar sites. This, I was unable to locate the specific item she is wearing, however, it is so obviously blatantly a cum shot that she wears it with another necklace to disrupt its silhouette. I wouldn't say anything is blatantly obviously a cum shot, dude. I believe the other necklace is this one based on these images. At $10, it is one of the cheapest pieces. Furthering my suspicion, it was added as camouflage. I don't know about this, guys. 
Um, the press tries to distract from the fact that the PM is a collared sub and ac accidentally gives us more ammo. Uh, the article is a pleasant supposition given it was published by the Telegraph, which has supported the Conservative Party since 1945. I believe it to be posted intentionally as an SEO smokescreen to hide the discussions about her obvious collaring. It contained confirmation of one critical piece of information we knew already. The jewelry has been her constant companion all the way along a rocky road to the top. Her, her office confirms it was a gift from her husband. Why even tell him that? Because... She didn't wear the necklace at the start of her career, at the beginning of her marriage, so what prompted it? Mike's brain is melting right now. Her husband is private with essentially no public info. He seems boring, which is why she notably cheated on him for months in 2005 to 2006 with her conservative party mentor. Before her marriage, the few photos available show her notably not wearing any necklace, something highly unusual for her. Her mentor was Mark Field, the man who is now notorious for, uh, shall we say, his hands-on approach to women, content warning for violence against women, her affair with Mark Field possibly introduced her to Dom Sub Dynamics, but she stayed with her husband and her says her marriage grew stronger. Okay. This is my final piece of evidence. It slots in nicely to form a powerfully compelling narrative. Liz married shortly after joining the conservative party, flipping from Lib Dem. It's likely her husband shared her earlier politics more than her current ones. And this likely extended at the time to her perception of him as unmanly. In the manner of typical conservative turf, gender essentialist brain rot, especially when compared to the hyper-conservative and sexually aggressive Mark Field. During her affair is likely when she became aware of her appreciation for the Dom sub-dynamics due to the unavoidable intensity of their relationship relative to that of her marriage due both to Mark's tendency towards physicality and his position of authority over her. Upon the revelation of the affair, she almost certainly justified it as a result of her unmet sexual needs in regards to power dynamics within her marriage. Her husband... Now aware of her kink, proceeded to collar her, repairing both their commitment and her perception of him. This explains the statements about their marriage becoming a lot stronger during this event. This concludes my presentation, but it's just a theory, a game theory. Thanks for watching. Thanks that, like, for watching. I will never game forget theory. that minute and a half. That's of... just a theory, a cuckold theory. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming. You like how I slowly morphed into that voice? Like, I tried to ramp it up so slowly, you know? I, it really just takes you over. Anyway, yeah, so the, the, the cum necklace was the thing that really stood out to me from that. You knew I'd appreciate it. Yes, I, I did. You um, need the cum, ma'am. Check out this, um, this kitchen. Why does it look like someone went in and just ripped everything out? It, the, because it, it, someone it's, went in and ripped everything out. Yeah, It's beyond this place. It's beyond this place looking um, unoccupied at the moment. This place is, it feels abandoned. In, yeah. in the sense that like, this is the, this is where you scrounge for supplies in an apocalypse setting. Like if you're playing fucking yeah if if you're playing like like day what was what was the fucking game that we were playing me and Rev were playing that time uh Project Zomboid Project is like Project Zomboid this is where you come like fucking ransack to look for soup cans and shit right like I I imagine opening a whole bunch of drawers and one of them containing three shotgun shells you get three shotgun shells a can of soup and a wrench then you gotta run yeah somebody in chat is saying that. These shelves are made for an animals like wait a second. Oh. Wait a wait a fucking second. That's got to be it. That's got to be it. The walk-in free this they had they had reptiles. 
These were reptile, yeah, reptile tanks. Okay. Yeah. The walk-in freezer was where they kept all the rats and the mice and the and the rabbits and shit that they fed the reptiles, that they fed mm -hmm. the snakes and, the, and and whatever the fuck else they had. Has to be. Has right, to be. Right, and then and then maybe that platform is for doing shows of the reptiles, or something like that, in your own house, right? Mm hmm. Um, that's threatening again. It's like a, a walk -in nice walk-in closet, though. Nice big cum stain over here on the left, and you got a nice. You know what? I feel like we're in a closet, and then the closet has its own closet. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like you got a walk-in closet, and then that walk-in closet has a walk-in closet. Yeah. Bougie fucking bathroom, dude. Oh, this is yeah. This is bougie as shit. This is maybe a bit much for me. Too much. This this feels too gaudy too gaudy ex, this feels yeah, yeah gaudy is the word for it yeah. I, I don't want i don't want something flashy i just want something like clean looking this bathtub this, is fucking legit though the bathtub looks really nice um i think it's the are those doric pillars Ah, who am I kidding? They just fucking threw something on there. They didn't know what they were doing. Doric? The, no, those, I think they're ironic, pillars. Fred. I think they're ironic. As yeah. in, like, they actually didn't mean to have pillars. Like, they did it as a joke. Like, they're tongue-in-cheek ironic pillars. You, you think that, like... This is the kind of thing that a home designer would like. He he put together a whole bunch of um, Fred of didn't get designs. the joke. Did you get the joke at no, all? I, yeah, they're ironic. Yeah, I get it. Instead of Doric, Ionic, it's I ironic. I ion yeah, ionic. ionic. It's I ironic. I yeah, okay. I, I, I just I, wanted to make sure you got the joke because you didn't like laugh at it or anything. So I just wanted. To... I still thought it was funny. Okay, thanks, buddy. So you needed that, like, you know, this, reassurance. Don't that. don't worry. I caught it. It was it was needed good. that validation. You know. Mm. <laughs> I the this feels like the person designing the home was iterating upon the bathroom design over and over again and every time the person was like mm, that's not quite right and mm. you know it's just lots of you know tasteful designs and eventually the dude goes fuck it and he just puts pillars on <laughs> yeah. it, random fucking pillars and a fucking chandelier it's like yeah here <laughs> it's you a go chandelier in the like bathtub. This, here, like like he does <laughs> the, the it a bit dig. much right the, yeah, the chandelier is a little stupid yeah, yeah it's, little... it's stupid and, yeah. and like he does this as a joke, right? But yeah. like almost as a way to insult them. And then the person is like, <laughs> oh yeah, I like that. Do that. And he's like, yeah, fucking fine. Whatever. Customer is always right in matters of taste. Yeah, who fine. gives a shit? Take Whatever. It. Fuck it. Just it. leave me alone. Take your stupid fucking bathroom and give me my money. Um, Somebody, I would do that too, Night Yo. Yeah, King, Night King. What's up, bud? Um, Duck says, hey, hey man, he says, remove the wallpaper and fix the tiles to match the color, to match the color of the, um, of, of this, right? Because this, this fucking bathtub and these pillars, whatever, this entire, whatever this is, does not match the rest of the bathroom, like, at it all. It looks, it looks like they just got like, a new item in Animal Crossing and decided to plunk it down to again, see what it looks like. Yeah, just like. slam it in there. Yeah, just, all out of place. <laughs> All right, well, hold up, because this is the rest of the bathroom, dude. It's still, like, it looks like they got two items randomly in Animal Crossing like, okay. and plunked them down. So the guy is turning, the, the, ca the camera man is turning right, mm -hmm. and this yeah. is what's to his right, okay? Here's that bathtub. Right. Here's a fucking what, dude? A, 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 like, bench? That you sit on with like a plant, pl more plants, by the way, plants, more fucking plants. Okay, like a planter, a marble, I guess, planter. Mike, are we in a house or are we in a fucking mall? Dude, right? Right? Where's the food court? <laughs> yeah, where's the food yeah. court? <laughs> and then you got this, it, it's like there's a greenhouse in the middle of the fucking, okay. In the middle of the fucking house, you gotta, gotta realize this, please. In the middle of the house, there's like a little greenhouse. That's what this is. It's not come on the window. It's stained. It's like it's like a, a frosted. fucking frosted glass, yeah. okay, to make a design. Now, realize something. On the other side of this room, this greenhouse room, is the living room. Yeah. So you so come into. So people in. are. 
are looking into you showering or taking a bath or taking a shit. Okay? Like from the living room. Looking through. Because that's what's on the other side of this. Right? No, Mike. This, Very this odd. Is like, th this is like cocking and voyeurism combined because like <laughs> what y you have your wife and your wife's boyfriend in the tub and then like the husband is sitting oh on the my bench God, and dude. then people in the living room are watching the husband watching his wife and his wife's boyfriend <laughs> It's like fucking third tier. We're like daisy chaining Yo, fetishes together. How many levels of cucking are you on bro? You are like a baby. I'm on level 8 of cuckdom Yo Liz Trust is like <laughs> fucking watching the entire thing through a security camera like from an in, an, in another like cuck house like that's how the level of cuck that the level of cuck that she's on or whatever the fuck was happening there it's like we need we need perpetual growth even in the cucking sphere what's this look at all of this okay you got like you got like his and hers vanities i guess that, that his and hers like a, vanities that looks like a piece of medical equipment it, it's it's colored that medical teal color Got that sunroof. You're right, this doesn't belong here. That medical teal, yeah, you're exactly right. But, like, everything else has been fucking pilfered, so what's that doing here? This looks fucking bad, man. Like, this looks so this, bad that yeah. I don't even believe there was a moment in time where this looked good. No, never. Nothing like, this, this never. Looks. this never looked good. Like, at no point did this look good. No, nothing and about this. The one, the one piece of intel that we didn't get to yet that I've been trying to get to is okay. where's the fucking toilet in this bathroom? Oh, yeah. That's a... Yeah. Wait, oh, is it through that door? No, it, it's... Wait. Why is chat saying the one piece is real right now? Why is the one... Oh, the one real? piece of... Oh, shut up. This is... Also oh. part of the bathroom? Okay, this is... Okay, you see this thing? Yeah. Okay, it's it's here now. Right? Okay. Oh, This is an a... old, an old yeah. person bath. Yeah, old person bath. An old bath. Yeah. Um... It's a thing. Oh my god. Okay, no, and, th and then this Dude. door goes in. What is this place? I don't know. It's so like, confusing, and th and right? Then, like, it's so confusing. the door goes in. <laughs> It's what so is confusing. Happening? I don't know. It's so confusing. I don't what? know. And then it like goes into a fucking. You like 70s the reflected bedroom. blinds? Yeah, I know. I saw that. Like that's very seventies in those. here. You can very seventies in here. You the, everything else is oh what? How did we get from that other from that big seventies vibes here? in here? Said the seventies was the last time this house was renovated. I would love to see this house now because don't forget this house got sold. Right. Like last year? Last year. This house got sold last year. Why do they have why do they have doctors waiting room like or slash school lights? Look at those. Yeah, those are fucking that's disgusting. The that, that's dude. the shit that you have in a doctor's waiting well, room. They also have those in the back rooms, if I'm not mistaken. Uh well th those Similar? are um they're those are protruding from the wall. The ones in the back rooms are embedded in, in the ceiling, I mean. So they got this kind of balcony up here with like the sloped ceiling. I get, I guess that's. I, I'm gonna be real. I don't even know what the fuck I'm looking at. This feels non-Euclidean at this point. The longer I, I think look it's at a, this, the more it feels like a church. Is it a bar where like you're supposed to stand behind this, or, no. or like what is this? Are there any implements over there? It looks. What like is it this? Might what is this piece of furniture, dude? Yeah, th this is a Sims house or an Animal Crossing house where you just work with what you got. There's that, 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 again, greenhouse. I, I think what's happening is that sunlight. Yeah. And like for, I don't know, 20 minutes a day, sunlight comes down from the middle of this building and hits these plants that you're keeping in here. Right. For again, for like, again, 20 minutes a day, that's going to work. An arboretum. It's like an ar a small arboretum. Also, hi, Nady. And don't yeah. forget, there's a bathroom hi. on the other side of it. Waves at you. Right. Yes. I. Like, they, there's windows all around. What? And then, like, if you look past to the left of that, it looks like it goes into. 
Was there's mirror. I think there's mirrors that are confusing that. No, 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 not that. Pass uh, to the right of the mirrors. You have like where the broom is. You have that tile again. What is going on? It's Who so laid this out? It's so confusing, dude. What is happening? It's so I'm, like, fucking getting confusing. Angrier dude. the longer that we look at Mike. At first, I was like, "Oh, this house isn't that bad." And the longer we look, the weirder this gets. The worse it this gets. Is... Yeah. What the fuck? What is happening? Here's like built-in china closets, I guess. I guess. No, like that, built that is no. That's where you put your. Uh, it's where you put your. Uh, 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 I made the joke already tonight. Say it. I won't. Just say it. Just say it. No. Just say it. This is the place with the DK barrel entrance, yeah. Uh, we a, a previous picture was taken from over here, but facing this way. Right. There's that fucking it's stage. You, ah, fine. It's where you store your Funko Pops. What is behind? What are those rocks? What the fuck those is are happening? Rocks. This is... Okay. What, what is going on? Fuck. It's, it's like every... You can see any part of this house from any other part of this house. Yeah, dude. Very, very, very confusing shit. Indoor, like I, I think that this is a there's a guy here. Place. So, Nady, what's going on? We to to sum up, we believe that reptiles were stored here and like cared for here, and that might have been a why are there ceiling tiles on the why are there roof tiles on the ceiling? What is going on? What is this? It's upside down. What? Those are roof tiles. Why are they on He's the ceiling? He's the leader of the bunch. You know him well. He's finally back from fucking hell. He put <laughs> barrels on the ceiling and on the walls too. He'll put you in a barrel and fucking kill you. <laughs> DK. Donkey Kong. DK. Suffocate to death in a barrel. How long have you been saving that? I no, no, I just made it up. You just made that up? Are you fucking kidding me? I swear to God, I just made that up. That's incredible. Yeah, I just made that up. <laughs> well, it just slightly changed some of the lyrics. What? No, but that was genius. What? You're beginning to feel like a rap god. <laughs> that was immaculate. It suffocate you in a fucking barrel, in a fucking dude. Barrel. Yeah, you like no, this they, fucking what? 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 Th sorry. Those those bathrooms look like a place yeah. you would shove someone before putting a bullet through their cranium. That's, that's what I'm fucking talking about. This is such a threatening little bathroom. Yeah. How much you want to bet there's no sink in there? Oh, I mm, like it's mm, literally just toilets. Hmm. I. It's close. God. Okay, I, I also like the completely superfluous men's and women's. Like, that that has to be what those labels are. On the yeah, it's got to right, be. Right? Where, where it like, makes no, no difference. No, yeah. you don't need a specific room to kill men and women. Either will fit in either of these. Uh, Maybe. It, it, they, they look I gross, could, yeah. Like, I, I feel like I the, you could bear, like a, a, a an average-sized person could barely fit through that door right like it's like this place was it was a business wasn't it had it? to have been it like this had to have been a place where like they showed off reptiles and wait you think you, you, you figured something out what do you think what are you thinking mike i have a theory i don't know if it's correct but there are specific kind of of uh, creatures. They make the snakes bite you and shit. They they handle the snakes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they I knew say, I knew you were gonna fucking will say not this. Bite me. Yeah. Like God will keep me safe. He really thinks it's a it's a church. I mean, I'm not sold on church. I'm, I'm not sold on it being a church either. But, but church, it, dude. There's also there's there's that there's that fucking stage. I mean, that could have been like for the preacher. Pentecostal faith healer church. Yeah, that's. These these fucking mirrors suck so this is just so stupid. What is the point of that? My god. It, this okay, is like so a party people, hall, dude. Like like look at this place. People like you are put, saying people are so saying that strange. kind of thing is is very popular. That that's more of a like deep south kind of thing. This is California. Yeah, but California is just full of like yeah. 
fringe religious beliefs. Sure, like, yeah. Absolutely I mean, chock full of them. Yeah, it's got tons of wacky shit. Um, here's a fucking honestly cool as fuck bar. And like the barrel theme works for a bar, man. It honestly, does. I dig this. Nice. I dig the stained glass. So DMS. I dig, I dig the now. Now the barrel thing is 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 cool now here. Yeah, this is fine. This is great. I'd I'd get a drink here. Yeah, dude. Speckled like speckled egg beer, like from like from a nozzle with like nitro, right? Yeah. Delicious. Yeah. I'd, I'd have I would have a beer here. But what Display is DMS? Don't miss Sans. Undertale? Yes. Since Undertale. This is... The, okay, so that's what's going on. This was a fucking bar of some kind. Yeah, and there was like a water like, feature behind them that definitely... A little pool like, of water? Yeah. I, I, I would... I'll tell you what I would love to fucking say. This place in its fucking like prime, like when this when this place was being used for what it was built for, like in its prime. But what was I it would really used like to for? I don't know. That's why I want to see it. I'm like maybe we'll get info in the listing, but let's continue. It's a fucked up resort of some kind. What is this giant barrel right here? Oh my god! Barrels, haha, PewDiePie. Okay, I got I I ripped out uh you're gonna have to tilt your head sideways for this one yeah that's okay so it's a kitchen this clearly was a that, restaurant it was this okay sort. confirmed this was a restaurant yeah no yeah this was a anymore. restaurant yeah absolutely you got the stainless steel fucking yeah the, the all the all the fucking oven what have you oven stove all that shit yeah that um, explains a lot okay what in god's name is that uh, I, I can't even like look at this. Holy shit! Fuck! All right, hold on a second, because this I feel like finding, figuring, trying to figure out what this is is like kind of important. So, um, do me a favor. Look, look at my fucking yeah, stream I'm, real I'm quick. I'm looking. I'm looking. Uh, where you gotta rotate ninety Transform. degrees. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So what the fuck is that? Uh, what is that? Does anyone know? The sac it's a sacrificial altar. It's that crappy island poop jar. Mall Fire planter. pit? What the fuck is that, dude? Fire yeah. There's more sideways images. I mean I, I looked at this like again a while ago and I don't remember seeing all these fucking sideways images. But I'm not going to sit here and... Oh, who the fuck did this, my dude? That's fucking lame. All right. I'm not going to sit here and, like, do that for every yeah, single one no, of these pictures. Everybody just everybody just tilt their head all the way to the side. Mm. This is a little room that you go into, dude. It is. Enter the barrel room. All right, so there's a fireplace here and a chimney. So was so this is the greenhouse area. I believe these are the stairs that we looked at earlier. Yeah. yeah, they have the orange tape on them. And you see that that old person chair that gets you up the stairs? Yeah. We were at the top of the stairs earlier. Oh my god, they are obsessed with these fucking barrels. Barrels. Such a confusing place, dude. Mobile viewers eating good tonight. What's with the <laughs> yeah. What's with the chandeliers? Like there, there have been multiple weird chandeliers. Bro, hold on. Chandeliers. Maybe, what? maybe these pictures aren't taken sideways, and this is just like some Castlevania bullshit. <laughs> Mobile viewers finally getting a rare dub. Do 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 do. God do, damn do, it! Do, 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 do. God. This guy's a fucking clown. Fire this real estate agent. I get, dude, another chandelier. Look at this one. Holy shit, you're right. Yeah. They're just so... Oh, familiar. thank God. Okay, good. This and look, person... this, just pla this place is filled with plants. There's, that's here, why there's dirt everywhere. Here's the thing. Like, this place isn't set up like a restaurant. This is no, just No, it's so weird, home. right? So why do they have, like, a restaurant kitchen? So weird, dude. 
Look how high like these they, fans are up. Do you think they're doing anything for like people down here? Yeah, no, they, they help. They help to a certain degree. They, they push warm air down. Go stand on the X. Yeah, what do you think that's about? <laughs> so they can it's drop a barrel on you. Such a bizarre fucking house. Do you see this? Yeah, what is that? Is that a you planter? Want, you, that, that's what I believe that is. You're supposed to put more, more fucking plants in there. Oh my God. And then how are you watering them? This is. This How do you water, like, water them? This feels like it was. It's a place where, like, they would entertain a lot of company. Yeah. Might be. They, like, might, they, they, you would hope so. Right? Honestly, whenever I see houses like this, my first impulse is it's a sex thing. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> This is fucking done anyway. We don't I need to see like this bathroom. I mean, that was the listing. Maybe, yeah, no, no, no that was good. it. I feel like maybe I'm just primed because of the coochie house. Yeah, the coochie house fucked you up a little bit. Yeah, I feel like I've, I've, I'm biased toward sex stuff um, now. I'm feeling like, he, like this is your living room in this house. But you live at the bottom of the pond. Like what the like what the fuck? This is oh, a there, house there for are... frogmen. There are some people who weren't around for the coochie house. Let's see if we can get any answers on this. Um, this home is truly special and hard to find. Why? A one hundred square foot living space. Stop! What's with the random capitalization? This home is truly special, like they're Chris Chan. It's like a fucking um, Trump tweet. Living space on 19,000 square foot lot. Beautiful home that needs some TLC. Home is being sold as is conditions, which is why... This house got abused for fucking years is what happened. Yeah. Like you had some old people in here who were just like fucking losing their mind in here. Dude. What, Which is like, why it sold for fucking a hundred and thirty thousand dollars under the uh, the uh, the listing <laughs> price. They just needed because, to get rid of it. Yeah, they had to get rid of it. And guess what? They, they were never going to sell this if they didn't drop that. And that's probably the, to fix this place up. They probably spent a lot more than a hundred and thirty thousand dollars. So yeah, yeah. No, they if they didn't drop the price immediately this house the, the the price of this house was probably degrading by the day that estimate is not the listing price you're right excuse me sorry you're right i don't know maybe yeah, that was the right. asking price then yeah. but like maybe they um yeah i just i don't i don't i don't fucking it's very strange they only like the estimated like the estimated net proceeds a hundred and seventy thousand. Really, that's it. That's that, it. That is all. Th that's that's odd nowadays. Yeah, right? that is low. That's that's strange nowadays. Like, what year was this house built? I'm gonna say seventies. Oh, that's a calculator. I I don't I don't know. Like, maybe that's wrong. Oh, Nineteen seventy four. We were we were on the money with the 1970s, dude. It was so 70s. They don't explain anything though. No, I I know nothing. I know less. You think they knocked it down at some at some point? Like you think maybe the people yeah, maybe the people who bought it just said honestly said fuck it and knocked it down for then just Google Maps? Um I don't know. I mean, you want to do it? I'd like to. There was a wooden door with hy hy hieroglyphics on it near the end. Look it up on Google Maps real quick. See what you say. Yeah, sure. Um, let me see. All right, you, you're talking. You're talking about this. What's the? Here, yeah, so so fucking so fucking weird, dude. What, what's you the address? Well, I'm gonna send you the listing, okay? Okay. Thank you. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay. And do I got Street View? Yeah, I got Street View. This is America. 
Oh. Oh dear. Hold on. Fred? Maybe it's. Oh fuck. Ass. Come. Okay. The cult of the barrel. Did you just say come as an expletive? Yes. I I I I feel so proud. I'm. Like I feel like. Like a proud father. Ooh. His first word. I'm glad you're proud of me, Daddy. We did it. We we corrupted Fred. Bitch, you think you needed to corrupt me? Uh, Cut. hey, uh, queer. Kierl, for the weird tile islands, check out the salad bar at this defunct restaurant from the 1970s in Albuquerque, New Mexico that also happens to be shaped like a barrel. Okay, um this this is this is solo res. I cannot tell what's what's happening. No, there's no way that this was a restaurant. It's in the middle of suburbia. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, it's like it's got a bunch of suburban houses around it. This was not a fucking restaurant. But Fred, no. you saw the evidence that it was a restaurant. I I saw the evidence that someone wanted to pretend it was a restaurant. To the, to the point of installing a walk-in freezer, for fuck's yeah. sake. Yeah, some people got goals, like or they they just want to be a good host. Hmm. Fred, I'm just looking at this place. It looks to be in halfway decent condition. The same house, though, for sure. Yes, definitely. No, absolutely. Yeah, it looks to be in decent condition. I guess these people fixed it up. There's a car in the driveway and everything? Like, there's... No, there is no car in the driveway, but there's a garage. Dean, can you see the watermark what year the picture was taken? Uh, February of this year. February of this year. Okay, I mean, that's post that posted being sold last year. Yeah. Like it, that, you know. It's around. All right, Fred. Uh, it looks like there are there are gates. Fred. There are gates. In, yes. One more listing. One more. One more. One more. Hold on. There's something I want to check about this house first. And will you give me the chance to make one last cup of tea? Yes. Okay. Thank you. One more. One more. Okay. I can do that. And this one, uh, I don't think it's going to take that long, but I, I, I wrote a little, I wrote a little sales pitch for this one. Okay. Okay. I, in that case, absolutely. I will not deny you. It's going to piss you off. <laughs> it's gonna piss you off. I believe you. Okay, I'm going to get up. I'm going to mute myself. I am. Going Why mute yourself? To... Why? I don't. 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 Mm -mm. I'm gonna make tea. I'll be right back. And while he's doing that, uh, I'm gonna thank the people supporting the channel again. Um, such as these beautiful individuals knife incident with six months take your prime take my prime he says you know what i will and again zach would take the gift subs thank you man sir zir with these bits karma karma lady resub for 40 months you're ugly you're disgusting i'm gonna kill you give me 200 dollars. thank you um we also got Savinja with eight months of sub. Thank you, buddy. Uh, Ashen O'Will with the bit, the singular bit, and of course, Sprocket Fatigue subbed for three months. Thank you so much, Sprocket. Uh, and that's, we're up to speed. How much tea does Fred go through? Fred, um, I feel like it goes through him really easily because it's got, um, you know, it's the monk shit tea, so it's like really... Cleans them out, you know what I mean? Mike, do you plan on doing another You Laugh, You Lose? Yeah. 
Um. Okay, so here are the options. Yes, the answer is yes. The answer is just fucking yes. I don't know why I'm saying that that way. There's no options. Y yes, we're going to do another one soon. Yes, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Um, maybe, maybe I will, I will bundle, uh, a You Laugh, You Lose stream with one of these, um, with one of these sponsored, sponsored streams I have to do. How does one submit videos for that? You know, let, let, let's get the ball rolling on this. If you're in the discord, you have to be in the discord for this. We have a channel for that where you put the videos. I, I may, maybe we'll, we'll say we'll do it on like like Wednesday or something. Yeah. Maybe like Wednesday coming up. The, you, you laugh, you, you laugh, you lose. And then at the end of the stream, I'll do like this other game, this, this sponsored game for like an hour or something. Okay. Uh, Startles was looking up, you were looking up some other stuff. It was listed for 450k. And they ended up getting, okay, well, they, they, they got 400k. Hey, Commandant, when are we going to do the you come, you lose challenge? Uh, we talked about that. I, um, I looked into it and it turns out you come, you lose might be a little bit TOS for Twitch. What's the penalty for chat for on funny videos? Uh, we give him the rat. We give him the rat. Here's a great point. Next month is no nut November. No nut November. You come, you lose. Wait a minute. I love rats. How is that a punishment? You're not going to like... You know what's amazing is that the guy the guy saying that has the 1984 themed name. <laughs> the, the, the person saying that has... It's double double plus on good thinkwise. Which is, which is, you know, the, the double speak from 1984, right? You know, we're referencing the, when we say give him the rat, we're referencing that book, right? You understand that? On Spelled, he saw a news story today. A guy was complaining about traffic cameras and literally said, it's like George Orwell's 1984. Hey, Fred. They're replying, double plus, he says, Winston was a bitch. He should have loved and cherished the punishment rats. Yes, while they were chewing through his fucking lips and nose, he should have been like, this is great. I love rats. They're so cute and based. Yes. All right, Fred, are you ready to have your mind blown? Are you ready to see your next house? I'm ready to have my mind and dick blown. Let's go. You ready to see the place you're going to live for the rest of your life? I'm ready. Here we go. Here it comes. Fucking hold on a second. Hold on, I gotta make sure I got the right one. Oh, thank you, Ashen. Uh, do you ever feel under siege oh my by everyday god. life? Oh my god. Have you ever wanted to cast all it all aside? Oh my god. Here's your chance to turret all around. Oh god. Introducing Shitty Castle House. Fucking. For uh, the low, low price of $732,000, you can live in this piece of shit that looks like you live in a literal fucking medieval times restaurant. How did they manage to make it both look like a terrible, depressing castle and a terrible, depressing office building. office building. You, yeah, 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 yeah. They, yeah, yeah, they did that. You got the same thing. They did that. 
Okay, by the way, this is in uh, Marquette, Michigan. I don't know where that is. Michigan. I don't know where in Michigan that is. Okay. Um, You got the, the beautiful double garage with the, such a pitiful looking window up there. My God. A, a pittance of a window. Like, what the fuck? And yet, look at these office building windows. Like, what yeah, are you doing? That, like, you're making a fucking office building? What's going on? What? That just looks horrible. <laughs> God. You know what, though? I mean, like, seeing as how we're living in, like, a resurgence of feudalism. I mean, maybe this is, like, the perfect home. Yeah. Well, actually, you're not a... If you can afford this, you're not one of the serfs. Mm -hmm. Are you? Uh, maybe, no, you, maybe, you, maybe you, maybe you, maybe, maybe you, maybe you're like a lord, meaning like you work, you know, for Google. No, see, the, when, like, if, if things get bad, I can, the only way I can imagine this, the owner of this house existing is all, right at the top there above that shitty little window with a shotgun. <laughs> Up on the ramparts with the shotgun, yeah. Yeah. And um, the, 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 the ironic part of this is, right, it goes like real hard, like, like, it, like it takes a very sharp turn into, it go, from like, like Las Vegas, like replica, resort replica, into just a normal ass house. Like, are you seeing, like, like, look at the outside. Right. And now just. Okay, like we're we're in a castle still. Like, that's, that's what, what happened to the castle? That's a little upsetting. You wanted it to be a castle inside. I know. Right. It's like of course you, you did because it's me. a fucking castle. You lied to me. Um. All sales are final. Of course Fred. they are. All sales. Are, all sales are final. I just imagine like you buy the house. And then the the brick walls on the outside fall away, and then <laughs> they a just big, fucking like, tumble down. And then a big yeah. hot air balloon appears out of the top, and it floats away. Like the rest of the house floats away. Yeah. Is, <laughs> yeah. Is that like? There's like a wait, real house underneath like a castle facade. Yeah. Is that What's a up? bathtub in the living room? What is that? You know, Fred. What is with voyeurism in all of these houses we've looked at today? Wait a minute. Fred, what the fuck? That's a, a hot tub? Oh, it is a hot tub. But with the television mounted above it? Wait, no, it's not a hot tub. It's a bath. Fred, what the fuck, dude? Oh, you're right. Oh, that's... This is, oh. a, this is a TV? Oh. But it's like facing away. Oh, oh you're not. God. No, this is not like so you can watch the TV in the bathtub. Right, you get to watch the back of the. TV you watch the back the of tub. it. Also, there's pillows oh, in it, meaning yeah, that somebody's using it as like a nest. A nest. That was a very deliberate choice of word, Fred. A nest. You're correct, though. Tips the TV into the tub. Oops. Stop. So many chat has a point. Why does the chair have straps? Sex. Se they're sex straps. It has to be. This is another fuck house. <laughs> they're all fuck houses. Was they're every... all fuck houses, bro. Okay, hold on. Let, let's bring bring up the the other houses that we've looked at tonight. Let's do a tally. Let's do a, let's figure out the proportion. Fred, I of closed houses. all the I closed all the windows, buddy. I, do, do you have them? Like, can you reopen them? Uh, Does uh, someone uh, else remember? I, I mean, like, I can. Like, what? I need this proportion because this is a weird amount of fuck houses. There was like two fuck houses, bro. All right, three. There were three fuck houses. Three. Yeah, we we had we had the coochie house. We have this Those house. Are... The last house is a maybe. Hey, Stanley. Thanks for checking out the stream tonight. He said those are strops. What is a strop, guys? It's for shaving. Oh, it's a barber chair. Okay, so it's it's what you use to clean and uh, sharpen uh, uh -huh. razors for shaving. Okay, okay. Okay. So it's not a fuck house, not quite yet. Getting there, though. We're getting there slowly. We'll get there. I think our brains are just broken. <laughs> think? You think? 
Right? This night has broken me. Broken me like a like a subservient slave. Dates of like a what? Nothing. <laughs> what if your shower was in the middle of the bathroom? I mean, that could work, right? That's fine in concept. But Where's I don't the like door, the, though? Like, I'm not. I'm not a fan of the. I mean, not all showers have doors. Sometimes they just do that. The, I I don't like the fucking like generic Mexican restaurant glass. Board. I call that dentist's office glass. Dentist's office glass. Yeah, I feel like I've seen that in dentist's office several times. I don't have a problem with the dentist glass. I I I kind of like them. I kind of like them. I don't know. I I it always feels too much like. I don't know. I, I feel like I'm in a public area. They do have There's a hot a tub up on the ramparts. Dude, to be in a hot tub up on the ramparts, looking down upon the peasants as you drink fine wine and, and enjoy revelry, I, I that's just based imagine, as fuck. Yes, it I, is. I just, yes, I, it I is. I just imagine like a... Like an... an a man recording a TikTok with like a shot, like sitting in this, holding the shotgun in his hand, saying, I'm holding down the fort. And he like takes a gigantic swig of like, right, because he's got his shotgun light. up. He's got his shotgun up there. It's funny mm -hmm. because he's got like a, he's got a shotgun. He's got like an AR 15 and all that because he's like, you know, he's like a first, a, a Second Amendment guy, but he's also got like, you know, hot tar for the murder holes. And like a fucking longbow and all that, you know. He's got like, he's got like a jousting, uh, fucking lance and all that shit, you know. Like he's right. got it all, right? And he like, I'm just like creating a, a person in my mind because this is like a com, like this whole house is a combination of I am like, I have a Redneck. castle. Like this is my castle on the outside and like generic white middle-class home on the inside very strange redneck plus medieval history enthusiast or like fantasy enthusiast maybe yeah he, right. the, the kind of person who would like live in this house is the kind of person who would always suspiciously quote just the racist parts of uh of uh mel brooks movies <laughs> yeah like only the racist parts yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know exactly the the, the parts you're talking about. Fuck. <laughs> um, someone chat said needs a moat. Yeah. So like, I feel like the HOA would have a problem with the moat, and I don't think that'd be legal either. You know that moat would just get filled with shit. Yeah. No, I thought that was part of the point. Just get filled with shit. Um, what's that? What the fuck is that? A TV in the wall? I really hate. Oh, uh, this this reeks of like, 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 like fucking home improvements done by an incompetent person. Yeah, this is. I'm getting Grover House vibes. Yes, dude. Like, what the fuck is this TV? Grover Castle, dude. Grover, yeah. <laughs> Grover the Grover left Fort. The swamps. And came in. Holy shit, here. fucking Grover House medieval style. Fort Grover. Lay bricks. <laughs> <laughs> Little office, okay, that's that's what that's one of the one of the office windows that we were laughing at. Literally right. an office. I, I think it's kind of funny that Oh that we, yellow we, color. We yelled at it for being an office and it turned out it actually was an office. Yeah, but no, it wasn't. We meant an office building, and you were right. Mm -hmm. But like, look at this weird yellow color. Imagine having like gross yellow walls in your room. Wouldn't that be gross and upsetting? Why would you do that? That'd be yucky. Yellow, yellows, I... yucky yellow walls. Well, hey, you could at least piss on the walls like you usually do, but like it would be harder to see. Stop giving away my secrets. 
All right, yeah, my my walls are yellow, and Chad always fucking Chad wants me to paint the walls so bad, and I'm like, well, then you fucking come here and move all the furniture and, and paint the walls, Chad, if you don't like what they look like. Paint's expensive. Yeah, end that. Oh, uh, I guess this towel comes with the house. No, no, this is a sauna. No, 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 sauna. no, this is yeah. an actual sauna. Yeah, that's best. Yes, that's we like those. Cool. We like we like that. We like that. That's cool. Yeah. You got the shit, the little, there it is, the little sauna door next to the shower. You get, that's cool. Mm. Um, some, some trees yeah, and some garden. more trees. This is nice. Oh, like that, that's a really nice area out there. Um, looks like it's right on fucking Lake Michigan too. Is that make Lake Michigan? Yeah, maybe it's a, what was it? That's cool. On a, on the bay. That's cool. Like, Every, like this house there is i feel like this house is fine except for some parts where it's really really not fine that explains the price right yeah lakefront yeah well it's like across the street from the lake um yeah i mean where it's not fine it fucking sucks i'm telling you the interior is such a fucking letdown yeah overview live in a castle built by contractor jorma 985 Lankened for himself, this unique smart home is amazing. The original castle, built in 1985, <laughs> had two additions. One in 1997, the other in 2001. The exterior walls are 2x8 studs with 5.8-inch drywall and 4-inch brick veneer. This chat was dead for two hours, and the second germa got mentioned, the chat fucking flipped out and, 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 and pogged like a bunch of... Get germbampoline, germbampoline. And just so they could spam the word germa, and 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 post the jump emote. What's the jump? Oh, ju Jupiter. Oh, the amazing. Oh my, oh my God. Well, that's horrible. We should just we should just only talk about germa from now on, like instead of, instead we are of now anything a germa else. Germa stream. <laughs> Germa mentioned, holy fucking shit, Lois. Germa got mentioned. Holy fuck. Finally, this stream is good. Could you imagine a podcast? Yo, if, if you're streaming, Germa? if you're ever streaming and, you're, and your chat kind of dies, just say Germa. Mm. Um, say the line, Mike. The amazing master suite is unlike anything you've ever seen. What would what the, the last one say? What? Where it was, it was like with with the the, the, the Chris Chan typing. With the, oh with the, yeah, the, the wrong the fucking capitalization of of words. The amazing master suite is unlike anything you've ever seen. Believe me, <laughs> believe me. No, I won't believe you. <laughs> it has a walkout to a private deck with a hot tub. That is fucking awesome. There is a theater room with a large screen TV and a wet bar. That's what this fucking bullshit is. An authentic Finnish sauna with a shower. Whirlpool tub with gold fixtures. I told you that was a fucking hot tub. Well, it's a whirlpool, which is similar to a hot tub. Yeah, it's like both. Um, and uh, a central vacuum, office, three separate insulated attached garages. The heat costs are so low, you'll think the power company made a mistake. <laughs> Fuck you. The unique kitchen has features any homeowner would love. Not really. I mean, that's, that's, no. it has features any homeowner would be pissed if they weren't there. Yeah, yeah. I love when my house is equipped with an oven. A microwave. Heating. The heat costs are so low, you'll think the power company made a mistake. That's bullshit, especially in Michigan. Fuck out of here. And it's a huge house, so you have a lot to f a lot to heat. Yeah, no way. And like the those massive windows, look, I don't care how well insulated your windows are. You lose heat through glass. Yeah, come on, get the fuck that out of here. It just happens. Um, there is a WH generator for emergencies. That is cool. One of the sellers is a licensed real estate broker. Oh, I would hope at least one of them is. Like, what the hell? Yeah. Like, there's unlicensed real estate brokers? That sounds sketch. <laughs> I made my own. I got it from the back of a cereal box. I got it from the internet. Um, 
He's you won't trust the power company ever again. Hot tubs <laughs> pull a decent anything. amount of electricity. Yeah, yeah. You won't trust the power company ever again. You won't trust anyone ever again now that you're safe <laughs> within your castle walls. Right, right, right. Oh, man. See somebody you don't like? Murder him through the murder holes. <laughs> You won't um, trust anyone ever, ever again. <laughs> that's why you bought a castle, you sick, paranoid fuck. <laughs> no, I mean, that's the guy. That's what you say to the guy who buys, like, the doomsday bunker. Right. Oh, God. Power that, companies I, hate this one weird house. I am still upset by that missile silo. Like, that, that the state of decay it was in. Jesus. Well... Like, I do think it's that time, guys. Yeah. Um, I want to thank again. I think it's it's literally was just one more. There was one more sub. Li Linksis Zero has just subbed to the channel. Thank you so much, guys. It's a fresh freak. Freak. So let's get some dumpies in the chat for Link Linksis. I am pronouncing that right, I believe. Um, thank you so much for the sub. And guys, thank all of you for watching. Thank you for um, the bits, the subs, the resubs, the gift subs, and all that, guys. Really appreciate it. And thank you just for having your fucking eyeballs on the screen. That means a lot, guys. Thank you. Yeah, thank you everyone for joining. Everyone, everyone here is always so welcoming to me, and I. Appreciate They're great. It. I appreciate it. Um, if you are new here, allow me to um, indulge me for a moment and. Investigate the links that you're going to see in the chat. There's a link to my Twitter, TikTok, if you want, if anybody cares about that shit. There's also my YouTube channels. There are three of them. Um, check them out. One of them is where we put the, the archived broadcasts of previous streams, such as this one will be appearing on there. Uh, about I'm going to say like the day after tomorrow, probably that'll that'll be up on the full stream channel. There's also the TikTok where we have Spitfoss, excuse me, the highlight channel. The high, the YouTube highlight channel where we have, tip, we have tip, uh, 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 Spit Faucet is working so hard on edits and they are phenomenal. Thank you again to Spit Faucet. Uh, also, there's the Shorts channel, which is basically the TikTok for people who don't like TikTok. And if you want to support the channel in a different way, you can check out the coffee link or the Patreon link. Um, also, you're gonna see more links. For, uh, that's my buddy Fred shit. Check him out on Twitter, uh, his YouTube channel, where he's got the documentaries. Also, we should put his second YouTube channel in there at some point. In that, yeah. in that um, where you know, we're apparently we're doing another episode of our uh, podcast. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, it sounds need, like. Um, oh, it it is there. I'm a jerk off. Never mind. I'm an idiot. They are both there. Don't listen to me. Um, and there's his Patreon, and he's uh, and his Twitch channel. He's um. Ch check out his Twitch channel too. Give him a follow. He streams like three times, four times a week. Three times. Uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, um, 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. So yeah, but he's got a schedule that he sticks to. Yeah. Um, um, so on, on is it on your channel? Will... It's probably on his channel. Probably yeah, got it uh, done. The, the schedule is there. Um, I I am doing another uh, an extra couple of streams tomorrow. I'm going to be hosting a Guns of Icarus tournament. If you want to know when that's happening, oh, that's on cute. Twitter, yeah, I'm, um, I'm going to be doing that over on the Muse channel. And um, on Monday for Halloween, I'm going to be reading a whole bunch of classic Edgar Allan Poe stories. Um, oh, I, that's I narrate, fun. Like part of what I do for a living is narrating my documentaries. Uh, I'm doing that's that fun. for six years, so. Doing Edgar Allan right. Poe, more like Edgar Allan P. Got him. Got him. Ashen, thanks for the bits. He intelligently um, only pisses on walls painted yellow. <laughs> now, final order of business. Art. If you made art for this stream, please put it on the Buru. Because we're going to look at it right the, right the frick now, guys. Yes. If if you made anything of Lauren, feel free to put that on Twitter as well with hashtag TL art. Um, the Boru is almost ready, uh, by the way. So, that is are you gonna have your own Boru? Very cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, got some help doing that because Twitter um, is. Ugh. This is a piece from Noli oh, Cannoli. 
It says, what you think is the head is actually the tail. It looks like some very, Ooh. very, very twisted art of, um, oh, hold on. Can't see it. I'm going to, I'm going to kill Lauren for a second. Very twisted art of, uh, mask boy, but he's a little bit more, um, chimerical i don't know what the word is um very very um just creepy and scary and sp spoopy and, and spooky uh, for the he's dorseless he's a little dorseless here and I, I, I one one thing i think is a nice touch is that he appears to be eating his own ass which is absolutely something that he would do if he were ever in a situation like this no doubt um noly sorry i made your art but Sorry, sorry I said that. The art is incredible. Thank you so much for it. Really cool. And uh, fun fact, that's the only piece of art we got tonight. Okay. Gamer. So, um, we uh, we will um, end here, I suppose. All right. Thank um, you, everyone. Guys, again, yeah, thanks so much for, for watching. Um. I'm gonna see you on. I'm gonna see you on Monday night. I, I think. I, I think what's probably gonna happen is um, s we'll fuck around that Minecraft server some more on Monday. Yeah. I I, th I think. Um. So maybe maybe Fred will be there after his Edgar Allan Poe stream. Perhaps. Yeah. I'm, maybe you come I, pop I, on I the server and be. come uh, come yeah. fuck around too. Yeah. That that'd be bounce cool. SMP. Yeah. I don't know how long it'll take. The stream might go long. We'll All right. Well, we'll see what happens. Guys, have a lovely, beautiful evening. Um, and uh, have an amazing rest of your weekend, guys. Thanks for being here. <laughs>